name is Ezekiel Lau. I'm 29 years old and I'm from Honolulu, Hawaii. I represent Hawaii on the World Championship Tour. All of them just intrigued me with their whole brand message, you know, ambassadors with the law. I travel around the world and represent Hawaii on the world tour and you know that's my whole goal is to represent Hawaii the best way I can and being an ambassador of Aloha is the best way to do that. Clear. But um we also just make sick shit. Good morning, good morning. We are here day two of the Jax Pro presented by Hydro Flask. Next to me, my co-host, Mr. Brett Simpson. I am Chad Wells. We will bringing you. We will be bringing you live action all day long. Hopefully, getting some guest commentators in here. Uh, I heard uh, we might even scoop Pete Mel up for a little bit. That would be great. And uh, Brett, we're going to see the the first uh, showing of some of our seated surfers. Yeah, we got a good little list right here. You got James Rakaki, Reed Platnis. We have Nico Coley and Tosh Talbot. So you have Jabe just recently qualified for the Challenger Series, had a really good run. Barbados had some great results that uh, put him into that top seven. So it'll be good to see him. I'm sure, like we talked about yesterday, just really want to keep the, the sword sharp, ready to go, heading into the Goldie. So here we go. I know Reed's, a, Reed's a really tall. I think he's like 6'3", 6'4", surfing out of Canada. Used to the colder water, this is probably a balmy day. With small conditions on offer, I'll tell you what, yesterday, guys are charged. Yeah. They're fired up. There was a lot of energy. And these this, these type of waves, you have to bring the energy. you got to be light. you got to be quick. And today, you could see we got little morning kind of maybe eddy wind, like a south southwest. Um, and But we do have a little pulse of south swell. It's, a, you know, in the two to three foot range. We saw some pretty good waves on the free surf. So they're actually surfing a little closer to the pier uh, comparative to yesterday morning. Yep. But um, I think that's it's a good thing that the wave's a little tighter, maybe a little punchier. So excited to see this one kind of pan out for the day. We should see conditions improve. It's coming off of uh, a negative 0 0.1 at 440 this or 440 a.m. Yeah. yeah 444 a.m. I like that. So, uh, I mean, it drained out really far. Yeah, we need a tide push. Look at this little south swell. So this oh, yeah. this with a little tide, it's going to kind of hit the bank a little, you know, a little harder. Here we go. Looks like Nico having a look. He's going to head right. So, nice snap right there. Climbs it for the second. And it looks like we had somebody going left as well possibly. Well, the tide does come up 10:44. It's a 4.0. And Brett, this these aren't wind swell conditions. This is like baby little ground no, swell. This is baby, yeah. And I think it's good for our sandbar currently. It's kind of hitting, you know, from the deep to shallow and making these little. It, it's got good shape for for the size of the waves. The shape's good. So, I think if you're going to have a smaller day, that's what you want. Now look at this right here. Good little way for uh, Jabe. So, he's kind of starting off, you know, right where he left off in form. Yeah. Well, that board looked good, just on that one wave. That to to the eyes. Yeah, it did look fast. He found like a nice cuppy left. That first turn was big, and then he got a big finish. So, look for a, a solid score to come in for Red. Seven, yeah, seventeen minutes. I mean, the boys already opening up their uh, campaigns here in heat number one. This is the round of sixty-four. Well, they're all battling out for their lay right bucks. You know, they obviously want to make the heat, but this heat win, you can make some Skrilla. Here we go. Tosh Talbot on green. Nice little chest-high wedge. Big first turn and a second, and then clicks it again. So he likes it. Nice wave. He had a couple nice waves yesterday. He had a 7.5 and maybe a 5.5. Five. It was a really tight heat. And when it flurries out there, as we noticed yesterday, Wellesley, there was a lot of heats that went down to the wire. Oh, it was uh, intense. So Jave just getting a little backup, like one one backhand hanger to kind of to um, partner with his first wave so he doesn't get left out there needing a three. Could be somewhere around that range, never know. Yeah, and 
Last year, this event, a 1,000. This year, a 3,000. Yeah, this is this is a big event. Starting the This will be starting the 23-24 season. We currently just, you know, qualified all of our North American athletes for the Challengers. And then this is going to start the year off for next year. So everyone wants to get a quick jump. You get some points here. You got a good chance. You know, yeah, you're yeah. starting the year off really well. So Valuable points on offer. Yeah, and thanks to Jax. I mean, like you said, last year this was a 1,000. We got all of our best athletes here, and it's it's amazing to have a 3,000. It's kind of that next jump uh, quality points on offer. You got the lifeguard out there moving the buoy around. Kind of might be tricking the old athletes. Like, where do I sit? I was on this buoy, and now it's shifted. <laughs> right. I'm in the wrong peak. Well, I think it will push it a little bit to the south as the tide rises yeah that's what that's what it did yesterday it definitely most of the heats were surfed to the if you're looking here to the left where the lifeguards kind of going over there's a buoy out there as well we were really pushing everyone's kind of pushing the limits right there but it's definitely changed a little bit we got a little more of a groundswell small groundswell out of the south which is hitting the you know the kind of straight out in front a little bit better today yeah, I mean, you can see that there's, like, remnants of that northwest windswell. Yep. But it is not – I don't think it's uh, the prominent waves guys are riding this yeah, morning. Yeah, the, the, the peakier, kind of more pushy waves are definitely those south swells. And, you know, sometimes with south swells there can be lulls. But when they come, they usually come in three, four waves. So hopefully everyone gets opportunities in those heats. And there's some good scores right there, Wellesie. You know, guy, it's uh, – Six minutes in, and we've seen a number of rides, so guys are getting busy, and scores are looking good. Swarkaki opens up with a seven-point ride, backs it up with a 3.10. That has him out in front, and then the surfer in green, Talbot, a 5.50, and a 2.23. So here's Jabe's replay. Yeah, so I was, just liked it. Yeah, it was just too very proper. He was able to kind of set it, you know, draw it off the bottom, which – you know, more big surfing that's obviously, you know, going to impress the judges. And this is Tosh. His first wave with the three maneuvers came in at a 5.5. Five. So maybe they looked at it as, a you know, a little more horizontal surfing. You know, he did the couple snaps that were nice and through water, but board never really changed direction. As opposed to Jabe's uh, was a little a bit more bigger set wave. Vertical. Yeah. So, a little more up and down. I guess, you know, a point and a half difference there. Jay backs it up with the one backhand hit at a 3.1. Nico's first wave with the two turns comes in at a 3.67. And then that leaves, you know, Reed hasn't had a wave just yet, sitting in second priority. He's had a couple digs at wave, so it's kind of put him, maybe put him back a hair, but he's just going to have to find his feet. Yeah, and again, the, when the tide pushes, it's going to move things I'm going to guess back onto the sandbar. Here's a little seems, wedgy one. Yeah, it seems like it's off the bank, but it's good right now. Nico. Yeah. So nice two turns there. Gets a little fin drift. So, you know, it's always interesting with those. How close, how far do you have to ride out, you know, get out in front of the whitewash on a smaller day. But cracks it in the pocket, draws it up, hits it, gets a little fin release there. So pretty technical for a small wave. That's a lot of that weight on, weight off. You put that weight on that front foot a little bit, lean forward, kind of lets the tail drift, but then you got to get back to ride out or else you'll catch the nose. Yeah, well, I mean, how important is it to be light on your feet and springy on a day like today? Yeah, you almost – I tell a lot of, like, kids I used to coach or, like, you almost want to be paddling in, like, take a deep, big deep breath in so you're almost as light as you can be in small waves. It's like – you're almost airy, <laughs> <laughs> filled with air. Right. I like that. <laughs> Aerated. I'm going to have to use that. You're like, <sighs> and then you got to like hold your breath. Maybe you can exhale through your first turn if you can make it. Hopefully you don't heart popple tape. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. So Nico trying to get tricky. It's hard to pull little reverses, small, shallow waves. It's You just have to like, it's, I don't know. The method of the madness is, he's looking for scores though. He's trying to hear something. His second wave, it seems like they said no complete because it comes in at a 2.77. Mm. And right here, if you see, he's petting the kitty, but 
never really got the nose out in front. And they're going to be super technical. I think that's the point of difference today. Yeah, I mean, he did he did all he could do, just a little lack of energy to kind of get him back out in front. Yeah, we that's... We see John Mel warming up John with the, the Condor. Peter Mel right there, his dad. We're going to get him in here at some point in the day. Heck, yeah. He said he'd help us out. We always would love Pete's expertise. The guy does all the tour events, and he's... Uh, Big wave guru, just a guru in general, so would love to have him. This looks like a nice wave here. He's looking right, looking left. James going to utilize the backhand, which I think is a smart decision in small waves. I like going to the backhand, the verticality. Verticality. So he's looking to better the 3.1, which I think he'll do. So everyone's in the action. It looks like Reed got himself a wave we may have missed. It's a 3.57. And then the last wave of Jabe, 4.5. Yeah, Jabe hailing from the 805. Um, talk about a hotbed of uh, talent up there. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I mean, over the years, you know, you just, from Curran to, you know, you got the Coffins, Reynolds, Bobby. There's, I mean, Lakey. Some of the best stylist, stylistic surfers maybe ever, which yeah. is uh I mean, you have. We were talking about it yesterday. You have you have all these right hand points. You know, C Street. You have um, obviously Rincon and, and into Santa Barbara. Tons of other ones. But then you have these little, um, you know, Dane and all his clips from the pier when it's big, and the, you know, into the wind. You have the harbor. There's all these waves that they pre they get good on their backhand. Mm. You know, say Jerickson, Dimitri. Jabe's showing it right now. Dane, obviously, was kind of the bar setter of that fin drift release, hand on deck. I mean, Bobby's backhand's gnarly, but he's got all the right hand points. Kern has the best style ever. So yeah. they've had a lot to look up to over the years. Oh, yeah. And, I mean, just a laundry list of legends. The late I mean, great even above Chris that, Brownie. Brown, Kim Merrick. Yeah. I mean, Josh Bradbury, so many great surfers I, from We're missing from a ton of names. But we are. 844 remaining. Srikaki out in front by virtue of a seven-point ride and a 4.5. I mean, the Purple Hazes, the Veerzies. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. The McCabe brothers. The McCabe brothers. We've got one of them up the top Ellisons, judging. The Ellisons. The yeah. Ellisons. It's a... Uh, there's a laundry list of super great surfers. Chargers, too. Mickey Clark. Yeah, Mickey Clark. So, the Talbot. The Currens, Nathaniel. Yeah. Well, Tim, Pat. Pat. The whole kit and caboodle. Talbot in second, 5-5 five, five and a 2-3-3. Three, three. He's uh, going to really look to replace that low score. And you've got Coli on chipping away. He requires a 4-1-7 to jump into second. And then Platanius is looking for a 4-2-7, as you can see on your screen. Little light south wind this morning. My guess is it'll likely s slow down and, and get little. nice and warm today. Yeah, I think the high said maybe 68. Yeah, typically like a light south start in the day. Usually glasses backs off. off a bit. Or if anything, it'll slow down and kind of veer a little more west. Yeah, it just kind of clocks around as it heats up. Here you go, Talbot having a look. He's in second. Looking to better a two. He's found a couple good waves, so hits it right there. Off the bottom, snaps it, slashes it again. So it looks like he's got a nice little small wave board under his feet while he's kind of making it over the flats. So a couple turns there. That's going to better his 2.33. We'll see by how much, and he'll extend that second spot. So hits it right there. Maybe not as critical. Catches a little rail on the bottom there and then slashes it in the pocket. So timing is ever so crucial in small waves where you put the board, how much you kind of extend yourself, how hard can you bottom turn. There's so many minute little idiosyncrasies of keeping your speed. Well, Tosh is a Costa Rican. Yep. So look, he gets a 3-4-3. Three, So, betters it by a hair. That makes Nico now need a 5.27, and Reed needs a 5.37. So, definitely attainable.
Thank you. All right. Got a little literature. There we go. A little Brett. literature. So 545 on the clock. It's gone a little bit slow. Tosh just gets his backup score, 3.43. Leaves Nico in second priority, needing a 5.27. And Reed Platinus needing a 5.37. Hey, guys are busy, huh? 5.20 remaining and a lot of waves in the score line. Although Reed is just sitting on the single score of that 3.57. He is your priority surfer in blue, which means he has the, uh, the right of way for anything that comes in. All right, so we're going to get a little recap here going over the quality waves. Here we go. Jabe draws it off, snaps it right there off the bottom again, cracks it. So two major maneuvers earned himself a 7.0. And then this is Tosh's 5.5, so snaps it in the pocket, jams it again, and hits it again. So fairly similar, kind of a lot of, you know, down the line. Maybe if one of those turns could have you know, snapped it back and get that board going the other direction is uh, what the judges wanted to see a little bit more because that wave was, for the day, maybe an excellent ride. Yeah. Wave-wise. And, and hey, smooth face is on offer. Yeah. Here we go. James, forehands, lethal. He might go to the sky. Pops a little reverse right there, unable to stick it. But he's, you know, hail, as we talked about, hailing from the right-hand points, and he's got a nice carve, nice snap on him on the forehand. So now it looks like Reed has first priority. Second priority is white. With three minutes, 45 seconds. We do have some lines to the horizon. Oh, yeah, Brett. Look at this. Yes. It's got some tide behind it. I like it. I like what I'm seeing. 3.30 remaining. Now it's all about just finding the right, I mean, any wave, the, just the entry into the wave. James is obviously fourth priority. He's going to have a look. Could have a, oh, we might have to get him some foo wax. Uh, hey, that's, uh, we have some at the beach, Marshall. Tent. He might be a sex wax team rider. Who knows? But here we go. Up and riding. Reed, this is an important wave. Snaps it. Can he get another? He does in the pocket. A little bit late to the party, but looking for a 5.37. Easily attainable. I mean, Jabe sitting out there with uh, the highest single score of that seven just opened up his morning with a banger. And then here goes Platanius. Yeah, there it is right there. I mean, it was tough. He was always a little bit behind it. Yeah. Kind of hit the first section, and then when he was coming around the corner, it was like a tight little cuppy thing, and he couldn't ever really get out in front of it and really release the fin. So I don't know if it's – I think there it is, 3.3. .3, so that's that minute detail of, like, if you're a little late in yeah, small that's ways. That's what we were talking about the other day. you got to get to the lip early. Yes, Spray tour. Spray tour, <laughs> kick the fins, or big wrap. Somehow to, you know, really make that accentuate those turns. Because, and again, it's quality over quantity. Guys have been getting more maneuvers, but Jabe's two turns were just much better. So today's processions, we are going to see men's from 8 a.m., this first heat all the way through heat 16 and four heats of women's starting at 120 to 240 and we are going to wrap up our day at a 240 Brad it's an early one. Oh, that's an early day happy days tomorrow we're going to kick it off with women's saturday 8 a.m and run uh third round of 32 into round of 16 and then finish it off with the men Perfect. so if you guys are in striking distance Come on down. Great companies, all the brands down here doing fun games, activations, all kinds of swag. And, uh, I mean, who doesn't want to win free stuff? Yeah, it, the kids came down yesterday, and they, were, had the, they just had a blast. Played all the games, won some prizes, posters, bags, hats. They're all dialed in. 
There was a lot of people. I mean, there was a good amount of people in it for a Thursday, you know, and everyone's just kind of figuring out that we're down here. The the brands are just, you know, you got the Hydro Flask booth. You can kind of mix and match. Win well, some. and Brett, Hydro Flask is the presenting sponsor of the Jacks Pro and uh, longtime favorites of the surf world. Hydro Flask is dedicated to keeping water cool with great products and fun I just colors. took a sip of mine right there. I know. I brought him a big 32 ounce. Definitely there. nice and Woo. cool. No, you got your Seal Beach board riders laminate oh, on there. Yeah, happy days. I like Represent. That. But, I mean, just a, a list of some, some of the brands out here on the beach. We're counting it down, Wellesley. Oh, wow, Sorry. Okay. We're Hold counting the phone. it down, and it's looking like we have – a rider, no dice. So looking like Jabe Sirkaki and Tosh Talbot through to the round of 32. We'll take a quick break and be back in a hot minute. When Carver started in Venice back in 1996, we believed, against the odds, that we'd be able to contribute something meaningful to skateboarding. It didn't matter how big we got or not, we just believed that surf could once again join skate, like it was in the beginning. Often we seek the uncrowded wave, the undiscovered ditch, so that we can have a moment to ourselves in this crowded world. A new year brings new adventures. We'll see you on the road. All right, we are back. Look at this, Brett. Blue skies, rising tide. We are into the round of 64, heat number two in the water. We just saw Jabe Srokaki take it out with the Tosh Talbot, the Costa Rican, in second. Yeah, that was a nice little heat there for Jabe. He's, you know, back on his feet. He just qualified for the Challenger Series. So, yeah, look at, looking forward to this next heat out there now. We got John Mellon Red, Tyler Gunter in blue, Cole McCaffrey in white, and Titus Santucci in green. So another young, vibrant heat right here. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's a young man's game. It is. <laughs> it is. My hamstrings are tight. A lot of running. You know what it was the other day, that board riders? You got to do a lot of running. Yeah. From the beach it's out physical. in. It is. It kind of takes a toll on you. So what what heat do you have coming up today? I think I'm in 13. So towards the end of the Houshman, day. Houshman. Oh, yeah. Kushner. Grayson oh, the, Grant. Well, that's no walk through. That's a solid heat. Big Houshman. That'll oh, be We're going to have to get you out of the box early. Get Ooh. loose. Open, open to hip. Is there any physio down here? I don't know. <laughs> Good question. Yeah, so it's a, ni a nice day. Johnny Mel out there hailing from Santa Cruz, obviously son of the Condor, Pete Mel, uh, legendary, you know, maverick surfer, pioneer. He, um, what's their surf shop up there, Wellesley? Freeline. Freeline, Freeline baby. Designs. Freeline. So if you're up in Santa Cruz, check them out. There's Cole McCaffrey hailing from Encinitas. Founded by Big John. Big John, Papa John. And then right here, finding a nice wave. That was John Dorf. That's a 4.83. And then Gunter, these two are good friends, and he found a nice wave right here. So Gunter gets the 6.5 on this bad boy. This thing just kept giving it. The gift him. that keeps giving. He's been surfing out here a lot. Obviously, Tyler hails out of Newport, so just down the road. He got second out here last year. Yeah. Him, uh, Keanu, a sing one. Gunter got second, so 
I'm sure he's trying to do one better. And he just got a little backup score right there, so fourth priority wasn't going to waste time. No point. Yeah, good to see people already locking in scores. And to bookend what I was talking about before we went to the break, Brand, Salty Crew, Revia, Hurley, FCS, Pizel, Excel, Monera, Costa, Sunbum, come down, slip, slop, slap, get some sunscreen yep. on you. Um, O'Neill, Vans, AVVA, I don't even know how do you pronounce it. Somebody, Dave Borgata, one of the designers, Ava? text me. Ava Is brand. it Ava? Yeah. Um, GoPro, Nixon, if you buy a GoPro camera at Jax, you'll get free accessories worth up to 120 bucks. And Nixon, if you spend 100 or more on Nixon goods, you get a free backpack in oh, all Jack's solid. surfboards locations. Um, Super 73 is here. Check out the newest bikes they've got displayed. And uh, Billabong also down here. So, I mean, you've got Future Fins, Quicksilver. Um, man, the whole everybody. FCS. Yeah, FC, everybody. I love it. From Yeah, I mean, you got a couple hundred-yard stretch of – to, you know, Vendor Village from that, you know, the south side to the north side. Vulcan. Yeah, I mean. Salty Crew's got the fishing thing where if you shoot it into the cornhole, you can win prizes. Everyone out there's all kinds of games, you know. Some easier than others. I was talking to the Hurley boys. They were had this kind of um, throw a tennis ball in this, and everyone was nailing it. They're like, we got to make it a little bit harder, maybe. <laughs> You're going to run out of prizes yeah. on day two. Yeah, so we'll see. It's nice. It's a beautiful day. Sunny skies. It's probably upper 50s right now. It'll grow into the upper set, 60s, 60s. they're saying. All right, let's kick it over to Jabe on the sand. Took out that last heat, Jabe. Talk to us. What's going on, guys? Good work this morning. Opened up with a banger. Thank you. Yeah, definitely a confidence boost to get a good first wave, especially with what the conditions are looking like. So, stoked. Yeah, I mean, uh, the board looked really spicy. Talk to us. What is under your feet this morning? Sick. Yeah, thank you. I'm riding a Channel Islands Happy Every Day uh, stringer epoxy. So, just a little bit of a groveler and that extra float because, I mean, as much speed as you can get out there. So, yeah, it felt really good, and this was the move. Unreal. Great surfing. Thank so you. So you're with Chad and Brett. Brett, what do you got for Jabe? Yeah, no, congratulations, Jabe, on qualifying for the Challenger Series. We're, we're all looking forward to watching you, and you're going to represent North America well with that forehand and that backhand. But um, congrats. Thank you. Enjoy yeah. the Layright Deluxe Bucks. Oh, yeah, that's the one of the best parts about this contest, you want to win every heat. You know it, right? Oh, yeah. Well, you're going to have the rest of the day off, so you know, I don't know what you want to do, but go enjoy it. Sounds good. Thank you, guys. Congrats. Any shout-outs? Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, I'll shout-out to my mom and dad and brother back home, uh, any of my friends watching and family, and then, of course, sponsors for all the support. Thank you, guys. Unreal. There you go. James Rakaki taking out heat number one in the round of 64. What a performance. Yeah. It was like he said, he came out of the gates and he found that left. And that kind of – there's always a wave that sets the bar in the heat, and that was it. Boom. Oh, literally, that was it, which is kind of gnarly if you're a judge because, you know, you see it in, like, the CT. Like, sometimes they don't know where to throw it. Throw like the if score. somebody goes bananas. Yeah. But, They're I mean, like – 7-5, and then all of a sudden wave, it was the best wave of the day. Two big bangers. Yeah, yeah. exactly, which yeah. Oh, could have been a 9 Which it, I almost, yeah, I struggle with that because I, you do rather maybe be a little bit low, but then sometimes you do pigeonhole yourself. And you like you said yesterday, you have to have that distance between the scores. You have to be really, like, analytical on it. Yeah, and arguably, 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 they nailed it. Yeah. No, it was it was spot on. Because if you look at the wave he got, it's like he did a really good first turn and then a good, like, kind of re-entry. What if someone does that and then a big reverse? You know what I mean? Yeah, like the, Tam Finner. You know or, they're going above it. Yeah. So. <laughs> All right, Gunter, adding one to a score line right here. Bang. Is that going to be a keeper? He is trying to uh, rinse away a 2.07. Yeah, he's going to up the ante a hair. He's sitting in the lead, looking to better that 207. I mean, it's a small way, but he throws it up there quick, and then right here gets a little better. There it is, a 2.9. So pretty much almost a 3. McCaffrey has a 3.5. Ty 
Titus has the 373. Three. John has the 483. So it's anyone's ball game. Yeah. I mean, Gunter, Brett, has uh, been on Doc surfboards for a number of years. Yes, he has. And uh, Doc Lausch is one of our local shapers here in Huntington Beach. Shout out to Doc and yep. Amber. Yep. Hope you guys are watching. I got to see them, was it last week or the week weekend before at the little demo over here? It was cool. They were in good spirits. Yeah, we love surfboards. I'm a oh. surfboard geek. Yeah, it's like it just everything feels good under your arm, especially smaller boards. Mm. But, yeah, until you have to paddle out and sink. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got on a kick a few years ago just – my goal was to get boards off people before uh, before they got too old. I got a killer Ben Ipa single fin sting that he made. Um, and he was kind enough to That's really grace cool. me with, like, his original logo. It was pretty rad. Wow. Um, wall hanger. Got a good Simon. A couple Simon wall Anderson. hangers. Simon Anderson. I was too cheap to get the thruster, so I ended up on a three-peat. I have really... A a really nice Rodney Dahlberg Ooh. in the in the quiver. I've had a couple great Warners, but I, I need to get another Warner off of Brett. Yeah, that would be. Um, that he made me. I'm trying to think who else I've got in there. I've got a nice Christian Bradley. There you go. Um, who else? Got a really cool DHD. Boards are fun. But Timmy Stamps is our primary Timmy homie. Timmy Stamps, yeah. Timmy Stamps, our boy couple really good Merricks, there actually. Go. Flyer. Um, I have a black and white. I'm trying to think. I have a, a, a BM that okay. Al shaped. Uh, Bobby. Yep. And right, right at the turn of the Clark foam thing that mm. went down. So the price went, like, exponentially yeah, higher. But I'm like, I still want it. Yeah. <laughs> it's got Al's signature on it. It's amazing. Oh, that's. Um, I'm trying to think what else I got in the old Quiva. Got a great Buell foamy. <laughs> there you go. Got a couple. Gotta have a foam. Got a couple Echo Groms. Beach Quicksilver foamies too. <laughs> All right, nine minutes remaining. Tyler Gunner out in front. Ever so slightly increased that uh, two seven. I mean, now it's a two nine or a two oh seven. So he's trying to chip away and just extend that lead. Johnny Mel four eight three, looking for a second in his score line. Titus Kaimana Santucci. Three seven three. It's pretty tight from second it's so to fourth. Tight. I mean, you can't really even say because it's everyone needs a one and third and uh, fourth place, and John can get a four or five and take the lead. So priority is with. I guess that's most important part right now. Is Cole has priority. We do have some little lumps right here. This one to the left looks like a wind swell, kind of tailing away from him. South swell would be coming from your left to your right on the screen. Kind of has that angle that you want today. Oh, you know what else I got in the quiver? MR Super Twin. Oh, there you go. Here's John Dor. Little slash back up and under. So he's getting some change of direction on a small wave. So well done. Looks like he's on a little Merrick epoxy. And then Gunter cracks it right there. So the bro's going back and forth, little speed float, and he'll get out, maybe try to get that priority over John. Which is how important is priority yeah, in a day like today? It's, you know, even if you're third priority, and what if you get out there and you're ahead of him, he's in third, you're in second, it's all, it's all so technically important. We'll see how that exchange pans out. But either way, they both are probably going to strengthen their first and second spot and going to leave green and white needing a little bit more. I mean, Brett, the banks are, you know, it's coming off of a crazy week. Crazy of, winter. Like a week of in January that was, I mean, it, it – Decimate. No, we're literally catching waves out there now. Yeah, it decimated parts of Santa Cruz. I had, I had multiple surfs where I'm surfing head-high overhead waves in front of the pier. Like it, was, it was a crazy, unprecedented swell episode. Ooh, Johnny. So it's nice. He's getting the twist, too, for a big guy. Johnny's probably 6'2", 6'3", and uh, did really well on that wave. But it guttered out it HB. Did. Yeah, it, it just... So the lineup is not its traditional self. 
no. Like where it breaks out the back, you get the reform kind of HB hop section into the shore break. Yeah. It's, it's a lot. It's dramatically changed. Yeah, and it, it's almost I, – I like it. It's either got to be really big or really small like this where it hits the inside bar. The in-between is really weird. It breaks far out, but it doesn't really have much wall. Yeah. Kind of burgers through where here at least it's small, but you're getting some like – section and it's inside has a little more push so there it is johnny gets the 407 gunter extends his lead with a 387 so that leaves titus needing a 5-1 and cole needing a 5-4 so that changed really fast they needed ones and now they need fives yeah it's attainable not easy for sure I mean, they have first, second priority. They're just going to, you know, five minutes, five, five and a half left. They're just going to have to wait for that moment. And the, the, the only thing they're thinking right now is like, hey, stay calm. And you kind of know when that wave's in front of you, like, this could be it. If, it. if you don't have that feeling, I don't think you go. Well, McCaffrey, the surfer in fourth in white, is your priority surfer. He's coming off a... a coming through a heat yesterday and also the victory in the battle of the board riders that uh jacks hosted on wednesday maybe a little something right here part of that encinitas powerhouse squad so he's very capable yeah no he's got great style long lanky goofy foot hailing out of and Sanitas looks like johnny's gonna chase and it looks like cole's gonna have a dig here a little right hander He's going to get the backhand going. Slashes right there, so that's better. And again, so a nice two-turn combo with good style. Yes. Technique. So it would be nice to see that one from the front, the drone angle. Oh, so the wave is a little bigger. Nice pocket jam. Holds the rail, cracks it again. Oh, so the front angle is way better. better. Yeah, well, the wave look, It you never know from the, the drone. The wave could be four foot, and it, looks, it just looks smaller. Where that yeah. in front, it was a small wave, but... Got a little more legs on it. Yeah, a couple quality turns for McCaffrey it's chasing close, I think. chasing the 5-4. I'm, I I'm just going to throw it out there. I'm going to say they're going to give it yeah. to him. Or it's just going to be right on the button. Wow. Okay. 497. Just, just under. Yep. Now he needs a 393. So, I mean, a 5-3, a 5-2, a 5-0, oh, a 4-7, and a 4-3. Look at John Doors just on him. He's not going to let him have any area to kind of roam. I think the goals, and this is where we're, you know, he has third priority. Cole has fourth, needing that 3-9-3. Three, three. And that gets tricky, like we saw it yesterday when someone needs a three. Like, you don't know. It's hard to tell. You, you know, you know when someone needs a six, you can kind of see that wave. A three is like. Could be yeah, anything. Yeah, I mean, we had. Or he uh, needs pretty much a four. You know, Ginaldo let yeah. Keanu go on that wave yesterday, and it just, he probably took a look at it and didn't see the score in it, and Keanu just, but it, yeah, and that I wave think doubled up and just gave it to him. Luke probably learned, whoa, a little tangle up here. He whoa. nailed it. <laughs> you know, those are the tough ones when you're, Take a look and don't don't think you see the score in it and he let him go. Well, look at this. I mean, John's kind of inside of him, and Cole just kind of paddled over his back. But John really has unconditional right away with priority over him. Yes. So He's I'm not sure it. how it all you – know, I mean, Cole has to be – John's playing it really smart. Cole needs to be in and under him, but John's not going to let that happen. So wherever he paddles, it's just like a mirror. He can't really go over you. So <laughs> a mirror. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's a twin. Cole has to either kind of get like get on either side, but I think John's just gonna sit right in front of him. Yeah, so. you need a flurry. You need need some you waves need, to just you kind need of to unload. Bait him to go on a wave that ha of any substance, or paddle really fast. But good luck trying to get paddle faster than John. Yeah. Right. <laughs> He's got Long the, wingspan, he's got, got the, some foam under him. It's the John door. Yeah. It's got the wingspan. So a tricky situation. But Tight, it leaves yeah. it leaves Titus with priority needing a five one seven kinda in his own little world. These guys are just gonna bang rails the whole time. 
Ooh. So he snuck away. Small wave right here. One minute thirty seconds. So he's gonna have to he's gonna have to jam. I would not really just stop, you know. I think you do have a minute left. Paddle to the left, do anything. Give yourself that last ditch effort. Yeah, tough situation. If you're the surfer in white. John playing a good uh, game of chess right now. Gunter, fairly commanding lead. And Johnny protecting that second position. We're down under a minute. And if you're just logging on, this is round of 64 action. We're just kicking off this morning. This is heat two coming up. Heat number three. 40 seconds. Ruben Sloss and Madsen Kopeck. So will Titus get a chance? He has first priority. Needs a 5.17. We've got 25 seconds remaining. Are you familiar with Titus? Uh, just from the juniors. Yeah. He does a lot of the, the junior stuff. He's up and riding right here. So up and riding. So that's going to finish the heat right there. Counting this one down in five, four, three, two, and one. All right, unofficially, Gunter and Mel moving through. And don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this. Good morning from the sunny sands of Surf City Huntington Beach. This is the Jax Pro presented by Hydro Flask. And we are working our way through the round of 64. And we are going to see the likes of Levi Slauson in red, Ryland Rubens in blue, Dane Madsen in white, and Braden Kopeck in red. And here we go. Opening up his campaign is Levi Slauson. Couple quick ones. And today we are gonna go all the way through the round of 32, 16 heats into women's four heats of the round of 32. We're gonna wrap it up at 240 today. And as you can see out there, we have a small little southwest on offer, a lot cleaner than the northwest wind swell that we had. And up into the lip, Braden Kopeck. And now blue, Ryland Rubens. Quick banger off the top and slams it shut. All right. So joining me in the booth this morning, we are going to have WSL's, one of their lead commentators, uh, surf shop owner, an absolute big wave legend, Mr. Peter Melpeat. Good morning. Good morning, Chad. Good morning, everyone. Uh, down in HB, once again, it feels like a full-on Gromfest. I'm down here seeing the same faces that I've seen for 20 <laughs> years. <laughs> right. And uh, it feels like uh, the mini Grom division, watching Tyler and John surfing a heat together with uh, Dad around and the whole crew. It's been pretty funny, actually. Yeah, I can imagine. It's uh, Everyone's just kind of graduating through the ranks. Yeah, all together. You know, still competing together. 
Okay, let's kick it down to the sand to Mr. Tyler Gunner, the winner of heat number two this morning. Tyler. What's up? Morning. Yeah. Hey, great work out there. Thanks. It's hard. It's lucky to get that first one. You're with me and Pete. Hey, Pete. Long I time no see. Your, yeah, right? Uh, yeah, good job, guys. That's what you could ask for is the two boys going to get together from uh, Mini Grom Division all the way through. Is, it, is that how you approach this heat, kind of surfing a uh, heat with your buddy from uh, way back? Pretty much. I mean, me and John are best friends, surf so many heats together um, in and out of contest and kind of just felt like another surf session and yeah, I'm stoked me and John made it. Yeah, you got off to a quick start and just solidified. Um, the question, we know you ride Doc Lausch boards, what is the magic sauce today under your feet? The magic sauce got a five, six and a half, uh, Jeff Doc Lausch epoxy things. Just the magic stick. I love it. It's perfect for these types of waves. What fins are you running today? I got the, what are they, the AM2s. Little future setup. Little futures. Unreal, Tyler. Well, yeah. you've got the rest of the day off, so nice work. Some Layrite Deluxe dollars in the back S pocket. Stoked on that. Gonna go get some Alcap now. Yeah, that never <laughs> hurts, right? Um, any uh, Anything you'd like to say to the people out there on the interweb? Uh, yeah, I mean, just thanks everyone for watching and tuning in. It's going to be a fun weekend, and hopefully the waves get a bit bigger. Unreal. Congrats. Thank you. There you go. Tyler Gunner moving on into the round of 32 with that heat win. Your son, John, also moving through. And commiserations to Cole McCaffrey and Titus Santucci, unfortunately, in third and fourth, not advancing. Well, that first heat had uh, probably three separate sets in it with a couple wave sets, you know, like uh, that little south swell. Then in that second heat, didn't have anything. It literally had single wave sets. It was kind of a bummer, um, you know, comparatively to that first heat. And that's how it's going to be. It's the every very, other. Yeah, every other. It feels like that. I mean, there'll be just those moments when you see it. South swells are the, where you can get two, three sets kind of travel together. Um, and you'll see that in that 10, 15 minute period, you'll see these sets kind of come together and then some heats will just be dead for half an hour. Yeah, you know, it felt like we uh, hit that rhythm at some point yesterday. Well, and that's South Swell. It's uh, Huntington Beach and, and we're lucky that the sand is pretty fun, uh, especially when it's smaller and higher tide. Uh, it's actually better at the fuller tide. Yes, hits the banks better. So there you go. Kei Kobayashi on screen right there. And a quick look at our contest site. And uh, come on down. Sambazon's got their energy drink and acai bowls. I mean, there's all kinds of great stuff happening. Pete, surfer in red. Levi Slauson. This kid has been on fire ever since the juniors at his home break. Oh, no leash. Going to have to chase it. We were actually contemplating that whole thing of how you know important it is to wear a leash today. And there are those moments that uh, you can lose your board just like that. Rubens now out of San Diego. Very solid on his backhand and forehand, which you need to have here at Huntington Beach. You just got to be able to have your eyes open to anything. Yeah. Well, it's, uh, you know, it's... <laughs> Uh, You're I've trying to find all your positive words. I, you know, no, 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 no. I'm like, I've been going two days now, and I'm in day three, okay. and I'm, I'm throwing a little curveball out, and you. I'm a bit fried. But um, no, it's uh, it, it's uh, it's there's so much involved in riding small surf. It's so much more aerobic and physical. Yeah, and you there's know? a read to it too, right? It's understanding a strategy, especially when 20 minute heats. Like, how are you going to formulate? You know, getting your two waves because sometimes these heats are going to, you know, have nothing. So, you know, when do you go and grovel and, and, and hold priority? All that strategy is a huge part of the game in small wave surfing. Also equipment. I think equipment is another huge. key element. If you've got, you've got yourself a little sled that just uh, skirts down the line, uh, that's the board you're going to want to ride. A lot of EPS boards are being ridden today. Yeah. No, just having that light, fast, twitchy board and small surf is the key. And here we go, surfer in white. And that's it right there, Matson. Came out of those earlier rounds, so he's had a, some experience. A little different today, it feels like, from yesterday and watching it uh, the day before. Um, a lot of the waves were being ridden a little south of where this is now, but with this south swell, it's kind of focusing on this part of the sand, at least right with this tide. Yeah, for sure, Pete. It's definitely moved a little bit to the north, which is way off the sandbar that has been the predominant bank the last few days. And I was like, I was wondering, well, is it going to come back? Because it did the other days where it moved back over a little bit. But today it feels like it's all kind of centered on that same peak. At the, I mean, really, it's the bear bowl, but it's moved south from the pier. It's just not as close. Yeah, well, it's, it's going gone. It's gonna to keep moving, I think, in that direction as the tide keeps rising. Yeah. No, that's what I would think, but uh, I mean, I was... I so just yesterday, really they were all the way at almost the end of the contest area. Yeah, there's enough wind swell, I think, that pushed it that way too, right? So it kind of lift the south swell that's over there. 
Um, today, predominantly south swell. I mean, there's just nothing on the wind anymore. Yep. Here we go. Surfer in red. Slauson. Bangs it. Can he come around the corner? There it is. Snaps it. And f with the finish, a little uh, fins free finish. So Levi chasing a 3.95. I'd say he got that. Uh, he's going to go to lead. Um, you'd have to say that. I mean, he's just so quick on his feet. Uh, you know, I was looking at his equipment. He's been riding sharp eyes now. And he's his normal shortboard. I mean, he's talking about this board being it's a Inferno 72. Uh, from what I saw on the logos, doesn't always mean that that's the model as you watch him, though. But he's just gliding, and it's a normal shortboard outline. It's not that, you know, usually you'll see a lot shorter, a lot wider. Um, that board literally looks like a board he was riding in, in the riding head high surf. Yeah, Very yeah. Very similar template. I mean, it's, you know, if the magic's magic, you don't veer away from it. Okay, Rubens, Pete, on his backhand. How many waves are in this heat? It's just nonstop action, right? So that's how it's been. This is, you. yeah, it's like a mirror of uh, heat number one. Yep. <coughs> Everyone getting their chances. That last one, you know, you feel for the Groms. You just weren't able to get an opportunity at all. Yeah, so it could fall into the every other heat is the on-off. Ten minutes remaining, and uh, we are here live in the sands of Huntington Beach. I've got Mr. Pete Mel next to me. I got some bedhead. That's good. <laughs> hey, you're looking right? good. You're very uh, uh, strapping. Strapping? Strapping man. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's big. It's 200 pounds of it. Yeah. Um, Tried to surf the board riders, and man, it was uh, tough that uh, the afternoons when they put you out in the low tide. It, uh, wow, it was it was a grovel. Yeah, you know that was uh, it. Got windy and, and got a bit weird towards the end of the day. But hey, you guys did great. Yeah, made a heat. Made uh, yeah. I mean, it's we, fun. We didn't. I, I will say, <laughs> <laughs> but board riders is a blast. It brings uh, all of the whole kind of a spectrum from age, you know, from very young all the way to the old, you know, you're seeing all your old buddies. I mean, Bud Lomas came down, you know, Bobby Lockhart, you know, all the, the HB boys, and then you can see all the San Clemente crew, San yeah. Diego. No, it's insane. The board riders uh, events are so, the and, funnest going. And I appreciate that you put the effort in the very early stages of it to make it happen. Yeah, me and Riley were all about it, you know. I mean, it's <laughs> Wheat and, and Chris Moreno and Ziggy, like, they kind of were like, we're doing this, you know, and and we'd always kind of had dreamed about it, but they really kind of were the genesis, and we just kind of helped bring it to, to the surface. And, I mean, here we are seven years later, and it's it's 47 teams involved. Yeah, it's insane, and it's so fun. Like I said, it's a blast. I mean, it took a while for me to get kickstarted. I was traveling a lot, and then now that I'm not traveling as much, I was able to do some of the board riders, oh, and next thing you know, me. I'm hooked. Oh, trust me. We'd, Santa Cruz is making a team? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. It's like a replay here. Braden unfortunately got an interference. Oh, no. And that was it right there into the peak. He should have got to give it. He probably crumbled that section as he paddled, kind of caught to it late. And that's a bummer, you know, especially in small conditions like this. You're trying to find a little bit of space. And uh, you just push down the section, and it's over. Yeah, and as you can see on the screen, it's that south wind looks like it is softening and starting to glass off which is kind of a, I'm not going to say it's traditional, it's just a pattern in Huntington, yeah. like a light south wind will kind of uh, soften up and then it, as, it, as it heats up and then sometimes the wind will clock around. I think there is going to be a little bit of wind today, maybe eight yeah, or nine no, miles an hour. That's why it's doing it. It's because you got wind outside. It gets that eddy venturi yep. effect happening because of the islands out there. You get it pulling south, and then as it fills in, it'll go glassy, and then it'll put turn on northwest. Yeah, it didn't look like a crazy strong wind throughout yeah, the day. but it's like a you know, 10 knot southwest or northwest wind right yep. in the afternoon. Yeah, it'll still be south swell. We'll be riding. It's not enough wind to make any real swell <laughs> per yeah. se. I mean, I think it's going to stay clean all day. It's saying nine miles an hour yeah. out of the west southwest, yeah. which west southwest here in HB blows it straight, straight in. Onshore, yeah. So it kind of doesn't really blow it out it keeps the face smooth and just might give it the crumble a little coping yeah we just need enough waves i mean it, the buoys are all holding pretty strong south of us with 15 second interval which i when i saw that i was like oh okay there's gonna be a couple waves i mean yeah. obviously it's gonna be inconsistent at times but they're, when they're when they're there the sand's good enough to hold these two footers and, and make them nice long shoulders and able to perform madsen throws it up does not come down yeah, when I woke up, I think I woke up at like 5:30. Pulled up the cams as it Wait, was getting uh -oh. as I was getting light, and I was like, "Oh, how's it going to look today?" And I could see the bumps. I was like, "All right, it's going to get better as the tide rises." Slosson, <laughs> wow, bangs a huge one off the top. One of the tricks to to riding small waves and and being good at it 
is that compression, being able to get low and just um, spring in and out of the removes, keeping those light feet. He's one of those surfers that is always compressed, uses his shock absorbers so well. Yeah, and a great air game. Yeah, no, it's everywhere. Backhand, forehand. I mean, they you have to have all those weapons because this is a 3,000. You know, you're going to get the conditions you're going to get. There's not really a whole lot of time waiting as we watch a nice little right-hander here for Kopech with that interference. He's got to go absolutely huge. So, uh, Pete, how did John wrap up his season last Ended year? up uh, 11th, I think, or 12, 11th right there. Like, um, you know, the, he needed another probably two heats throughout the year somewhere. Right. Um, another heat at, say, Pismo or, uh, you know, the 3,000s, basically. You, you know, you make it one round. It actually, you can see it within the round, the, the space is like between third and fourth. It's super regards, tight. It's super, I mean, the points ratios isn't as big a gap. But then as soon as you move into the next round, there's a much bigger gap. And that's kind of like, hey, you're making it into the round of 16. Or, hey, you're making it into the round of eight or quarterfinals, right? So you, you have to make quarters um, if you're wanting to keep it consistent throughout the year. You either have to win a big event or uh, just stay consistent through the bigger events. Yeah. Well, it's results are everything. Yeah, it's true. You know, it's hard. And you look at North America. You look at Australia. I don't know if you've seen it all, but uh, I've been watching those um, – events that they've had in Australia. They've had a ton, right? Yeah. And the surfing level is super high in that region. Uh, super high here in this region. you got San Clemente with, the, you know, 10 guys that are already, you know, they can Yeah, the 2% crew. Right? Gnarly. <laughs> and then you've got, um, you know, the East Coasters who can perform well and stuff like this. And then you've got, you know, the, the fray there that there's a bunch of guys there like um, Nolan and John and, and Tyler that are, that are right there, the level, Levi, um, that, are, that are all – easily could do well in a, in a Challenger Series or even make the tour. It's just a matter of – that's what I think is so exciting about the setup now with North America and the regions is that you are now putting a lot of emphasis on it. And and big ups to Jax. And, and actually, if you look around here, the whole surfing community really is – there's a lot of brands here that are helping support this event. Yeah, 100%. Which makes it 3,000. And, and uh, you know, Jax put that catalyst together to put the event together and get everybody to participate. It's insane, um, you know. Missing a little bit of surf for this event, but this event usually traditionally has fun surf. It does. And, I mean, hey, mad props to Jax. They have been a huge proponent in also supporting the board riders movement yeah. since its inception. And um, and even just supporting the core with this event and upping the ante from last year's one star to a three star. It's so funny. I, mean, I had a, a guy walk to me yesterday. I was down at River Jetties just warming up with Tyler and John. And this guy walked up, and he was like, hey, man, what's up? And I'm like, oh, what's up, man? I'd never seen him before. Uh, and he was like, oh, you know, that Jack's event is rad. That's a <laughs> rad event. They give away all the best stuff. I love Way it. Way better than any other events that's down there. You know, and it's true because you've got all the brands down here, and they're all trying to outdo each other a little bit, so they're all giving away gear. I mean, I watched people walk up. They had hats and tees and uh, tumblers and uh, stickers and um, everything. Uh, Eyeglasses. I had that happen to me at the bathrooms just a little yesterday. Some guys like, I've been listening to you all morning. Good job. I was like, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Three uh, minutes remaining. Rubens out to a pretty solid lead. 6-5 uh, and a 5-3-3. Three, three. Nipping at his heels is Slauson. Pair of fives. He needs a 6-1-7 if he wants that lead. Madsen in the three spot chasing a 6 he has second priority in Kopech down there in the four spot looking for uh well, you said he had the triangle, Pete, so he needs a near They actually pulled score. it off. Oh, no, he's got a triangle. He's actually, it looks like he's, have a, I'm looking at the score here. It's like, it almost looks like he has two. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so he, he needs a 9-2-9. So, I mean, um, not not a good situation. Oh, no, it's, that's what it is. So, his first score there is a zero because he actually took off of that wave. And if you interfere, your wave is a zero. Mm. So he's got a zero that counted for his first wave. His next wave, he's chopped in half. No coming back from that. Yeah. It's a bit of a, yeah, especially in conditions like this. It, it just makes it really tough. You got the two seeds in this heat. Throughout this round, you're going to see red and blue or the surfers who have yet to surf in this event. They're going to be your top seeds in the round of 64. So these are all the guys that are contending for Challenger Series spots. I'm going to throw a name at you, Pete, see if, uh, if you remember this name. Sid Abruzzi. Sid Abruzzi. Heck, yeah. Water Brothers. Yes, I know. It's got a documentary coming out. I worked on it. I actually did an interview for it, The Package, Sid. And, uh, yeah, no, he's nothing but love and, and just from the, the Rhode cloth. Rhode Island. Yeah, well, from the cloth that we're all part of. Surfing as a whole, like, it's a very small community globally. Um, you know, if you've been surfing your whole life, an example being this is a guy that I – you know, came and told me about this Jack's event, how rad it is. I watched him go out um, 
and went surfing, and it was literally one foot. He was just stoking, you know, and he was riding a little twin pin, and he went out there, and he ripped. No and way. Like, and I was like, whoa, this guy knows how to surf. He was, like, super stoked, and he could tell that he'd been surfing his whole life. And I could, those kind of people, you instantly are like, oh, he's a boy. He knows. Yeah. He gets it. He gets it. Right? And that's across the globe. That's how this works. You know, you get into the to the um, community, and, and you start surfing your whole life. You learn a lot of things. Well, you know that more than anybody. You've grown up in a surf shop. Yeah. You know? And it's a, there's a lineage that comes out of it. You 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 respect your elders. You honor your the history of your sport. You um, you learn manners. <laughs> like, yeah. You know, we've just seen some stuff that happened recently on the web. I know mean, that's st- that stuff that happened in Bali. Like you're just like, whoa, that's a little extreme, yeah, right? That's sad. Right? It is sad. And it's Very like we've sad. grown beyond that. And to see something like that happen, you know, I uh, I would imagine this person, whoever it is, is going to have to deal with it. It's just like he went and leveled up, and that was wrong. Um, it's pretty pretty tough to watch, but I mean, just as a community though, that's the thing is like all of a sudden we're sticking up for our friends here. Like, wait a second, that was that's wrong. We got to let yeah, people well, know. Yeah, well, with and social media, that. it's uh, <laughs> nowadays. I mean, there's phones and cameras everywhere. It's, no slips of the yeah, tongue. It's not 1970 anymore. <laughs> but you're right, and even hey, the 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 board riders kind of program really helped bridge that gap between generations, and I know it probably helped you guys in Santa Cruz, like. All of a sudden, you know who these kids are that you may not have ever known. I think we're lucky know? in Santa Cruz that we kind of already have that instilled in us, and I think that's why we're we just had a heat over. Sorry, guys. Right, right. So yep. The seeds they they held it. All right, don't go anywhere. I've got Pete Mel in the booth. We are yapping, yapping it up, yeah, exactly. and uh, stick with us. We'll be right back. All right. Welcome back. We are live from Huntington Beach Surf City in the water right there on your screen. You can see it. Round of 64, heat four. That's an old shot of K. (laughs) Yeah, Geiselman, Kobayashi. They're all youngsters. Rogers filling them, the lone Costa Rican out there. I've got Peter Mel with me, uh, a real commentator. Oh, dude. Doing uh, doing the hard yards with me. It's all, it's, everybody can do it. Anyone can do it. Anyone can do it. Everyone's doing it. And, um. Yeah, we had Ryland Rubens coming through that last heat. We'll tee him up in a minute. So Rubens and Slauson making their way out of the uh, heat number three. And yeah, we'll see how this uh, the but, seating yeah, round unfolds. Let's see how the every other holds up. Well, we're watching it right now, right? This yep. is the start of the other of a flat spell. Um, looking how's at this hey, how was the water when you surfed, by the way? Uh, it's not bad, actually. It's I mean, everyone's saying how freezing it is. It's chilly. I mean, in comparison, this is the coldest time of year around here, right? So what is the water temp in Santa Cruz? I would say Cruz? it's 50, 54, 53, probably Santa Cruz. That's probably close to that here. I don't think it's it's 55 probably right now. Yeah. Everyone's, I hear That's rumors, cold for like, it's four, 52, it's 51, and, like on the buoys. And, and, yeah, maybe outside there's some cold spots, but out, right here on the pier, I mean, I'm feeling it. It's 55. Yeah. How cold does Santa Cruz get in the winter? What's the coldest? Uh, Upper 40s? It, 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 it Ever? ranges. No, it's pretty Never. rare. Very rare that it gets into 49. I mean, it happens. It's not like Northeast style. No, not even close. And that's what I think <laughs> is so cool is it's just temperate, right? It stays mid 50s pretty much all year round. We never really get into 60, you know, where yeah. you guys get a little broader range down here. You'll get into above 60s here We and there. get the weird upwellings in spring. That's kind of like it's weird how it is the coldest time of year just from the wind. But it's That's crazy. It Once the wind stops, it warms up fast. Yeah. 
Yeah. All right, so if you're just logging on, I've got Peter Mel in the box with me. I'm Chad Wells. We are calling live action. This is round of 64, heat number four. Evan Geiselman in red. Kei Kobayashi in blue. Hayden Rogers in white. And Anthony Fillingham in green. Two San Clemente surfers, Rogers and Kobayashi. Geiselman hailing from the East Coast. And Anthony is the lone Costa Rican, the Tekan here. All right, let's throw it to Ryland Ru Rubens. Ryland, you're with Pete and Chad. How are you, brother? Hey, how's it going, guys? Great surfing out there. Thank you. That was grindy. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like your heat did have a few more waves, though, and uh, that makes it a little easier for you, right, when you can actually have a f few opportunities? Yeah, usually I never have any waves from my heats. It usually goes flat for, like, half the heat. So um, we actually did get a couple little pulses, so that was a pleasant surprise for sure. I'd love to know your goals, Ryland. You know, you you still pursuing the Challenger Series, getting yourself to go into that Pro Tour. Is that something you're looking at? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Definitely, like, give it, gonna give it a good go the next year ish, and just kind of see where I'm at. Um, and yeah, just do my best. But obviously, like the Challenger, I was super bummed to not make it this last season. So I'm just gonna give it like one more good push and kind of see how the cards fall after that. I was going to say, I mean, with the changes that's happened with uh, the regional tour and the way it's set up, what are your thoughts? How are you feeling about it? Um, I think it's good. I think it's pretty good. I think, like, all the locations are, you kind of get a mixed bag, and um, Dominican's pretty good. I think we just got, like, really tricky conditions towards the end with kind of the bigger events and, like, kind of weird, I don't know, weird waves. But, um... I think it's good. It, it's definitely super scrappy. Everyone's kind of, there's not a lot of spots and everyone's just kind of fighting for those kind of handful of spots there. So it's, um, yeah, it's tough, but. You gotta be a good small wave surfer, dude. There's a few yeah. events there. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. So, hey, R Ryland, talk to us. Uh, what what sledder are you riding today? I am just riding a uh, Sharp Eye uh, Epoxy 510, just kind of like a standard, uh, Standard shortboard, I guess. Epoxy uh, feels pretty good out there. Um, there's actually a little bit of push for how small it is. Maybe it's the tide or something, but um, there's a little bit of push when, once you get on it. So, um, yeah, board felt good. I'm stoked. Unreal. Well, let's wrap it up. Anything you'd like to say to your uh, friends and family? Uh, I want to thank my parents for coming down with me. I was gone for a month, so it's cool to have them here. And um, yeah, I want to say hi to my sister. She's in Costa Rica right now. So, what up, Shai? And, um, yeah, all my friends back home. Thank you guys. Unreal. Congratulations. Some del uh, Lay Right Deluxe dollars in hand. And uh, you got the rest of the day off. You're psyching. Right on. Thank you guys. Have a good one. There you go. Ryland Rubens moving on out of the round of 64. We'll see him tomorrow in the round of 32. And currently in the, the water, what is going down? A couple rides, a three point ride from Rogers and a 2.5 from Fillingham. And looks like Geiselman getting one under. His feet. You realize there's two man buns in this heat. Two man buns. Two man buns. Got to keep the wig out of your eyes. <laughs> and that's I one like of them. It. Right Steven there. Seagal called and wants yep. his man bun back. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Kay's got one too. They, they got the little long Samurai. Hair. Yeah, right. You gotta. It's all good. There it is. There's the second man bun. Bang. You know, Kay and the board riders looked really, oh, really good. So good. Um, you know, just being energized and, and Executing when you're being energized is a, is a whole different thing, right? So it's like you can look a little flaily and stuff, but not K. K is compact. Same as, as Evan here. There's two seeds. Uh, these youngsters that are coming up in here, Hayden, and uh, right now have the early lead. But and and Anthony, you know, I watched him throughout the events. That uh, he he got some. He's got some uh, an act over yeah. here. Yeah. This kid knows how to read waves really well. Keep speed going. Did a couple nice uh, little tail wafts. Also, like in, early, in very event. small gutless uh, right-handers the other day. I was like, wow, yeah, solid control. 12.48 right there. There's your beach timer. We've got Ryan Simmons and uh, Kevin Ashford up on up top calling the live action on the sand. Love Simmo up on the, it, on the mic. He's so good at giving information to the surfers. I mean, ultimately, that job is really for the guys in the water. You know, yeah. Yes, it's great to entertain the crowd down the beach, and there's this thing, but it is important to have that information for all these surfers in the water, and he's gold at it. So good. Yep. Also, ISA gold-winning uh, Surfing America USA surfing coach. You think about how many heats he's watched in his lifetime. Oh you would have gosh. to say he does know how to formulate a heat. And competing against him back in the day, 
just a master of 20 minutes and how to, to manage it, manifest it, whatever he does, he was hard to beat. Oh, yeah, he was my guru. I'm older than Ryan, but he, like, uh, he, he taught me how to golf. <laughs> I right, mean, he's got it. He's got a. He's got a good eye for that. Couldn't surf a heat to save my life, but taught me how. Oh. To, taught me how to surf heats. <laughs> Geiselman had to loosen it at the very end. There, it was. He's looking quick. I mean, New Smyrna, right? This is kind of has a little vibe of that. Oh, so for he knows sure. how to surf a small wave for, for sure. sure. Little wedgy, kind of just little running, running little shore break. All right, having a look. It's gonna be green. Filling them. Not. Nah. Not going. Hey, this is a this is a gnarly little heat right here. You know, hey, Geisman's uh, that opener six three three. Yeah, six three three, and then he's going to back it up now. If we're late, not a score for him. Nope, it's in. So he went to lead with that last one. Here's K. Kobayashi running down the line. I mean, how important is it just the paddle speed entering these it's huge waves? Uh, that's exactly what I said to John. I go, John, hey, you, you got to look at what your advantages are. And one of his advantages is his length and, and his arms. I go, hey, you, you got to dominate the peak, paddle for it hard, get moving early, uh, and get that paddle speed up because it's so important in riding small surf to be right in the cup and paddling in the cup and pick up and pick the momentum up. So you're, when you're at your feet, you're already well, gliding. And to get that burst out of the takeoff. Yeah. It's literally, so you're gliding, right? And then you're up and riding and uh, you already have speed. Uh, you know, who knows the opportunities you're going to get. Maybe one, two, maybe three hits. Yeah. There you go. There are the five wise men on our head judge, Bill Seitz. I like the call this morning, 20 minutes. I think that's key for everybody to f make it fair for everybody and throughout the round. Yeah. Well, tomorrow we're going to bump it up to 20. 25, yeah. I understand weeks. that. But, like, today, usually this round would be 25. They, they usually, during the round of 64, there's an extra five minutes. But um, understanding what the waves look like and the tide throughout, the low tide is just nearly impossible to ride. I mean, when you looked at it this morning, you were mentioning that before we went to break. How Did you see how small it was at, at dead low tide? It's oh, minus yeah. tide in the morning at yeah. four something. So it takes a while for the tide to come in. As soon as the tide gets, like, six inches higher, it's actually – more rideable because you're surfing over the sand that's good <laughs> instead of instead of yeah, standing yeah. It. it's feeling the bank instead of just kind of breaking I mean, on it's it so <laughs> it's so low it's just just crumbling yeah no there's non-existent it was i mean i i sat and watched and there was barely a wave ridden uh from seven o'clock until like 7 30 and then all right. of a sudden at 7 30 it started that's when the, i mean these guys sitting upstairs i was like how do you compete in that? I was, I was thinking, you know, they were watching it, but, the, you know, the tide was going to be helpful. I knew that, too, thinking about it. And sure enough, it makes it so you can at least compete. But, right. uh, okay. it is I got I got one for you, Pete. Now that we're on a lull, maybe, that wave at Mavericks. Let's talk about it. Talk to me, man. <laughs> Come on. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm still living that one out. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm you never going to stop. A, that's a lifetimer. Yeah, I'm never going to stop, right? I mean, I... Um, I was very blessed to have an opportunity, and a lot of it had to do with John and, and his interest in it really? because it got me. I mean, that's why I was putting my time Reinvigorated in. the yeah, stoke? Yeah, for sure it did. It put me out there every session now because I, I'm out there safety, kind of, you know. In some capacity, <laughs> whether you're on exactly. the ski, having a surf. I like it. I and like that's where it was inspired, and that's what gave me the opportunity to be there for that moment. And plus, the winner was incredible. I mean, you couldn't have asked for a better winner of surf. Right. Okay, filling him. Here he goes. And he's going to get some speed. This could be an important wave of eight and a half minutes and how slow it's been. A full redirect uh, with some speed and gets an inside connection. So this kid does know how to surf small waves. Didn't get a bonus at the end, so we're all really about that one nice wrap. Not super difficult. It was good that he carried his speed. Um, I know that the judges want to see you kind of execute in a steeper section. Um, so that will come into play. But that was, I mean, it's going to probably add to his total. Only needs a 271 to overtake K. Right. So, okay, let's go back to Mavericks. Um, <laughs> <laughs> nope. No, hold on. Rogers isn't going to let me. Ooh, priority right. surfer. Got a hold of this one. Hey, and uh, that's an EPS board. You can tell just by the way it's reacting under his feet. And uh, that's going to be one of the better waves. Um, probably not quite going to the 633, but you'd have to say he's going to break the four barrier there, right? I mean, there was a lot of turns done. Sizable wave here. It's a shoulder high. Up and over there. That's like a speed turn to get down the line to carry that speed to get loose in this section. He is chasing a 281 to get out of fourth, and there it is. Looks like he's dropped a 417. Yeah. So Rogers moves up into second. Now Kobayashi in third requires 3.45 and filling him a 4.08. I will say that this panel, at least we have in North America, is a really good panel. Yeah. A lot of, I uh, agree. right? There's a lot of championship tour 
um, experienced judges in the regional tour right up there in that tower. I looked up there. There's four or five of judges that I've seen judge CT heats um, yeah. and on a regular basis. So uh, pretty rad to uh, to have a panel that good. And I think that's so important in relation to keeping it consistent from these regional all the way up into the championship tour to have those judges up there. Yep. Geiselman. Wow, this board looks good. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. what It's definitely going to be something in the EPS realm, right? It looks like maybe some carbon on the deck, but definitely uh, material is going to be EPS, which is the internal core, which is where you'll see that, you know, we talk about epoxies, epoxies, epoxies. That's really actually the yeah. clue. But the reason that epoxies are good is that you could put it on styrofoam. I mean, do you add epoxies in small surf? Yeah, yeah. I do. Uh, I, I don't want to all the time, but they, I mean... It helps. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's advantages. I mean, yeah. They're, they're good. They Make it start. fun. So I was thinking maybe it was one of his dad's boards, but it looks like a Mayhem. Yeah, and it's, I'm sure, and, and obviously Mayhem and, and their surfboard, they're keen on trying any different type of materials. Always has been um, to try just any new construction, new way of doing things. Um, he's been on top of it. So he's got a lot of different models that he runs off of from it, whether epoxy, poly, um, and everything in between. Yep. Okay. Mavericks. <laughs> Ryan Augustine's wave this that he year? got reminded me of your wave back in the day. Similar. It was similar for sure. It's definitely the same section. Right. Right. There's a, got like the roll in and an inside then double up that, that is, um, you know, we call it the inside of the cauldron. There's a full piece of reef there, which makes that wave special in my eyes. Like it, it's so fun. So does that kind of do foot. it on a smaller day? Yeah, yeah. Smaller it's 15-foot day, day um, you know, right up to 18-footers. You know, 20-foot is kind of where it starts to roll through that bank, that part of the reef. But um, And I'll tell you right now, this year, Ryan has been uh, the guy who's been putting the most time in there in that place because I will say that you're surfing that little phlegm ball zone. Um, you got to sit in. Ball. Well, it's, it's, yeah, phlegm ball. It's got a little, it. the phlegm ball coughs outside and you get to catch the phlegm ball and then it goes into right. it. Right. Yeah, anyway, that's uh, a place that, him and uh, Alice Schleiber has been been surfing down there in that little, you know, in that nook. And it's a good wave, but you have to wait. If there's 20-foot set, you're getting smoked. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> it's like a so, full VLAN rolling. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty sick. 450 remaining. Geiselman, pair of sixes, has him out in front. Rogers in second. Uh, definitely wants to replace that three. He is in second priority. Yeah, it's a tough position for Kay. He's going to have to manufacture a score here outside of priority. Here he is looking to the left, though. Oh, but yeah, sitting in third priority. Oh, he got he got enough in that last wave. So there's the turn. Kobayashi. That was huge. A 4.5 has him in second. Now Rogers on the hunt, looking for a 407, filling him down in the four spot. A 513. We're under five minutes. 418 remaining. And there's the view of the contest site. Come on down. Come hang out. Come win prizes. You've got all the amazing brands down here. See every the 10 event. by 10 tent right there. That's it. That's a, that's a brand. That's yep. one that's in our industry with our world. There's slow tide. There's uh, Laos. There's uh, Excel, oh. Quicksilver. Every, yeah. every basically their brand. Monero wetsuits, Costa sunglasses, Sun Bum. So whatever you're Volcom. attracted to. Yeah, Quicksilver, Revia. I mean, there's all kinds. Filling them. Important wave. Oh, Five one three. Short one. So combo, right? There's a bit of a bit of maneuvers there, right back to back, which is something that the judges will take note of. You know, if you can connect two two solid turns, that's something to look at, right? So five one three, you have uh, K as a good example to look at for his uh, four five to compare it to. So we watch this last wave here of Geiselman, another six, and that's that top to bottom, that combination of major moves. Oh yeah, I mean, amazing tempo, just such good body mechanics, just nailed that one. And again, he's just so good. At, uh, that, that was the end of K's. That was the explosive move that got him the 4-5, that got him the second place position. So, so smart. And then here, little two-turn combo by Fillerman. And uh, is that score in? It is. It's one of his better ones, but it's only a 3-4-3. Three, three. So he's still in fourth. Cut down the allocated needed, though. Only needs a 4.8 now. You see the scoreboard there. Two best waves are scored throughout any wave you ride in the heat. One and to ten. Yeah, I mean, it's sheet glass now. Look at it. It's, it's completely smoothed out. Beautiful conditions here in Huntington Beach. And it hasn't been lately. Uh, we, were, we were coming off the back end of some crazy wind. The boys had to set up. Did you take up windsurfing? <laughs> uh, take up kiteboarding? Yeah. No. You didn't? No. Foiling? Uh, no. No? Uh, well, I, I, I've tried foiling, and then it hit me, and I've hung it up. 
the foil. I think it was I was maybe four. <laughs> but uh, the razor blades hit you. Yeah, fuzzy. Me and Kurt Schroeder uh, were giving it a go and. Fuzzy? Did he, did he stay with it? Because I don't like, think so. And, really? and we were out at the river mouth and seal like one day, and the thing I tried to go left, and I don't know how to foil. We're just goofing around trying to learn, and I stood up and actually like kind of like angled and tried to turn, and I went one way, the yeah, board went the other way, the and one. the shaft just peppered my forearm, and yeah, I was like, uh, Fuzz, I'm done. Yeah, that thing's been shelved. <laughs> uh, but hey, it's a way to ride. It looks marriage. fun. It, I just. But I was gonna say, even with like kite foil, which is another way of doing things. Yeah. Right? You can just. Um, and or wing foil, which is another one. I mean, it looks it looks super fun on a small day. I just uh, no, I almost chopped my arm off. And this heat's been gnarly. Look at that. It's been uh, you know the two best waves. Geisman really he he had the opportunity, but he surfed it up. Like those were you know. Majority of the surfers that would have ridden those waves probably would have gotten four or four fives, and he was able to just work it to sixes. So good job, there, Geisman. He's gonna be tough to beat at this event because yeah. uh, it's gonna stay small all week. Yeah, I mean, there's the drone view. Look how clear the water is. It's incredible. Watch out for the for the. Um, but Pete, stingrays. we are down to a minute, and this heat didn't disappoint for the every other. Look how many waves are ridden. No, I, I, I hear you. Good. I hear you. But it wasn't there any major sets though uh, that felt like that were like, oh, okay, this is a set. Yeah, for sure. All right, down to under a minute. Geiselman out in front. Kobayashi in second. It is the surfer with priority in white. Hayden Rogers chasing a 4.07. He just time is his enemy at this point. Yeah, it's brutal. You know, and at John's heat, he had to go and sit on one of the Grom. And, and it's like sitting on a kid, too. He's like, you're like, okay, <laughs> you're going to take away an opportunity that's, you know, one foot wave. It's a bit of a challenge. Yeah. All right, down to 15 seconds, and it looks like our surfer in white may have just ran out of time. Maybe this is it. I see people paddling, Pete. Here's the countdown. Not going to happen. So there it is unofficially, Evan Geiselman and Kay Kobayashi moving into the round of 32. Unfortunately, Hayden Rogers, Anthony Fillingham not turning the heat on this one. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with... Peter Mel and Brett Simpson calling the action. Do your thing. All right, we're back. It's not Seal Beach. It's Huntington Beach, but there's a little seal swimming around out there, Pete Mel. Just going some uh, fish, doing some fishing. Here we, time. here we go, looking like red. We got Dimitri Polos, blue, Makai Martinez. We got Reiki Nishida in white, and Kepa Mendia. Legendary father, Pete Mendia. Yeah, yeah, how cool is it? You know, you're here with your son, obviously been doing it. I don't think Pete's here. Kepa said he wasn't here, but I'm sure he's tuning in. If you are out there, Pete, hope you're doing well. Oh, he's um, watching the heat for sure. It's so much fun. It's uh, yeah, got to no, be so it's, fun. It's I just, killer. yeah. I mean, I, I was just taught, telling Chad actually in, in regards to like the reason why I was been putting extra time in at Mavericks for the season to be able to get a good wave like that is yeah. literally John was John. out there and, and interested. So it's like here I am. I'm he's out there. Frothing, and going left, and you're like, oh. watch this. 
<laughs> but that's, I mean, and Pete's the same way, right? He's been able to travel with your family. You're yeah. able to surf with your, you know, teach the ropes, um, introduce them to people, yep. um, educate, you know, travel is so good for kids to learn how to just the real world. And right? I you think start that seeing cultures and you just nailed it on the head. Connections. Yeah. In surfing, like up and down the coast, you'd start traveling East Coast, West Coast, Europe. It's like you go to those spots and you want to be connected with people that, whether they up. live there or yeah. they you, you help take care of you, put you in the right place, put you in the right direction. So And as a host, too, it's just as fun to have tra- traveling guys come into your town Heck and get to yeah. show them what's up. Right? Yeah. Like, like, and teach them the ropes so they don't make mistakes and, uh, you know, get good waves together. For sure. You can uh, hand out a hall pass here and there for some special waves sometimes. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> do hey, do it. Yeah, look at it. I will say, even from this morning, it looks like it's glossed off no, a little bit. No, for sure it has. I mean, it's that typical, right? Where you get that little, you wake up and it's southwest and it's light southwest. Um, and even more south, you, you realize it out. At some point today, it's going to glass off. As soon off. as that sun heats up. You know more than anyone. Just, and then we might, you know, as it goes, as it gets hotter, it turns a little more west, northwest. Usually it says today, I think, west, southwest, which is. Kind of yesterday, straight on shore, not yeah, light, not the end of the world. Yeah, no, it's light. It's, I mean, we actually probably would like a you want. Well, <laughs> that's what we were saying. I was telling Wells yesterday. I'm like, man, a little wind isn't the worst thing. Uh, no, and especially it, when it's with the south swell, right? That when swells come together, they actually combine energy, right? Yeah. So it's almost you're almost filling a south swell with a little bit of energy and also creating a little crease in it, which kind of gives peaks you, it up. Yeah, no, that's what we sure need. Does. I mean, especially in small waves, any little help. Yeah, right? and especially on a straight beach break, you know where. Huntington, we have little angles, you know. We do have a little sandbar sand out here. Right now. Yeah. I was gonna say it's good sand right now. It's nice and flat. It's but not it summertime. Out. Straight no. like trench, you know, shallow trench. There is no Shall- trench. Yeah. I mean, it, I mean, it's probably there, but it's just further out. All right. Well, we're gonna send it down to the glass. We have New Smyrna bad boy Evan <laughs> Geiselman. You What's got up? you got Simpo and Pete Mel here. Yeah, boy, Simps, Pete, how you doing? Good morning. Congratulations, dude. That board looks pretty money i know we were talking before the heat give us a little breakdown of that bad boy yeah so that was uh the puddle jumper pro by um lost mayhem and um those boards i got sent to me actually for the pool before i went to brazil and um haven't rode them much but i rode it actually in pismo it's like perfect for california how much slower it is and uh compared to the east coast like when you're groveling out here it's a i feel like it's a lot harder just because the waves are way slower They're not slopier a, yeah a lot slopier not not as uh, tight of pockets but um yeah, board feels good. It's kind of like a little, feels like training wheels. It just kind of does, does uh, makes it really easy on myself. Awesome. Yeah, it looks fast. It look, you're able to surf like a small wave. Like, and that's the hardest part in small waves, right? To be able to surf it like a bigger wave. You had that really good pace and rhythm. So Yeah, I feel like in small waves, it's more about just dictating your speed. It's like if you have the speed, you'll kind of be able to makes it a lot easier so just kinda. well goldie we always know you have the speed brother <laughs> <Appreciate> <laughs> i got a question for you yeah. i gotta ask you as we watch a nice little set here though so don't go anywhere Evan. Yeah, yeah not going. but uh it was kappa mendia just a nice little glide here and a finish and again on eps uh evan goals dude you're you've been doing this a while man and and you now inspired again you got yourself a spot on the challenger series i mean and you're here at the first event man that's good to see you. i think there's times where you're probably less inspired what's the new inspiration coming from yeah last year i kind of had that third at the u.s open then i went and didn't do well another two and i even go to hawaii just because uh kind of took my chances away unfortunately so just kind of had time to reevaluate and kind of just spend time at home and i'm uh, i'm fired up on surfing i'm excited to compete and just uh, i'm excited to get to like australia will be fun because there's two events back to back you can kind of see how it goes and kind of sets up the whole year for you so it's a bonus, too, when you're competing in these things to try to get the snapper. So that's always incentive. Well, congrats, Gold. Enjoy the Layright Deluxe box. You got 50 bucks, cold hard cash. Appreciate and yeah. uh, fly that flag for us this year, brother. Yes, sir. I'll see you boys tomorrow. Yeah, he looks like the, one of the top-notch guys here, especially with that performance right there. For you know what we're looking at forecast-wise, yeah, um, Evan's gonna be tough. To yeah, beat. always in you know any type of waves, but always he, the guy charges too. That's the oh, thing. Yeah. You think like, oh, small waves, Goldie, but he freaking goes out of pipe. Goes, you yeah. know, he's. And I'm not trying to pigeonhole him as no, a small wave for sure, not at all. But I'm just saying he surfs good in small waves. Oh, <laughs> look at, yeah, he's he has that light top on his feet, yeah. top to bottom. Yeah, I mean it's a perfect combination. This and is the replay here. Those two last waves there for Kepa Mendia came in as a 3.67. Oh, he kind of he got a nice turn there. That middle part, the timing was a little bit off. And, and Dimitri, Dimitri here. Yeah, Dimitri's got a great carve. That wave looked pretty average. I think he kind of overcooked it, but 
What do we get there? His first wave came in pretty good. Yeah, wow. no, and it was that, that's with that compact, strong style that he has, very compressed in his moves, looking the, making the maneuvers look bigger, bigger than they really are in such a small wave. Yeah, right? and he'll be represent. He's he finished. You know, he started Barbados in first. Yeah, and finished up in seventh. The last spot. Last spot in. Really last spot. He'll so be representing us on the Challenger Series, the North American region. So he'll be heading over to the Gold Coast. Man, it is that whole. I, I like. I like the system. It's hard, though. No, it's hard. It's really 100%. hard. It's hard. Yeah. There's only seven spots I mean, yeah. and an eighth wild card, right, um, depending on how the, the region decides that spot. But, mm. I mean, even if you look at Australasia and that region, too, like there's 25, 30, you know, in the, at least on the men's side that are – Gnarly and surfers. Even, and yeah, yeah. And they can they can compete on the Challenger Series and do well, um, and yet you have to make the cut now. Yeah, so, so that's the tricky thing. I mean, like seven from our region, some some regions get less – by their surf population, really, yeah. what it comes down to. You've got you know, the seven regions we have. We have South America, which is a really tough division, too. You think about all the Brazilians that are in South America in that region. So how many come off the Challenger Series? 20, as I think, is that keeps, the, that keeps they themselves. They keep their spot. Well. Yes. And then you have... From last year. And then you're going to have the, drop in. the those 12 that don't make the cut are going to come and compete. So, okay. Martinez, a little yep. backside whip right there. Malachi. This is our number, uh, he's our, our second highest seed in this heat, so it's the first time we'll see him in this event. Here we go, Reiki, one of the San Clemente products as well. Had a really good heat yesterday. He's got this little epoxy thing he's right. I think it's a Ruminar. And then out the back, Dimitri, look at the paddling. The concerted speed snaps it right there, so his kind of patent it little kick snap. Yeah, and it throws water. Throws right? buckets, so it's, it's, yeah. Uh, you got to have one of those snaps somewhere in your arsenal, either yeah. backhand or forehand. For sure. But just back to that, they also shrunk the size of the Challenger Series this they season. They did. Right? I, 80? Went from, they went to 84. Yeah, 84. Right? So okay, that right. actually squeezed everyone, too, because that made, you know, it used to be top 10 out of the North American region. Now it's squeezed down to seven plus a wild card, so eight. So watch the replay here. This is a good wave here for uh, Martinez. Yeah, nice vertical pit and then kicks the fins. That's tough to do in small waves. Uh, especially right out of it without looking like you're you know, stuck in lip. mud. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then Reiki right there, a little bit of the same. Maybe not as big of a wave. And then this is a you know taller wave, maybe a bigger maneuver. It'll be interesting to see how those scores kind of dribble in. It's funny. I just got Myers actually texted me the whole breakdown. Of Did what he give it us? Is. Yeah, it's yeah, nice. Did. I ha I mean, I've done a little bit of the research, but oh, Keppa goes to the air, unable to stick it. But yeah, it's it's very difficult. And I feel like from our region, we def we have 15, 20 guys that can compete at that level exactly you know? so like in australia they have the same thing seven plus one wild card that's the same for uh, north america south america and australia and then uh in europe as well so yeah. seven plus one yep. and then the smaller regions are hawaii asia and africa which is a uh, top five plus one wild card so six there six for asia and five for africa yeah himalakai a nice wave right here going for his third turn can he climb it so he he got a little bit stuck in through that second turn and that kind of held him up going into the third yeah. And that's that two for one. So I, I'm not a big fan of it. You want big, big like you want. I to want see the it. either yeah. if you do the first little snap, make the next one big, or or vice versa. If you try to force it, 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 it just seems like it doesn't happen all the time. All right, listen to the coach over here, dude. He knows everybody listening. Don't force the two it's for one. It's quality over quantity, anyways. It, yes, and it they want to see that bigger maneuver rather than two mediocre maneuvers. So you True. sacrifice. Sometimes it feels good to like connect the dots, but it's flow. I want it's part yeah, of the criteria, flow. right? But if it's if there's no flow and you're there, sticking, yeah, you're not flowing. <laughs> We're sticky. Or just not doing a maneuver. Exactly. You're just flowing. You're just going down the and line. And it's more horizontal. So, again, um, and and you want to have that moment in a wave that's like, oh, whoa! I remember it. Yeah. Oh, well, that was it. Boom. That's going to go into good. Yeah. Right. That's yep. going to make the judges. Everyone sees it. There's a little like you know, sparks. I loved your call. Confetti. Confetti. Right. Throw confetti. Some confetti. Wow. Yeah. I mean. Most of the guys are do and girls have been doing a great job this event. You know, here's a little wave. Who's got priority? Looks like Dimitri has priority. He's going right. He might just go for one big huck. Oh, tries to kick the fins, but the thing crumbled underneath him. So tough section. He's in the lead, six six seven three point eight. Reiki Nishida in second, four five three point three three seven. Malachi 4.3263, and then Keppa has the 3.67. So they're 
looking for a 3.58, and Keppa needs a 421. So just as another understanding of the, t it's men's 80 format. So it's 80, and then there's four, I think, um, and I'm going to say that the whole draw is 84. Yeah. Because there's wild cards, right? They're going to plopped in there, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, so there they are, actually, five wild cards down at the bottom. So what's that make it? So it's 80 total. Wouldn't just a 96 draw be the... It's just they're, again, butter. shrinking it to get better quality of waves, yeah. right? It's just yep. too long. Yeah. Um, so former CT, there's three. for This is the men's side. Uh, CT non-requalifiers -requalifi are 12. Previous year, Challenger City is only 10. Oh, it's 10. But 10 are on the CT, right? So they automatically get it. So it's really 20, I 22. guess. But, but 10, yeah, 10 from previous Challenger Series. So whatever that is, it goes off the rankings from the previous year. And then all of the regions are represented. There's a wild card one and then other wild cards. There's a CT, what was it? World Junior Champion. That's what it is. Right? Each male and female get a That's spot. That's Jarvis. Yeah, Jarvis, Jarvis Earl is going to And, and uh, Kika. Are Kika Velselko. Yep. Yeah. And then uh, five wild cards. So, that, I mean, that breaks down your Challenger Series. The women's is even tighter, 48, right? So the women's got former CTs as well. So seven five from last year i mean that's even think about how tight that yeah these margins are in the women's side it's crazy and, and you know what's crazy about this event pete i don't know if i have it right here but we had so we did a round of 40 here a round of 40 four heats into 32 look how many entries we had well, that's what i say could um, have done like another a, round yeah right? i think that awareness wise Gnarly. i think that if your, your region needs to be open to new people that want to pay and want to get into that's it. What, that's how i feel too like I mean, obviously, it's a business, and you got to understand we're down here, big setup, permits, and judges, and there's all this stuff. But another 40, 30 competitors that want to surf. Open up the round a little you bit. You know? Yeah. yeah. No, I, I agree with that. I think and you give opportunity to your region to, to participate. And if you're going to make it exciting, uh, like Jax is doing now with the little heat winners, right? That's the what the bucks are against? Yeah. Uh, Lay right Deluxe Bucks right. and so Automotive right. Excellence for the women's. Awesome. Yeah. Right? And yeah. that's kind of fun. That's something that we It's epic. Like 50 bucks. You, you, you could possibly in the men's, I that's mean, if you started from round one and you surfed your way seven plus heats, that's – it's a – yeah. Good chunk of change if you're winning heat. Yeah, that's paying for your gas drive. Exactly. <laughs> Cover your entry, whatever it may be. Yeah, so that's cool. That's something that I think that's implemented here. So it's good to have Jack's support. Uh, the upgrade's huge, too. Yeah. Um, I think that that's obviously knowing now that what we saw, how important the 3,000 Yeah, are. what's your feeling on, um, you know, one 5,000 event? I think they either have, uh, you know, this is personal preference. I think it's great. Barbados is uh, amazing wave. Probably it is the best wave on the qualifiers for North America. But it's not worth forget about the lane. The lane is too. But it's a one thousand. But, it's a 1, See, that's but a you difference. have a five thousand, and it's kind of a one off. I think you need to be allowed. I mean, you only they take your five results. But if you have a shocker in that event, I think there needs to be two majors, or they all have to be the same. Yeah, no, I'm. I'm They're I'm, all all the I'm athletes are it. doing it. You like it? Yeah, I'm good with it. Okay. I mean, it's to me. I'm just like you got to hey, show up. Yeah, got to show up. It's like the major. That's true, right? It's yeah, like we're watching the Masters right now, and uh, you know, it's a big event. You got to show up. Yeah, you got to have a week. And obviously, the fact that it's um, one of the quality premier For quality sure. waves, it's, sure. it's key, right? Yeah. So I feel like if you have maybe two five thousands, right? Like, yeah, I think that would be and cool. So that's that's what I'm. O'Neill Coldwater Classic could take a little bit. Boost it up. Yeah. I mean, uh, you got, you know, Sean Burns, I know he's been uh, part of trying to grow that one. And yeah. I know that we just had the Coldwater back, and all of a sudden we're like, no, oh, we need it to be a CT it's again. It's such no. an <laughs> iconic event. Like, it going is. up there over the years, it's, it's a quality it, wave. It's, it's quality consistent. wave. It's consistent. It's definitely worthy. Good to have HB involved as well. You yeah, know, I think US you're Open always going to have HB. You have a lot of this. You know, they got the U.S. Open out here. It's obviously, the you know, the mecca of there's the contests and the, you know, juniors are here a lot. There's yeah. a lot of amateur Surf events. Industries yeah. Right out, of, you know, right out of HB. I mean, the majority of the brands are right here in Southern California. Yeah. So I, I do like it. I think it's getting better. And it's nice to see these athletes being able to compete growth consistent basis. Good, right. It hasn't been a lot of growth. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, so to see that the events are getting a little bit of growth, it's cool. Because yeah. the industry isn't, isn't uh, you know, at this point, it's not in its heyday. Yeah. <laughs> it's, you know, as a retailer, I can tell you right now, it, it was tough dealing with the weather. Yeah. East Coast has been. We've um, had more rain than Seattle. Yeah. Down here, at least. And you guys, 
get hammered too. Yeah, and the East Coast has been able to have kind of a mild winter, winter and, yeah. and, and they've been their business is holding, which is great because yeah. it helps the brands obviously to have. A We're the flip. new East Coast. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> seasonal, right? I mean, Pulse our waves it. even like we get a wind swell every other day. Well, let's hope the summertime cranks and makes up for what happened. They're in the saying last two El Nino months. or something. Water warming up out there. Yeah, hopefully we'll see. I mean, is that just more storms? That's. <laughs> we'll tell you. I mean, yeah, and more storms and more wet weather. Yeah. I don't mind the extremities of the weather, really, personally. Um, I, I think it's fun. Yeah. I mean, you get the crummy water days, but usually there's waves I'll in tell the you, ocean. I drove down Southern California, right? And I drive five. It's usually save an hour by going the five, which yeah. is through the middle of the Yeah, the, the, I like it. Right? Desert. It's, it's, usually it's literally the Bad. same. It looks the same from the moment you get off the 46 till the moment you go through You're the like, grapevine. Get, it was green. Am I getting to the grapevine? Yeah. Did you see the little mountain Dude, side? it was so clear. I bet. It was like HD, and it was epic. There was Mountains on both sides had snow on it. And it's usually I'm like, like a, barren waste, it a barren waste. Usually it's just dirt. Yeah, Absolutely green. dry. It was sick. It wow. was awesome. So here we go. Big wave right here. Keppa needs a score. Slams it. Can he get around it? And no. So that's where you come off that floater and any little stick. Yeah, it's, it hurts, huh? Yeah. It hurts just, the flow. And, yeah. I, and again, it affects the score. So just a little bit. So Keppa needing a 4-2-1. Probably going to come up a little shy. There it is. It's a two. If he comes off that thing and somehow that thing holds up and boom, yeah. it's night and day. It is. It's three points. Yeah, right. so <laughs> minute 45. This one's tailing away. We, You know, Malachi looking for the 3-5-8, and he has second priority. So Nishida having a higher priority can kind of cover him. Yeah, that's tough. That's that's the name of the game, though. If you get caught behind in some, you know, certain heats that are a little bit slower – yeah, it, it's it's sometimes hard to claw back, and and that's what these athletes are figuring out. It's not always about the waves. Uh, yeah, obviously you got to ride waves and get scores, but it really comes down to the management at the end of the yeah, heat. Straight, is straight so up. huge, and it's even more so in a in a heat like in small waves. That's yeah. right, because you're only getting a certain amount of opportunities. Yeah. Um, you got to execute on those opportunities, and then also create the opportunities. Right? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> right? Like, where are you going to go on the lineup? And you can't you, run. No. So you have to kind of bait and maybe yeah. move a little bit. But there's, you have to be prepared mentally, that you're telling yourself the wave's going to come and I'm going to perform, and you're going to pick the right wave. Uh, yeah. You know, it's not always easy. There's a lot of stuff going on in the head where you're like. Yeah, quite the noise. I mean, yeah. you look at like uh, I've been watching the youngsters on the championship tour, guys like Jack um, Griffin, yeah, um, and and their approaches to heat warm ups are yeah. next level yeah. at this point. Yeah, right? they've They're, gone very zen master. Yeah. yeah, it's cool. Anything that works, right? Just find for the sure. Toolbox. And and you can pull from the toolbox depending on what's going on. You know. Oh, you don't know how many heats you've I've had. I'm sure you do. Where like, oh, this guy's gonna get the score. Like you're making it, but you're like, you're already telling yourself bad things. Boom. Yeah. Yeah, it bad happens. things happen. You created it. Yeah, yeah, you manifested you it. Manifested it. Yeah. yeah. So and it's a tough place to be, especially when you deal with a lot of losses that are close. Or and whatever. then it just compiles up. Yeah, it even yeah. gets harder. Yeah. So yeah. you got a little sports psychologist. Yep. To well, your own self. Look in the mirror. You got this. It looks like Dimitri Pouls and Reiki Nishida through. We're gonna take a quick break. We'll be back. I don't with know if I. I don't see six. Chad, so uh, we'll see if uh, I'm gonna still be he here. Might have left us. What's <laughs> <laughs> that? They got uh, taken. Is he is he slang?
Brett Simpson. I need the short Brett, break code. The short break code. Brett Simpson. Oh, oh wait. We're online. Hey. We're live. We're back. We're back. Huntington Beach, California. The Jax Pro 3000 Qualifier Series. Here we go. We need an update of the Taj Linbad picture, but there he is in oh red. Oh, my gosh. He's like 12 right there. Ryan Huckabee in blue. Christian Padilla in white. And Trevor Berry in green. It looks like we got someone flaring up out the back. There he is. That's Limblad. Mr. Limblad. Been surfing well this year. Uh, best, yeah. I would say he's got the best chair up of the year. Oh, my gosh. That was epic. Right? Yeah. In Moro, Moro Bay. Bay. D it was kind of like looking around, and then all of a sudden the saddle came down, and he's like, he, I was talking to him. He's like, they better not have jinxed me. <laughs> like, this is going to be the worst thing. Oh, you mean Raposa the saddle came gets down? the score, and, and they're, you know, down Pulled there. The here's, saddle. here's Huckabee. They're like, what did they just mosey on off? <laughs> But it, it it was it was iconic. We got a rad picture. There's so many good pictures of him, but he's just hops on the saddle, waving to everyone. Here we go, Trevor Barry. Hey, it's been one heat on, one heat off, dude. That last heat was a little struggle. This one back on it's again. It's kind so. of the lay of the land today, huh? South swell out there. It is a point eight at fourteen, fifteen seconds yeah. with a one at twelve. It's like. You just hope you're on the right you're side of it. You're looking at numbers, and we're looking excited you're right, about You're right. You're rolls. right. Yeah, something a little yeah. little yeah. girth behind yeah. it. <laughs> I just got word that a lot of these boards that are being ridden here, uh, Arctic Foam for the Team Light Formula. So, again, you get all these different materials that we're working on with, that are, you know, EPS being a part of it, but there's also poly, and I love to see that Arctic Foam is using that kind of poly uh, formula to mix it up and anything, try to do some changes. Anything just to have that, like, uh, what's a different the, feel uh, above the water? A little pop, you know, yeah. that kind of gets you going. Here's Padilla. It's a little check snap right there. Then he wraps it. And it's so, obvious the small surf you, you, equipment. It's probably one of the you know. It actually, example, like you have. It's more important, it's right? To more have important than anything. Yeah. But here's Lenny, looking good, speeding. Ooh, so that's a nice combo there. Right. Then that's the floater coming off of speed. Speed float to jam, and they got the the board. Around oh we got a little tangle up on aisle three. <laughs> Clean up. I don't know what happened there. If that was non priority, priority, that'll be interesting to see how it all shakes out. But Huckabee got on the board too, looking good. Yeah, he's he not did. a small guy. No, he's not. And he's uh, you know, and I looked at his equipment, it's like kind of a normal shortboard. A lot of the East Coasters you'll see. Yeah, what is it about that? They don't ride gravelers. Yeah, I know. Well that's just how it is because that's what they ride. They ride their shortboards. It's yeah, crazy. It's crazy. Well, let's see. What well, we got? A couple scores there. Anything dribbling through? Nothing just yet. Start. Lenny's Lim coming. Blatt, Limblad's first is is looking pretty good. Going to be high five ish probably. Perfect. Huckabee's probably going to be mid high four. I would imagine. Yeah. Well, we want to give a big thanks to the Jacks. Obviously, Jacks putting this event on. Hydroflask, the presenting sponsor. Uh, get down here. Yesterday, I saw all of them doing. I got mine right here, but they're doing a lot of mix and match tops, bottoms. You can win prizes. Thanks to Hydro Flask, I know they've they've supported surfing um, a, the last oh, they're handful the first, of years. I mean, they're dominating. Yeah, know? no, they were all a part of it, and they still are in a huge way. So it's stoked to have them here, especially regionally. Stay hydrated. It is sunny out today. Hey, so I've got my I've got a closet full of Hydro Flask, and I use just, them all the time. You could just refill. They might even have some customized Jacks Pro Hydro Flask down here. So. Five eight three, so high of five there. Uh, judges are catching up because there's some. I mean, every surfer has a score to go in here. But yeah, you'd mentioned how uh, the alternates. You know, there's there's 20 alternates that didn't get in. Yeah, on the women. That's on the women's. And then even look on the. This is even more, I think, right? That draw had a ton. There was there was a lot of surfers that wanted in this thing. And you know the tough thing is, too, Pete, we had almost 40 surfers on, on, the, the, alternate on the alternate list. list, right? Yeah. That's a whole, I mean, that's a half a round. Yeah, so, and, and it's tough because some of them are younger, some of them may be older, but if you don't have points, you that's can't it, get in. Right? It's huge. So it's very important to be able to obviously get in the event, but then make some heats, get some points. If you don't do every event, it's hard to get in these things. Yeah. 
hundred percent it is. You know, the one thousand is probably a little bit easier. This is a three thousand, so it's uh, obviously it has a high importance. You know, we don't know how many three thousands we're going to get yeah. this season, right? For we sure, know for sure, we got one. Yep. I mean, are we going to still see one in the Central Coast? I don't know. We don't, haven't had it confirmed yet. Hasn't so popped up, yeah, on the calendar yet. I would imagine that Barbados is going to stick. At yeah, where it's I at heard they're fired up. They yeah. even want to go next level too. You know, climb the ladder, CS series into. There we go. We've got some scores on the board. Yeah, a pair of fours for Ryan. That was huge. Um, so he's able to get two waves. And like you think about heat totals today, eight points is pretty good. I mean, you're in it. If you got a couple fours, like you might, maybe you win or you're in second, you're going to be in the heat. Yeah. You might not need much to to advance unless that heat just flurries. You yeah, know, you, but ten points obviously the goal. I think today specifically, yeah. if you get a pair of fives, you're pretty much in winning heat. Yeah, we noticed yesterday. There we are. How you guys doing, Jacks yep. Pro? Yep. Peter Thanks Mel. to these guys, right? Big time. Appreciate it, Hydro Flask. Keep hydrated. Stay hydrated. We're down here. We got a great heat on our hands. The waves are there. They're working hard. You got to stay light, stay agile. Agile is a good word for these waves. Yes, it is. Um, I would say that for me personally, like in, throughout my years of surfing and competing, um, the the hardest part was surfing small waves. Yeah, because uh, you had a lot of it. You know, a lot of our events were held in, in waves. It's funny because growing up here, I was like, oh, I'll do good in small waves. I'm always surfing them. And then I never really did good in small waves, and I do good when the waves are good. Yeah. And I was like, how does it all – I think it's like a – it's obviously a mental thing where when the waves are good, sometimes it's like you're either getting barreled or there are specific things. It almost simplifies the game. Yeah. Or when it's small, it can be a little. It can be a little more confusing. You're just trying to go fast. Yeah. I mean, I, I look at these waves. I'm like, hey, man. Like, you know, I, I mind surf a lot of waves, and I I certainly mind surf better than I get out there and do it. Right. Yeah. So, it, never I'm like, I'm going really, never, really fast on that one. Never lost a heat from yeah. the beach. <laughs> <laughs> but that's it. You like, you mind surf. You're like, okay, could I? What would I do on the wave with my ability? You know, and you yeah. kind of do that. And uh, you know, here it's, yeah, it's so important. The equipment's there on point. Um, and again, if you can do it, it's kind of like it's a big challenge. It's kind of cool to be able. Yeah, to Yeah, it's rip just small the waves. difference from you know create. You got you know surfers that come from Hawaii, you know West Oz. There's certain areas, even up your guys' way, you get a lot of bigger swells, and it's like you guys know how to harness speed. And then you come from a smaller beach bank, you learn how to create speed. There's those balances where, you know, if you're going to be a top level surfer. If you if you uh, are really good at creating speed, it's almost like Felipe. Yeah. How good he's transitioned into like okay, he's probably the best surfer ever to uh, on creating speed. Yeah. One of them. And not only that, it's staining the speed that he carries. Right. That's the thing. He'll go through maneuvers and come out faster sometimes. Yeah. You're just like what the heck did how did he do that? It's just psycho. But then he's also gotten better at really good waves. You know. So. And you're always refining yourself, right? That's the thing. It's it, That's the magic is to keep getting. That's why I asked Evan. I'm like, dude, hey, I, I mean, there's points in his career he was probably going, well, I don't know if I want to, you know, chase competing anymore. Yeah. But I love that he's inspired again and he's and he's surfing good. So it's like, hey, put that time in and, and uh, you know, because he could have a chance. It's still, even at his age, he could surf well enough to do well on the for CT. Sure. For Especially sure. going into the quality waves on the championship tour. Yeah, well, we're going to send it down to last heat winner and newly minted challenger series surfer dimitri Poulos. congratulations buddy thank you yeah good surfing out there what was your you know what's the strategy on a day like today smaller conditions obviously we're on the qe right here what was uh the plan did you work with mike give us a little breakdown i don't know if you want to give us <laughs> all of it but give us a little rundown yeah no i was working with mike um strategy was just kind of try and get a quick first one and then stay busy through the heat and yeah so i got the first one i wasn't that busy but <laughs> yeah well it is out there it, it kind of when it rains it pours it looks like the waves are small but the way when they come they're decent good shape it looks like you know you drop that six six seven early and then you, you backed it up with a three eight on a day like today we were just saying 10 points you're going to be in the ball game you know and so good job what were you on what's what's the weapon of choice Give us a little breakdown. Um, today I'm riding a Timmy Patterson Synthetic 84. Um, just a super fast little rocket for tiny waves. Awesome. Well, congrats. Any shout outs to the boys, the mom, dad? Um, yeah, mom, dad watching at home, hopefully. Um, the boys, I think they're out of town right now, but maybe tuned in. Um, yeah, thank you guys. Well, congrats. We'll uh, enjoy the Layright Deluxe Bucks, and we'll catch you on the other side, bro. Sick, thank you. So Dimitri, looking fired up. 
it's cool for these guys because, you know, he's qualified for the challengers. But this is a big event, and it's just going to kind of keep them flowing, keep yeah. that rhythm. There's a bit of a break after this as far as the – Yeah, the, there's a couple weeks. Yeah, before we start seeing more competing again for the – for this region yeah but i mean that's the thing like for qs region they don't actually have an event coming for a while um there go these guys will go that have qualified which is the eight of or seven of them i don't know if they've named a wild card or not yet um as far as north america is concerned yeah they, i don't think they have I, I was hearing rumor maybe this week but that's it's not us we don't make that decision yeah, so we're waiting on that there's a couple of the boys cleland you know he's looking to crack the code i think he was on the challengers last season so yep. Had some moments. Uh, it was just, it was tough too. You know, you, the venues that are good, as you see the back end there, holding it together for Barry, barely. Yeah, Trevor. He. We were saying yesterday. You know, a lot of these um, Ventura surfers have crazy good backhands. Oh, and look it, at Sage too, for that matter. Yeah. Right. Yeah. There's another surfer who has a great Sage backhand Erickson, coming out. Obviously, Dane Reynolds. Um, I, I'm thinking more regular footers. And Aton. Aton. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It's Amazing just backhand, big bears. Nathaniel Curran. Yep. Well, he was a goofy footer coming from the region that had good backhand. Or are you talking about no Nathan Curran? Sorry. Tim. But Tim, too. Tim was, yeah. But then you go Bobby. Yeah, yeah. Right. I Sick mean, backhand. Yeah. Crazy. Another good. goofy footer. Here's Lenny on the backhand. He might launch. Throws this fin. So he's, ooh, I don't know if he wore a leash. Oh, he did wear a leash. Um, He's got a couple scores, 5'8", 5'11", 3'6". You're kind of stoked right now. Big time. It's a good place to be. Yeah, oh, 100%, especially with seven minutes to go. Here's Padilla on the backhand. So his little floater kind of lost his speed. That thing runs off without him. So they're going into that. That left goes into really shallow water. Yep, it shuts down quick. It's like one out of ten waves that really allows you to kind of get some and getting multiples. your maneuver done when it has that kind of just big loppy poof, poof, it's, it loses its energy it's so hard right so yeah. trying to come out of your maneuver it's just like poof, poof, you're poof, like fast sink into the slow hole. oh <laughs> catch the rail and you know when that we were saying yesterday when the when it's really shallow it's so much easier to like catch an edge yeah. catch the nose you go over the handlebars yeah. you're like what happened yeah it's true it's just the it's the transition right it's it the transition and I, I was thinking like when you have more water there's more water flowing under you yep. less water you land and it's like boop 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 yeah sink into it yep not enough surface tension exactly it's funny how you, all the elements that we have here i mean you're also i mean the biggest of course is like hey are am i going to get the opportunity <laughs> you have right? to be and that's we were just talking you have to be so positive yeah you have to have a positive mindset even if you're down in the dumps like that's, you need a there's a book six called, seven yeah. eight and it's it's more about just creating that that we like to say you we be a create magnet, our own, right? Rock. A magnet of, of good energy and yep. vibe, right? It's, just, it's the secret. It's the book, The Secret, right? That's, that's yeah. funny, but that's – there's a if you're going to try and tap into every element of uh, that you need to tap in as an athlete, yeah. um, that spiritual side of it is, is an element that, you know, however you can create it, whatever it is, you can get there with it. Yeah. No it's one – part of it. Not a lot of uh, super negative athletes are doing really good. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, yeah. you might have an event or a game or a tournament where you have a you decent one, but over time yeah. and longev uh, yeah. longevity, being negative ain't going to help. Yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah, that's a recipe. I, I, I run on a, on a negative vibration at times, and I've got to train oh, myself a lot. Yeah. You just talk yourself out of it, you yeah. know? Talk yourself to a positive Then there's side. the surfers or the people that are just naturally run on that vibration, right? Which yeah. is, um, you know, or humans as a, as a level, right? They run on a, a very high positive, positive. vibration and yeah. it's uh, you know, probably very easy for them. Well, finding the positive. I know I have to work at it. For sure. <laughs> I think most people do, you know? I think it's, it's cool because I think you, the part, Everyone has challenges in life, and I think that's the part that's a big challenge, right? You have to challenge yourself. This is different. You're competing. A lot of the com like competitors, you challenge yourself in different ways, but just life in general. Maybe someone's not competing, or they're trying to climb the ranks of a, of a job or whatever it may be. Or at school. They're, they're challenged. Yeah. You know? You're, you're trying to learn something that you just don't, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. It's not other. coming easy. Yeah. You want to fight against it. Yeah. I always wanted to fight against these waves. Wait, do I still want to go to school? Do <laughs> yeah. I still want to keep doing that? Right. Yeah. Yeah, no, and, and being able to, to, to finish a goal. I mean, you know that if you succeed at something, how good that feels, right? So there's that little carrot is that, you know, if you can keep at something and finally get there, it feels pretty darn good, especially oh, if you're working hard, right? That's success, right? Yeah. That, that That is like the ultimate. But then keeping that and trying to 
keep doing it. Consistency, oh, yeah, discipline. Here we go. Huckabee, speed float. Nice work there. And a jam. Throws buckets right there. And it just reminds me, this is this is going to be a, probably an improvement here and, uh, and improve on his second position. But uh, like Kelly, for example, right now. Like, yeah. I don't know if you watched his first heat over there. Uh, I did a little bit, yeah. And like it, looked, it took him a little bit to get started. Yeah, like yeah. It, it looked like you know he probably hadn't been surfing a bunch. Yeah. Um, but like, how does a guy like him, especially just to stay motivated to come and do every event and, and you know, for sure, for and even in Portugal, it, it kind of seemed like it felt like he was kind of checking checking out, out. yeah, like it was it, done. That's, he's gonna have to like that's the thing, or maybe like, he was done, maybe coming to Portugal for the event. Like he might finish it out and then be done with. I don't know. Maybe he makes a cut. Who knows? The guy could win. That's what I'm saying, though. But I mean, that's, that's what I'm saying. Is like uh, there's uh, that if you you know, for example, for Kelly and to stay motivated. Like right now, it's like okay, hit, challenge himself to make the cut. I it's not going to be easy. I think someone like that. Yeah, he's. I mean, he, what is he? he's fifty, right? Fifty one. Yeah, it, 50, it, it is. It is. Right? It like, is unfathomable what he's done. You know, it's it's just crazy. The, I think some, you know, over time he thought people were going to maybe catch him. There's no way in heck. No one's no, touching know. him. Like his records and his yeah. success, yeah. you know. I mean, how many world tour wins? Like, I mean, guys, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, you had Gabby, you had John kind of going on these little two-year runs and like, whoa, maybe. But then you forget injuries and all the stuff we just talked about. It's hard to stay that motivated. Yeah. And all of a sudden, of you best, got I think that's what I'm saying is that he's one of the best at it, right? For all the years that he's done it. And he took away. multiple years off. Yeah, no, for sure. When he could have been winning even more. And so I'm just like, I'm almost in I mean, Since he's listening right now and he's probably watching. I'm sure he's Kelly, tuned in. Yeah, for sure. What, 3 a.m.? He's just going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, hey, he's, uh, find some inspiration, Kelly, and yeah. uh, and finish out the season. Kelly should have done this event. Yep. Then went over. <laughs> <laughs> How would that be? Oh. He shows up. Give classic. him a little warm up. Yeah. Well, he's been a huge, the the biggest inspiration for pretty much all surfers. Yeah. Pretty cool. Here we go, Lenny. For one minute forty five seconds, he could take to the sky, Pete. Oh, speed float. Comes around the corner, nice wrap, gets that open, opens up the hips, and again. So groveling this thing through, this wow, making it dead. work, man. Look at that, T Street just training. Laying it down. Uh, so, he's been surfing so well, so stoked to see him getting some success too. Yeah, he's right on that cut line. Like, who knows? They could have went wild card to the eighth spot. No, and they you know still what I mean? Can. And I think, yeah. I mean, he had an event win. I wouldn't say that'd be a bad thing because there's not someone there that's that needs it. Yeah. That's I had mean, a the thing. So I, ultimately, I would say that this guy deserves it. Yeah. That's just my opinion. If I had an opinion, yeah. he earned it. For sure. He's you been, know, he had his last three months, of he's been surfing, obviously, really good competitively. And, he, and talk about, you know, he's a Hurley team rider. So we hang oh, yeah. out and so talk a bit. And gosh, he struggled. No, but he's... He's mentally a challenge. He's been challenged, yeah. you know, and he's fought back and he got a win and yeah. he, all these things just turned the corner for him. Yeah. You know, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, and there's guys just behind him, right? That are 10th, 11th, 12th, 12th. right? That's that's Nolan. Yep. It's Slauson. Yep. And it's John and it's yeah, Tyler. It's so like, gnarly. They've been like, and those are all great surfers. Yeah. That are that are being like John. Poor John. You have to be able to surf in a couple of the challenger events, but now he sits outside the cut line and it's, has to redo it's it. Right. Brutal. Now, right? Like, that's the part I look at it and I go, Hey, it's kind of cool. Like. You you don't have to travel the world and you can make the tour, but then all of a sudden it's not it's uh, it's all way harder. Yeah, <laughs> pretty darn hard. Well, so, okay, I'm gonna check out. I'm gonna uh, step out for the day. Hey, thank you, Pete. Uh, thanks for listening, Appreciate folks. It. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and uh, you know what, small wave surfing is super cool. So just pay pay more attention to it. Thanks to Jax and Hydroflask and uh, the rest of the industry for supporting this event. I'm stoked on it. Awesome. We'll see you later. Okay. Appreciate it, Pete. Well, that one's a wrap. Taj Lindblad. Ryan Huckabee through to the round of 32. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be back in a hot beat. If you could chase the sun, where would it lead you? Would you seek the sweetness of new places? Or fall for the warmth of a day well spent? Would you say yes to adventure for adventure's sake? 
Would you live in a golden state of mind? Here's to you, adventure seekers. Let's chase the sun together. The White Tiger is more just the fun board version of it. The Red Tiger is kind of the more performance version. I had a White Tiger on our trip and I really liked it. I just like the speed and the looseness of it for small waves. Basically. If you're going fast, you're having fun. Exactly. All right, we're back. Jack's Pro 3000, Huntington Beach, California. Here we go. Alan Cleland in red, Wheeler Hasbro in blue, Sebastian Mendez in white, and Sage Guinaldo in green. So we just keep moving along. Round to 64, Heat 7. Mr. Chad Wells is back. Full Grom Fest. It is. It, this heat is. This heat is a little bit of a, you know, you got Sage, local kid. He's a year or two out of the amateurs. Wheeler's still in the amateurs, having a good run in some of these recent qualifiers, making a lot of rounds. Yep. Um, who else do we got out there? We have Alan Cleland, hammer. Gnarly. Backhand hammer, tube hound. Charges, too. Charges. Yeah, he's a hammer. Crazy then, part in that Quicksilver. Uh, Saturn. That it's Saturn. Yeah, th that of that made you want to just run through a wall charge big pits and launch um and then you got sebastian mendez who was a you know a bit of a star yesterday the backhand had a really good wave yeah you know it's good to see bash winner's pizza ha yeah having s some success you know i mean we've seen him come up from just a tiny little grom and now he's kind of in that junior kind of young man stage and and you can see the improvements. The, his, he's grown a lot. He's gotten a lot, a lot taller. more power. Yes. He was a standout in the board ride, the battle of the board riders yep. over uh, over the course of the Wednesday's competition. So yeah, I mean, here we go. It looks it's like Cleland. Cleland's looking left, which is a great idea. This kid's backhand, boom, and again more vertical. So nice start there. And then you had Wheeler going right and blue, and he gets a finish too. So nice little exchange. Looks like local boy Guinaldo up and riding. Might take to the sky. So pops the reverse right there. Little slash back. This thing looks like it's doubling up again, Wellesley. Little check snap. And then gets the finish. Bonus section. Yeah, so that was cool. South swell. Bash looks like he's on a set wave as well. Boom. Nice backhand turn. Climbs it right there. Staying composed. Hits it again. So great exchange. Wow. Big flurry to open up heat number seven here in the round of 64. Hasbro got a piece, Cleland got a piece, Mendez got a piece, and Sage, I mean, um, man, I'm, I'm going to say maybe the best mm. of the bunch. We'll see. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see where the judges take it. I think it, yeah, it all depends. We got to, if we get a couple replays to see, you know, where the air was done on the, on the criticalness of the section, I think that's always important. If it, you know, if it's a flatter, more of a hop, Rather than a you know that transition like through the lip, right? You know is always what the judges are looking for. But it was technical. Here we yeah, go. Yeah, so we'll get a good look at it all right here. Uh, I think this is another wave. This is so this is Cleveland second wave, little three turn. Oh, that was first wave. Sorry, yeah, that was the four or five. And this was, and this was Wheeler's five. So nice little combination there. Like I said, this kid's low key surfing for Canada, but I'm pretty sure he's living down in Encinitas. Um, under the wave key as well, Gerlach. Oh, so they do, yeah. And then this is his second. So pops it right there in the pocket and more vertical for that. That was a 5.4. Yep. Oh, the boy is just uh, rallying hard to open up this heat. Bit of a flurry right here, you guys. So here goes Guinaldo. You know, uh -huh. pops it right there. So a little bit, you know, out on the flats, but still pretty well done. Check snap and then gets the finish off the whitewash. So these scores are all dribbling through. We're going to check it down with the glass. We got last heat winner Taj Lindblad 
It's Simpo and Wellesley here, buddy. Congratulations. Yeah, that, Taj. Thank you. Yeah, brother. Good job. Hey, uh, board looks good. Body looks good. What's What was under the feet? Uh, that board was the board I won Moro on. It's kind of my magic board, so. Wow, he's busted out the Moro. Hey, yeah. <laughs> we, have to, we have to say that that was the best after heat contest win takeoff ever. Was that, was it planned or was it kind of, what was the, you know, riding the horse up, there's the greatest photos on the internet. <laughs> Give us a little rundown of that event and the success. Yeah, uh, well we were riding on the beach like two weeks before and we were kind of like, oh, it'd be sick if I like won and got cheered up on a horse and then the event went on and I didn't think anything of it and then it, I was in the final, I was like, I, I still wasn't thinking, I was just like, oh, I just gotta win and then, uh, with like five minutes left, I was winning, and I looked, and the trailer pulled up full of horses. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> I love it, Taj. You <laughs> prophesized that <laughs> one. And then I, my, uh, my best friend David had like a hurt knee, and then his roommate, which is also one of my good friends, McClay, he had like a hurt shoulder. I was like, oh, they can't cheer me up, so yeah, I'll just get on the horse. <laughs> That's so <laughs> sick. It was just epic. Well, it turned out hey, good. congratulations, Laywright Deluxe Bucks. Don't spend it too fast. You're looking good, looking spicy. What you know? What's the plan coming into this new season? Uh, just have fun. You know, I don't know. I think when you have fun, the results start coming. So, yeah, just have fun and enjoy competing and surfing. That's right. Well, your last couple months have been super successful. You're surfing amazing. So, keep it going forward. Co uh, positive mindset. And um, anyone you want to give a shout out to? Uh, yeah, my parents. Uh, I think my mom's probably watching. My dad's down here. My grandpa's here. Cousin, sister. Uh, yeah. All right. Thanks. We'll tell Mark and Paige we say hi. Yep, for sure. All right. Thanks, Have boys. a good day, bud. Right we'll on, you. Taj. There you go. Taj Limblad taking out Heat 6 in the round of 94 and a couple solid waves hey, being ridden. That was a flurry fest right there. Yeah, this heat is not disappointing. So Sage Ganaldo, 593. Ah, somehow I called it. And... Uh, Backed it up with a 377. Sebastian Mendez, his opener, a 4.07. He backed it up with a 623, which puts him in the lead. Al Cleland nailed one. He's got a score coming in. And uh, oh, not we're just rocking here. Yeah, Heat that was seven. a flurry. So we got that added tide right now, which is definitely helping the cause. Yeah, and you know what? The texture's great. Like it's not blown out it's not glassy anymore but the faces are still smooth and looking at the report it looks like eight or nine miles an hour of west southwest wind it's not going to torch it too bad yeah that's fine tide's going to peak out or have we peaked what time is it ready 10 10 12. 12 it's not high yet i'm gonna have a we'll have a quick look i think it goes back an hour each day so we're kind of on that midday bonanza Let's have a quick gander as the boys are sniffing around right here. Might be a little wedgy one. So 1044, we're about 30 minutes away from a 4.0. Here goes Cleland, wave number four, I think. Wow, that was well done. Did he have first priority on that? He must have. He did. Or no. No? He was in fourth priority. Gosh. Or no, maybe they switched. I, yeah. I wasn't really looking. Because that was a fine wave. Let's watch right here, Wellesy. Both. So a little pivot snap and then big layback. Solid finish. Yeah. So that'll come in. Red was in third, needing the 491, but that's going to help his cause right there. For sure. Hasbro, 547. He For jumps sure. into the lead. Yeah, this one's, this one's uh, tight. This is a little bit of a barn burner. Well, that's what we love. Yeah, no, we love it. Guys are ripping today. And, uh, you know, this little kind of southwest swell or whatever it is out of the south, is it's providing. And it's not, you know what, Brett, it's not the weird uh, dying out wind swell that kind of crumbles off the bank. Like these waves are kind of standing up and kind of peeling, which is giving the boys some opportunity. Yeah, it, the waves or quality when they're coming in right now. Every Look at the scores right here. Everyone's got a couple fives or a keeper, sixes, you Cleveland, know. Five, seven, oh, right Bingo. up into the lead. Hasbro yeah. now in second. I mean, in hindsight, looking at that wave, and I'm sure Al would, would attest, like that first turn, he could have got a little bit out farther and maybe jammed it. Right. He kind of just 
pivoted. Pivoted a little bit, but the second turn was humongous. Yeah, no, that was the money turn. I mean, that was most of the, that score right there. But it's tight out there. I guess that's one thing. There's not a little lot of area to run away today. You really have to wait for the sets and capitalize when they come. Hope your priorities, you know, in that one and two spot. Yep. So if you guys are just logging on, this is the Jax Pro 3000 presented by Hydro Flask. And Hydro Flask has an amazing tent on the sand and yeah. they are banging out some oh you're doing the yeah you got to do the mix and match yeah they've got some custom bottles with the like the bottle holder um you know hydro flask delivers high performance insulated gear and and helps people you know enjoy the things they like to do and to uh you know keep things sustainable stay away from the plastic yeah. exactly well here we go a little recap of our heat right here this is Wheeler's first wave 5.0. And you're going to see a little mixed bag because this heat's been a bit of a flurry. Here's Cleland on the backhand. I think this was no, a We five. saw this one already, didn't we? Yeah, this is a recap. Little 5.4. And then this is Sage's 5.93. So pops the air reverse right there. Nimble footwork, able to shuffle back. Little check snap and then finishes on the oncoming whitewash. Little tail kick. So 5.93. And then this is the 6.23 for Bash Bash Mendez. So cleaner wall. And look, the, the rhythm and the, the timing, the thing was really glassy. You know what's crazy? It reminded me of Reiki Nishida's wave oh, yesterday. Where very every time he came off the bottom, the lip was waiting for him. And then this is Wheeler's 5.47, maybe the bigger wave. The only thing there that caught him, and the judges would have saw it, is he lost his footing and his knee went to the deck and that's a little bit of a mistake but then this is the 5.57 of uh al cleland with the big drop wall at hammer at the end and now we wait for the next set <laughs> right we how good was having pete in the booth by Pete's the way so good he's, he's gold. amazing he's gold he's good as gold yeah, it was cool. I was able to, you know, Hurley sponsored the Sunset Pro, and I was able to go on the booth a couple of times with him and Strider. And gosh, it's like when you're working with the, you know, it's just, it's fun. It's easy. It's yeah. like well, enjoyable. It's like working with you, Brett. <laughs> yeah, having just good rapport with someone, it just makes the conversations easy. It just flows. And look at the bird just dove down and got himself a little snack, a little lunchtime fish so down to just under seven minutes and i mean we've got a, ourselves a heat yeah this thing's tight you gotta look bash mendez with priority needs a 4.24 sage guinaldo second highest wave of the heat needs a 4.54 so and he's got second so priority this is going to be a, a shake right here when we get this next set 6 30 on the clock all right cleland chipping into a small one must see something, and there it is, little air rev. Little spin doctor. That was sick. Super technical. It's hard to do. Turn a turn a two into a four or five. Plus. Will he replace one of his uh, pair of fives? I don't think so. But yeah, it's just it's hard. I mean, that was explosive, but even on a wave of that size, it's hard to. There it is. Yeah, it's a four point four three zero. Yeah. Didn't help the cause. Staying loose, though. Yeah, I mean, no, he's in fourth priority. Might as well roll the dice. And what you do is you you make these guys out here think like, oh crap, am I? You know, he, they're hearing scores. Like, did I pet? Did I make a mistake not riding that wave? It kind of just pressures them a little bit. And you're in advance. He, he's in the lead, which is a good feeling. Yep, five and a half minutes remaining. But this one could shake, right? You got a priority with a guy that needs a 4-2. He could, this could, it's all tight. Anyone's a five away from taking the lead. Yeah, and or second. I mean, it's very tight. And Sage kind of just waiting it out for his turn. You know, he's sitting on that second highest score, that 5-9-3. Needs just, uh, you know, four and a half points to basically turn this heat. Local boy does this in his sleep too, just yeah. like you. I mean, no, he surfs he's out here surfs every day. Up. Exactly. I mean, I'm sure he has the feeling of what he's looking for. Will it come? 
that's when we, you know Pete and I were just talking how, and we always say like how you have to stay mentally ready on just like you know you're hyper hyper analyzing these waves, and when that wave pops up, you have to have that feel of this is it. And if it's not, it's because it's towards the end, and you you just want to give yourself a chance. But today, it's been like, hey, when those waves pop up, there's there's been some good opportunities. Yeah, and it's uh, I mean, good good right handers, left handers, and it, it's hitting the sandbar proper. Yeah, you know, it's breaking how a normal wave breaks. Good not shape. With the wind swelly like stand up burger out type thing. Yeah, yeah. There's been some good shape little waves. And I, the forecast had shaped up, you know, from even yesterday when we were looking at it. It's, uh, it's saying two to three all the way through the weekend. Cool. So, you know, we've got the Hydro Flask Fuax Air Show coming up over That'll the weekend. That'll be fun. People will be punting. Do you, know, you use Do you use cold or cool? Oh, you know what? I'll tell you. What's the trick? I for when it gets, I'd say anywhere Under south of fifty-five. Mm, maybe, gosh, 60. Yeah. I'm a cold guy. Really? Yeah. I you just use less of it. Yeah. And it's sticky. I've been using cold. I love the cold. I have a little cool there, but I used cold yesterday. I did a new little coat of base and then barely put any on, and the thing's so sticky. I just don't like if I have too much and if it gets a little, um, which food doesn't, but it, if it slides a little. If you use too much, it gets weird. Can. Yeah, you just, it's yeah. it's pixie dust. You yeah. just, good coat of base just a and little just tss tss keep the bar flat, glide yeah. it across the tops, give yeah. it a pat with your hand and say, Money. thanks for coming. All right, here we go. Exchange right here. Bash with priority is going on his backhand. Needs a 4-2-4. Nice turn there. Can he get another? Does. A little shaky good to hang landing. on. He did a little shaky landing, but he did hang on. So two-turn combo, looking for the 4-2-4. Four, four. First turn was pretty nice. Hey, a couple had a pokes into the lip. Had to for force the second one, but nice turn off the bottom. Vertical, kind of a little gets caught, but he did a good job to power through. Uh, he got to it late, but still managed to get up into it. Did good to hang on. Will it be enough? A 4-2-4 four, four required to get out of third. And time is just winding down. We're just above two minutes. Will this thing flip? I th this is what I was saying. If third and fourth could hey, be hey. going to first and second. I like this first turn, how he was able to really, like, bang it, make it critical, but still project out Yeah, of it. he had speed. He, like, kind of kicked it. You know the best at that. Kanoa and Griff. Yeah. The Kanoa Griff turn. Yeah, just able to just keep it above, like, hit the lip. Got the fin So free, the previous but still wasn't. Projected. He got a 3 8 3 bash did. Oh. And he gave himself this chance right here. So interesting. Yeah, that late hit might have kind of hindered that score. He did good on the first one. The late one was a bit sticky. The second turn. Yeah. Yeah. They got super hypercritical. 42 seconds remaining. So oh, wow. we game? are just here at the 30 second mark. There it is. Sage gets the score, goes to the lead, 5.83. Comboed with his 5.93, takes the lead. Cleland in second. Hasbro looking for a 5.51. Mendez now needs a 4.74. Need a flurry. My head's on a <laughs> spinning out. And Need then Mendez's lat is previous was 3.73, so not enough. Just right there, you it know. It was so close. If that If that previous wave holds up a little longer, it's probably get it you know but and i mean that is competitive surfing for you brett look at that heat look how tight it was look at those scores well looking like sage guinaldo alan cleland advancing through to the round of 32 we're going to take a quick break and we'll be back The cool thing about having a whole family of twin fins is that you really can ride a twin fin in any sort of waves. So I've ridden all these in the twin pin and the free scrubber, for example. So if it's pretty small and it's a bit of a grovelly situation, I'll go for an upright pivotal fin. If the surf's really cranking and I'm riding a twin fin in something I kind of shouldn't be, 
especially a narrow tail twin fin like the twin pin, I'll put in this, the AMK, so I don't have tons of hold and I could draw big arcs. But when the waves are just good and I really want to open up maximally what a twin fin can do, I find that this one bridges that gap and has the most drive and the most hold, but lots of pivot and draws tight arcs. Do your thing. Welcome back to the Jax Pro coming at you live from the sands of Surf City, Huntington Beach. This is uh, the Jax Pro 3000 presented by Hydroflask. With me in the booth, Mr. Scott Waring, our contest director. Scott, HB not disappointing today. Hey, I'm a very happy camper right now. It's beautiful weather, and we actually got some waves, like much better than yesterday. I know the tide's on the incoming, and so we're getting a lot of waves right now, and I'm stoked, man. Yeah, guys are ripping. Here we go. Will Dean opening up the account here, and the grommet from North Carolina wraps it back. So... Uh, we had uh, Luca Messinas open up with a 2 3 3. Here, let's just take a look. Luca Messinas in red, Loyal Kenworthy in blue, Will Dean right there on your screen in green, and David Ducarmo in white. So, heat number eight. We're marching through 16 heats today. We've got our co commentator, Mr. Brady Simpson, coming up in heat number four. Let's see, where is it? Brady, 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 Brady. Where's Brett? There he, oh wait. Why am I, why am I not finding Brett? He told me which heat he had. There he is, heat 13. 13. So he's been out, he's on a break right now, but Green had a first wave, here's, or no, there's a replay here, so. Click. Nice little tap little, there. Yeah, nice little fin throw. Boy, the colors look amazing right now. Those jerseys look like a 50-50 bar. But anyway, yeah, I'm just super stoked came down today a little bit of south wind in the morning uh kind of ugly now the sun's out wind's dropping down tides coming in waves are coming in couldn't ask for better that you know better conditions right now really yep to carmo um, he resides just down the street in newport the brazilian big rail turn and is he going to stick with this is there a little more chicken on the bone snapping right there and he is out so and now blue, Loyal Kenworthy. We can only imagine this is the brother uh, of I Bella Kenworthy. Enough. Yeah, who's no. coming up. Uh, I think she's seated pretty high, so she'll yeah, probably serve tomorrow. I can yep. do it. Yeah, so anyway, I um, think uh, DeCarmo won his heat yesterday, I believe. He did, so yeah, he picked he up some Layright Deluxe Bucks. Every heat winner throughout the rounds picks up pick up some extra cash from Lay Layright Deluxe, which is... Uh, been part of our crew for a long time super cool people great product and uh jack surfboards pro six annual here come running and uh been supporting been supporting pro surfing here in the u.s for a very long time stoked on jack surfboards presented by hydro flask right on hey we have the winner of the last heat mr sage ganaldo on the sand sage are you there scott wearing chad wells what up, boys? I can hear you. Hey, great surfing. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, Digging the shades. 
You're Dude. a local. You're a local boy here, so we know that you're super familiar with the sandbanks. Yeah, local dog. Grew up here. Went to Huntington. But grew yeah. up in Costa Rica, though. Yeah. I did. Yeah, originally Costa Rica. Grew up there for like ten or twelve years. I think I came back here for high school, and this is like my backyard now. Got pretty used to it. Well, great surfing today. Um, what are your competitive aspirations for the rest of the event and even for the year? So, I mean, it's, um, you know, obviously a result here would be huge. Yeah, I mean, obviously the goal is to win on my home break in front of, like, family and friends. Like, I don't know. I've had, had like, dreams about, like, taking this thing home and being cheered up by my, like, friends and family. So, yeah, obviously I want to win here at my home break and just, you know, show it up. I like <laughs> it. PMA. So talk to us. What What is the magic sauce under the feet today? Yeah, so I have this IPA. It's kind of like the go-to model right now. It's this, uh, I can't say too much on it. It's the secret model that we, uh, we've been working on together. But it's a 510, uh, 28.4 liters, and it's 18.85. What kind of fins are you running in that thing? I'm riding the TPs, the T. Pattersons, size large. Um, Coach Christian Signs actually put me onto them. They've kind of been my go-to fin in like, all conditions, but... Yeah, dude, this board is this board is the board for this event. Well, right on, you're looking <laughs> the goods, man. Uh, anything you'd like to say to people out there watching? Yeah, totally. I want to say, well, thank you, Jax, for putting on this event. Thank you, Hurley, all my other sponsors, my brother, mom, dad, watching, Lily's watching, my sister. Thank you to you know all the other competitors for being good sportsmanship and just absolutely dominating this lineup. I know it's tricky, but you know. It's going to be a fun event. I'm stoked. <laughs> All right. Well, some Layright Deluxe Bucks in the back pocket. That never hurts. Oh, yeah. I'm stoked on that. Well, congratulations. You got the rest of the day off. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Right on. There you go. Sage Ganaldo taking out heat number seven in the round of 64. And we've got plenty of rides in the scoreline, as you saw on your screen. Yes, Will sir. Will Dean opened up with a – or actually opened up with the 4-3-3, chased it with a solid score of a five-point ride, has him in the lead. Luca Messinas, former World Tour surfer, the Peruvian, 4.83 and a 4.47. Here's DeCarmo. Snapping it off the top right there, the nice little cutty. So picking up a pretty decent wave there. DeCarmo, blue. And now Canworthy on the backhand. Looking for, up. Oh, he didn't get a hit in there, uh, so he'll get right back out there. But... Uh, Lots of action right now. Looks like the swell's kind of pulsing, which is nice. And the boys are throwing down some scores. Yep, so as it stands, Dean out in front, Messinas in second, DeCarmo might have a wave coming through. He has a 5.5 in a score line, and Kendall Worthy in the four spot. He's got a 4.10 and a .5, so he also has a score coming in, so we'll see where the judges place these waves in the home of 1 to 10 and how it affects their score line. 11 20 remaining. A beautiful day. Come on down if you're in striking distance. Plenty of killer brand swag on offer. Uh, amazing brands Salty Crew, Revia, Hurley, FCS, Pizel, Excel wetsuits, Monero wetsuits, Costa Eyewear, Sunbum. O'Neill, Vans, Ava, uh, Ava, not familiar, but it's a surfer-owned and operated brand of um, uh, ambassadors with Aloha. Uh, GoPro, in-store stuff happening, too, up at the Jack stores. If you buy a GoPro at Jack's, you'll get up to $120 in nice. free accessories. And then Nixon also has some action going on in store if you spend a hundred dollars on nixon goods you'll get a free backpack at you know all locations you know what's even better chad what? you come down watch the event these guys have swag they're giving away like crazy the hats. hydro flask booth hydro flask booth what do those things run they're quite expensive come down and win one for free yeah. well here's the rad part because I've, I've got let's see how many hydro flasks do i own my kids have two they use for school I lost a 32-ounce or had to buy another one, which is that one right there. Um, we have another one that we do, like, little to goies for, like, the concerts in the park. And then another, like, more bottle one just 
on ice. So, and then we've got like the drink stuff. So hey, we're, I, we're huge fans. I, I've got a great Hydro Flask mug. When I got to judge the Big Wave Tour in Piahi, uh, so I have a World Tour mug. So things work awesome. Well, and just the longevity of them. Yeah. You know, I, I, I'm a big fan of the refill. Stay out of the landfill. Exactly. So thank so. you, Hydro Flask, for supporting the Jax Pro and also the Fuwax Air Show. Air we Finals. Are very thankful and psyching. Nine minutes remaining to Carmo, his last. Puts him up into the lead, Scott, 5.23. Here he goes. Nope, he had a paddle, so but he's in fourth, so no no worries. You, if you're priority one and you paddle for a wave and you don't catch it, you go back to the end of the line. So you want to be careful. Check this out. Blue, Kenworthy, he's up. He was stuck behind it the first time, but this one he gets a nice smash in there. So one hit. Uh, I, th I think uh, he's going to want to look for something better than that. There's some ways lining up now, but, uh, you know, you got to start somewhere. So he got a nice smash to get his program going. Yep. So to bookend some of the brands, I mean, some that aren't on my list that are here, Volcom, um, Otis. Who else? Quicksilver, Future Fans. Well, one that stepped up Reef. this year is Jackery Solar. And they are, uh, we got power banks here. So if you, you know, the traveling I surfers saw here. I was wondering what those were. Dude, they're awesome. Like they're, they're in position up in the, VIP in the VIP area. Yeah. Beach Marshall, if you're down here, you've traveled, you go, oh, no, I can't charge my phone. Where You just plug it in, juice it up. All solar. All solar. So Jackery just stepping it up. And, and so we got one in the VIP Beach Marshall area. The Jackery crew's over there with, you know, just teaching everybody about it. Yeah, super stoked on those guys coming on board. Stoked on our local boy, Andrew, down at Auto Excellence. Oh, he's supporting, supporting the supporting women's. the women's air final presented by Hy Hydro and Flax their heat and Fuax. Yep. And, oh, yeah, the, the heat heat prize pool. Yep. Oh, no, we love Automotive Excellence. They're yeah. one of our – they've been one of our Seal Beach Board Riders supporters for years. So – we're, we're very familiar with Andrew Harris and the boys over at Automotive Excellence. Whoa. Here's Loyal Kenworthy. Bangs it off the top. How's the size of the wave? Comes around the corner, <laughs> cracks it again, and gets the finish. That thing was so, like So, I mean, shoulder. Loyal's chasing a 5-2-3. That was nice. I got some crazy reverb in my headphones. He's got the full mullet or something going, huh? Turn, it, turn up my headphones. Oh, I'm kidding. Whoa. Headphones are like echoing. What's up with the echo, Mauricio? <laughs> yeah, we went full echo in the Bunnyman. 640 remaining. DeCarmo out in front. Pair of fives, 550 five, oh, and a 5-2-3. Will Dean, the Wiley Gromit from North Carolina, five points and a 433. Trying to replace that low 433. And then your priority surfer, the Peruvian former World Tour Championship surfer, Luca Messinas on the hunt for a 4.51 to jump into second. And Loyal Kenworthy, the Grom from down south, looking for a 5.23. So the water, it's got a little south texture, it looks like, or it's hard to tell You know, it's west-southwest wind, so it's kind of like blows. Like this way? Just kind of or not wait. straight in. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's not too but bad, it's then. almost kind of straight. Yeah. That south kind of gives it the angle, but it blows in more over the back, so it keeps the faces clean. Yeah, no, my headphones are freaking out, too. <laughs> Don't worry. So, anyway, beautiful day. Saw some dolphins out there earlier. Oh, the water's crazy clear right now, considering how much runoff and rain we've got. Yeah. With, with uh, just the exponential snowpack happening. Yeah, super beautiful. But no river mouth in Huntington. They're lucky. Just down south yes, at that, River Jetties. Yeah. And up north at San Gabriel River Mouth in our hood. Yeah. So if you're just logging on, we are in the round of 64. This is heat number eight. I'm with our contest director, Mr. Scott Waring. We've been buddies for ages. It's probably the only reason I'm in here. And, <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> you and, make uh, me laugh. Scott, you've been, um, how many years have you been running this comp? Six years now? This, this particular series uh, with Jax for six years. But I, I've been producing through the American Pro Surfing Series, which was created with me and my wife, Shannon. 
the uh, Shoe City Pro, the right. Camus Did Chris win one of those? What's that? Did yeah, Chris, Chris won the Caton 2010. Yep. Look at this. Boom. Nice hit. Nice smash. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Too solid. You could see rail work being done. So that is Red Lucas or Luca. 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 Definitely going to be his best wave. I'm calling it out. He's got a 483 and a 447. I'm talking. I'm there's going to be a judge right now. 667. Six, Throw it out there. We'll see. But I'm going to not. I'm going to stop. Just had to do it. <laughs> see where I come in. Uh, but he anyway. Looked, he looked sharp. Yeah, nice power. Kept the flow. Beautiful day. Everyone down here enjoying the weather, checking everyone out. Got the women coming up soon. Okay, 583. Luke Messinas jumps into second. If he wants the lead, he needs a 4.9. So I agreed with Judge 5 and 1, but it averaged a 583. So good score. Three minutes, 41 seconds. DeCarmo in the lead. Red in second, moved up to second, I think, or maybe you're still there. And hey, then, it's crazy how fast these heats go. Yeah, they do. I mean, this one just flew past us. We're down just to uh, almost three minutes. To Carmo, out in front, pair of fives. Messinas chasing a 4-9 if he wants the lead. Will Dean now your priority server in third. Beautiful Requires shot. Requires a 5-6-7. Seven. And Kenworthy, a 6-5-6 six, six to get out of fourth. Time is not your friend when you're chasing a decent score. No. And then when you're in the lead, time, and it's close, it seems to be forever as well. There, look at how clear that is. There's a sand bottom. There are no rocks, no reef, nothing to get hurt on except uh, very shallow. So you don't want to go head first into it. But or the odd stingray. Well, stingrays, yeah. You ever been stung? Uh, I've been grazed and I got zapped. I got stung once. Boy, there you are. Not fun. Yeah. No, I, I thought I was like <laughs> the luckiest human being in the world considering I live in the stingray capital I know, of Orange stingray County. Stingray Bay, right, or whatever. And, uh, I actually didn't get it in SEAL because our river mouth is just loaded with them because we have that power plant that pushes out warm water, so they just love it. But uh, I got it here in Huntington. Thanks for coming. So, Chad, you know, this is very interesting. I want to talk to you about this. So white is shadowing red, who's in second, but the, he's not shadowing green, who could move into second or first. What's up with that? Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know. Look at this. Like, I don't know why that would be. Usually you're, you're, you're keeping the third place guy off a of wave, right? Oh, okay, so I guess green has priority, so that wouldn't be worth shadowing him because he's going to get the wave no matter what. So yeah, my there's brain's a lot not of, working. There's a, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff going on out here in small conditions, you know, like wave positioning, priority. It's not just riding the wave today because it's pretty inconsistent. And so it comes down to getting that last wave with a minute 12. Kenworthy needs in blue, he needs a 6.56. That's a tough score. Green, though, a 5.67 to knock somebody out of first and second is not too bad. So let's see what happens. DeCarmo, these guys know what they're doing. They've been at this game a long time. So DeCarmo is probably thinking if green gets a score, red can't get a score. So let's see how it unfolds. Got a little bump out the back. Okay, a couple bumps. 40 seconds. Here's green with priority. Look at this. Looking, uh, It looks like a good right. So he's, uh, green's looking to better a 5.67. Let's see what he does. Nice hit there. Will the wave continue to grow? Nice smash. It's going to be close. Up okay. to the five wise men up top. And I here mean, goes it's blue. Blue is going, he needs a big score, so doing the best to get it, though. Nice snaps. You know what, Scott? I was going to say how hypercritical it is to be a judge in conditions like this. Oh, it's not. It's a really. So, you know what? I think we got to look at the green wave 
to see if he got it. Maybe we'll get a replay on that because that's the one that needs a five, six, seven. Here it is. Is the score in this wave? Cracks it off the top. First good turn. Pretty decent second, but we'll have to see. Those judges, they they got it dialed today. So see if he gets it. It's going to be close either way. He's either going to get it close or not get it. I think. Oh, Will Dean's going to have a long shelf life, let me tell you. He's uh, probably about 14 or 15 years old and just cutting his teeth in these pro events. So and he's just, and just he's gaining just... experience every heat. He's one of the standouts on the East Coast, North Carolina boy. His father, Sean, owns a surf shop, secret spot. So, yeah, I mean, it's uh, if he – doesn't get the score, it's, you know, just put it in one of the chapters. And if he does, he's going to move on and, and continue to, to learn. So with all that being said, let's wait for this score. And um, all right, DeCarmo, pretty clear cut on the W. Scores falling for Will Dean. Do not look like he's going to get it. A four, four eight, eight seven. seven. So not what is required. Stay with us. We will be back after this. So welcome back. The Jax Pro presented by Hydro Flask. We're here. Round of 64, Heat 9, Crosby Colapinto, Jojo Whalen in blue, Parker Cohn in white, and Rafael Pereira in green. So little, it was nice, Scotty, to be able to, I went out there and watched that end of that last heat. It was exciting. Guys are getting really good scoring waves. It's, it's nice shape. Um, Thank goodness we got this little south swell, but it, it's highly contestable. Look at this right here. Nice oh. aerial view. You can see how shallow it is in clear water. So, But yet, like you said, Brett, it's got a nice little sandbar. So we are getting contestable waves that are looking mighty fine. It makes me want to go surfing, you know. That's that's good enough. Yeah, so that was JoJo Whalen hailing out of Newport. Kid loves to charge the big stuff. Toto Santos, Mavericks. He's really putting in the work there, and that was a nice little. He's always had a great style, big turns, and that was a nice little start for him. Smaller wave, but we'll see how it all. Uh, well, look at this wave. <laughs> this could be a flurry. Looks like Pereira went left as well. So Nice pop. smash off the top. Low center of gravity with power. He's throwing his power into it. Yeah, hailing from Venezuela, so he's staying with it. And then we got more. This is the replay of Blue. Crosby, Jack's team rider, rapping. And uh, your current Challenger Series title holder this year after the big win in Barbados. So it looks like there was hands going up. Looks like he got a good wave. Yeah, I think uh, hopefully we'll see a replay. I think that wave was stood up quite could high go. for him. Excellent. And he did win the Jacks Pro 2019 when yes. it was cranking. It was so good that year. Yeah, I yeah. remember panicking because it was <laughs> so good. 
So we're stoked to have Crosby here, Jack's team rider, what, current leader of the QS for the Challenger Series. North America, North yes. North America. Correct. And uh, his brother on the world tour. Yep. Jack Surfboards Pro presented by Hydroflax is going off today. It's yeah. It's beautiful. There's tons of people showing up. Here we go, Brett. Here we go. A little speed float, then cracks it right there. This is JoJo regaining the momentum. Looks like he has a nice little small wave board. And then gets a f another floater and another. So a lot of repetition. And, uh, you know, just signed a nice little deal with IPD. Here we go. Crosby Colapinto snaps it right there in the pocket. So look at this wave. Big jam there. Another jam. Wraps it back in. So you see the point of difference with the rail going all the way into the whitewash. So that is some big boy surfing right there. He got about five, six maneuvers. I think we're going to see an excellent score. So there they are. A little spread out. There's our beautiful vendor village. Jack's Pro presented by Hydro Flask. You got all the sponsors down here. I mean, Salty Crew, Rivia, Hurley, FCS, Pizel, ja uh, Excel, Monero Wetsuits, Costa, Sunbum, O'Neill, Vans, Ava Brand, GoPro, Nixon, Super 73, and Billabong. So if you're in the vicinity, I recommend get down here if you got kids or you just want to enjoy a nice day and watch some high-performance surfing, I'd get down here. And there it is, 8.5, Crosby Colapinto. Jojo Whalen gets a 4.0. Parker Cohn gets a 1.0. And Rafael Pereira, 5.33. And then this wave right here is his second. So he's going to back up that 5.33. You know, tail of two days. Yesterday, they, everyone was surfing a little bit more to the south. We had some wind swell. And today is much, you know, the better waves are the south swell waves. Everyone's a little bit more towards the pier. And uh, the sandbar, for the, for the size of waves, it's very uh, highly contestable. And, you know, Crosby Cola Capinto just showed that eight fives across the board. And uh, here it is right here. Look at this wave. Nice little chest-high wedge off the bottom. Snaps it right there. Gets the fin some release. Re-engages the rail. Snaps it again. So two similar turns. And then right here... He clicks it right off the wash. And then this is where he opens it up a little bit more. You can see that nose of the board go back into the whitewash and again. So, you know, that's committed rail surfing. Gets the finish. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. 8.5. And it looks like he might have just rode another one. Here we go. Blue. JoJo Whalen up and riding. Snaps it right there. So big first turn. Clicks it under the pocket, and he gets out of there. So, yeah, we'll see. Uh, you know, we get a replay of Crosby's wave in red. See what he got up to. He definitely has a backup score. So, we've got a nice exchange. Crosby might really solidify it. So, get on... All right, so we're going to send it down to the glass. Last heat winner, Davido Carmo. It's Simpo here. Congratulations, brother. You're moving on into the round of 32. Great heat. Give us a little rundown. Oh, uh, good morning. Thank you guys very much. Uh, yeah, I'm stoked for sure. Move this round again. And, and yeah, I just feel like I didn't surf as good. That I surfed yesterday, but it's enough to make. So yeah, try to make some adjustments, you know, on my body, and yeah, I hope next week I surf more loose and I can get some better scores. Yeah, good job. Are you riding the same board as yesterday? Yeah, pretty much same board. Yep. And five six, epoxy, large fins, carver. Awesome. Yeah, it looks good. It looks fast. I mean, you're a veteran out here. You're putting these kids to work. I like to see that. Um, any shout outs to your friends, family? Yeah, for sure. Thank you. Um, thank you everybody for watching now um, by TV and thank you everybody who come to the beach to support me as well, my family as well. Thank you so much. Thank you. All my friends from Newport, Eddie, Goro, and all those other boys, David, they're going to surf again. And he's going to surf today and they had less hit. So yeah, stoke, you know, like another beautiful day here in Huntington Beach. So yeah, just going to enjoy 
and take the pressure out a little bit, <laughs> and that's it. There you go. Decompress. Enjoy the lay right deluxe bucks, and uh, enjoy your friends and family on this beautiful sunny day at the Jacks Pro. We'll see you. We'll see you in the next round. Appreciate it. Too. Thank you. See you. Good job. Thanks. So that was Davi Del Carmo, round of 64, Heat Eight winner. He will be advancing on to the round of 32. So we got a second score in here. Crosby Colapinto, 6.83. So commanding lead. He's got a 15.33 total. And he is flocking through like the seagulls right there. Oh, no, that was a pelican. <laughs> the pelicans. But, I mean, the wingspan, the size of his maneuvers, it's, it's showing right here. He's picking good waves. That's an important part. I think he's won three heats or two. Two or three heats. Oh, so Davido? Far. Yeah. Yeah. Two. Two. Two so heats. So he's, yeah. he's making the bucks from uh, the Lay Right right Deluxe. Yeah, exactly. The Lay Right Deluxe bucks. We love that. And it looks like you'd have to say right here, Scotty, that, I mean, Crosby Colapinto has the highest heat total of the event so far Whoa. and the highest wave. I had to take a quick break, but an 8-5. You can't afford to take a quick break. You miss the action. Hey, I'm Mauricio, since I'm the boss, I'm going to throw it over to Mauricio and go, hey, I need to see Red's last wave or, or his first Or wave. his first. It, it, it's like a lower trestles, right? Wow. The 8-5, if we could get a replay. If, you know, Best wave of the contest so far. Yep, highest score of I the gotta event. i got to see that, right? Yeah, it's a beautiful wave. Here we go. Okay. It's a chest high, perfect it. wedge. It. it draws it off the bottom. Nice snap up. It clicks the lip. This is his actually, this is his 6-8-3. And then this turn, boom. So nice combination of three maneuvers. And if we can get Mauricio to pop up the 8.5, his first ride, as we got a little lull right here, and here it is, Scotty. So no, draws it off the bottom. Yep, similar wave, snaps oh, okay, it in the okay. pocket. Okay. And again, a little tighter, a little more extension. And another one, crumble lip, kicks the fins, oh, and then yeah. watch this. Opens up the shoulders and twists it back into the whitewash. And another one. And another one. And another little click no, right no, here for no. good measure. Keeps on going. For good measure. Wow. So. Okay. Hand down, Thanks, man Mauricio. down. Let me see that. That was a darn good wave by Jack's team rider, Crosby, Crosby Colapinto. We got some speed right here. Oh, Pereira. Oh, oh. He was going so fast, he slid out at the he end of the wave. He was dancing on the disco floor right there. Right Had a lot of speed, so. Yes, it's uh you know it's a beautiful day down here. Um, we've we've got a, a action packed heat right here. So exactly. thank you, Jacks Pro. Hydro pre Flask presented by Hydro Flask. We are staying hydrated. Come down. They're doing a little mix and match. You can find yourself a new tumbler, canteen, whatever you call these things. But they are so good. Plastic I they, free. I think they're doing like custom lids. Yeah, like they're, you, bring you, can, down. you can mix match them, yeah, I think, yeah. How which cool is cool. Is that? Yeah, it's super cool. You can yeah, have the only stuck. one of those colors. Yeah. People like to be different, right? Yeah, awesome, man. Yeah, so thank you guys for uh, supporting this up. event. Yeah, this is a 3,000 qualifier event. It's very important points for all these athletes that are trying to get to the Challenger Series and just compete in general. So uh, thanks to Jax and Hydro Flask and the so, women. Yeah. So. Yeah. Big event here. We got your current ratings leader way out in the lead. It's a battle for second. Rafael Pereira is in second. Let me let me yabber about uh, uh, Crosby for a second. So he he was like in he was down low. He went to go Barbados the last event of the season yep. to qualify for the challenger. He went from I think fifth to first, picks up a bunch of cash, probably like 12 grand. No, he was actually outside of the cut. Yeah, I want to say maybe ninth okay. or something like that. So yeah. he moves way up, yep. got a big mm -hmm. paycheck, comes yep. back, hangs out at home for a little bit, drives up from San Clemente, no pressure. They actually just got back maybe yesterday or the, oh, okay. the day before. So no pressure. No pressure. He shows up, first event of Eight, the next year's Challenger Eight qualification, five. throws down a hammer. So that's setting the bar. Yeah. I mean – yeah, he's been. Com they've been competing a lot lately, and they got I mean, most of these kids seem like they got really good rhythm. That San Clemente Cruz won, I think, five or six out of the last six or seven events. So they're on fire. 
So Jack Surfboards, it's been around since 1957, a year young, uh, younger than me. So <laughs> they've been around quite a while. <laughs> That's a and uh, yeah, Jack Surfboards, beautiful stores throughout the Orange County, uh, San Clemente, Up and South down the Bay. Coast, yeah, yeah they, amazing what they do over there. Bobby and Ronnie Jamal throwing it down, and. Uh, Yeah, there we are. There's a great drone view of the Vendor Village. Jack's Pro 3000 Qualifier Series presented by Hydro Flask. You come down here, and if you look, you know, from the left to right, you got all kinds of Quicksilver, Rip Curl. I know Sunbum, FCS, Future Fin, Salty Crew, Hurley. You got O'Neill, uh, Billabong, Billabong, Super 73, Nixon, GoPro, Ava Brands, Vans. Costa, Monero wetsuits, Excel wetsuits, Pizel surfboards, <laughs> FCS, did we say, Rivia, Salty Crew, and obviously Hydro Flask. Layright, Jackery, Layright Deluxe. Auto Excellence. We you got know, everybody you in You know who's even down there right on this little walkway in? Java Jaws. Java Jaws get with yourself Gilbert. The, get yourself some Java. Hey, we love Gilbert and Java Jaws. They've been been here supporting the event since the beginning. Some of that Maui wowie. Sambazon. Yes, HB, you Amazon. Know, turret City. Oh yeah, thank thank Look you at the to visit HB. Look of that water. It's beautiful. This is what we, this is spring. We got a nice little south swell. We haven't had rain in over a week, which is great. It's got fantastic. Right? Yes, <laughs> it's been a winter of rain. Oh my goodness! How beautiful were the mountains, though. There was one day I was driving and I almost crashed. I was on Bolsa Chica and I looked over and the foothills were just. Filled. I'd never seen it that. Here we much. go. Rafael but Pereira, speed line. This guy does not lack speed. Oh, and he kind of comes unglued. Would so you call that make or not make? No, I, I think they're going to say no. No, yeah. Yeah. He did. Yeah, yeah, that's a tricky one, but he did the work, but he didn't really ride out in front yeah, he, of it. Foot slipped off. Yeah. Be careful of the stingrays, Rafa. Sometimes they're right wow. around there. and it, Have you been stung? I asked yeah, Chad the same thing. Yeah, it Boy, sucks. do they hurt. It's, I've been nicked, too. Like, I hear these, you know, horror stories that the stinger or the barb was sticking out or it went through my foot, and I'm just like, I got nicked. It felt like a seashell. And it burns. It just goes so all the way up, your glands, your legs. It's throbbing. Quick yeah. one, quick one, Seal Beach, Ooh. where there are a ton of them. Yeah. One hit a guy between his legs. And it wouldn't get out, so it was smashing both Back legs. Back and forth. Yeah, oh, and my gosh. That sounds was, like oh, you that's a bad seen dream. It. Yeah. <laughs> that's a nightmare. Look at this. Well, Looks four like minutes. Nice this thing's gone by pretty fast. Blue needs a 5-0. White needs a 5-6-3. So, Blue, this is an important wave. Goes for the layback Ooh. slide. It's... He, it, you know, very forced. It's a bummer because he had to. The yeah. wave was just going to close out, but... Little bit of a bummer that that you know didn't open up for him as well as he would have liked. Hey, you're you you surf out here every day. I mean, you know, some waves you look at him and it doesn't look like much, and it you know it kind of moves into like a really good wave. Yeah, waves like today. Are you seeing what it develops to be? You know, like he looked at that wave when it's going to be a closeout, so I'll just do that. Yeah. Like, or is he looking at it and going, "Oh, that's going to be pretty good." The and better way turns into a the, closeout. The better waves today definitely have a good look to them. Okay. Yeah. So it's easy. It's easier. There is some like four or five point rides that guys have created just yeah. underneath. Yeah. You don't really know what they're going to do right. if they're going to peel off with good pace or they're going to close out. But the better waves have been like, "Oh, that's a that's a you know high scoring good wave." Right. Because some places, you know. The yeah, waves, I agree. Yeah. You're like, is this going to hit the bank, or is it going to die out, yeah. or is it going to close yeah. out? But the, but it seems like these are such long, lo like a long look at it, yeah. right? You They're can, the, the, you it's can move good. It's position. south swell. We got a small south that's drawing, you know, higher interval, which is it's you know drawing off the bank better. So when those waves do come, like when I was just watching it a little bit ago, you can see like, hey. You can, you know, you, everyone's whistling because you can see the waves coming. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's, it's popping up out there. Has it brought a little warmer water or is it still I, chilly? I didn't actually surf this morning, but I think it's probably still in the same range. We had wind last right. night, you know, right. and that usually keeps it chilly. Spring's a tricky, spring's a fake warm because the weather gets warm uh -huh. and you're like, I'm going to put my 3-2 on, jump out, and you're like, oh. <laughs> I know, 50. you know, like, like. 
because before surf line and all that, you know, you'd be like, oh, you know, it's beautiful. And so you go down with your spring suit and it's like freezing. Yeah. Or the opposite. You go down in summer and it's, it's like you're wearing your three, two, and it's, and it's like 80. It's warm. No, not 80. But yeah, you know no, I mean? uh, for sure. And, <laughs> and last, like people always ask me, like, what should I bring for the open? I'm like, look, it, it can be it can be in the random 70s yeah yeah like last year we had a couple weeks of 70 yeah. and then you get uh, you can get a howling two days northwest winds and it's back to like 60 you know and you're like such well, a difference with that what is it uh just upwelling, upwelling or the yeah right, yeah yeah it just it sits out there and you have you know <laughs> up north like santa cruz never really gets warmer than right. what 57 60 right. maybe right so it the cold water's there it's just if that wind blows for two days next thing you know it's an ice bath. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, the surfers are spread out pretty, you know. Yeah. I mean, look, JoJo's fourth priority, he's like, I got to get away from these guys. Okay. And I'm surprised that um, Rafa's, you know, letting him have that distance, but maybe he feels comfortable that he won't find the 5.0 over there. We got 50 seconds remaining. Typically, that third priority would be, especially in an advancing spot, you'd want to be right on him. Yeah, you'd want to be right? like, hey, I'm taking the next best wave. I'm going to sit there. I got 40 seconds to manage, which isn't a lot of time. Yeah. But now, you know, they're 20, 20 yards apart. And I he, would be going this. I'd be going. There isn't a lot of waves over there, but hey, you can get lucky. To get a five. To You're get in four priority, right? but we're counting this down. We got yeah. 20 seconds on the clock. There's, There's a little, a little lump. Yeah, yeah. Look at this right here. Yeah. So I he's don't know kind of in the Machado peak, so to speak, it, right? Yeah. I think the. This left buoy is kind of pushing the, the envelope on, like, how far you can go. But we're counting this one down. We only got five seconds, so. Okay, yeah. It sick. looks like this one is going to be Crosby, Colapinto, and the Venezuelan Rafael Pereira advancing into the round of 32. Thanks, so Crosby. we'll take a short break. We'll be back with the Jax Pro presented by Hydro Flask after the break. And, uh, oh. back the jacks pro qs 3000 presented by hydro flask i'm brett simpson joined here with scott waring we're in the round of 64 heat 10 in this heat we got in red sam coffee in blue taro watanabe in white jordy collins and in green sam reedy and we looks like we got a couple little scores on the board already in the in the little break we had jordy collins drop a 5.5 and then a you know a throwaway for Sam looks like a 1.0. So, what a beautiful day! It's getting standing room only down there. There's a lot of people turning up. Yeah, here's uh, here's his first wave. So he got a nice smash in there. Another one. So decent way to open up within. Oh yeah. You know, a couple minutes of the heat of the. Oh yeah, you know, fives are heat. keepers. Yeah. Fives are keepers today. 
Unless you're Crosby. I think hey. he rode two waves, eight, five, and a six, eight. Hey, I was just thinking before the heat even started, I'm like, where's Taro at, right? Yep. And then there he is. Boom. But I was watching that thing, like that super expression contest you had going. Yes, yes. And How I was that turn? That, no, I, I rode in. I don't think that was. What was that, a anything, nine? Because I think you were being interviewed yeah. on the thing. Yeah. I was like, that was like one of the best minutes. I'm like, that's Ever. a nine. I like actually wrote I, in. I thought so too, and I was surprised they like some of the the boys only they gave no them like way. a seven five or yeah, an eight, no. and I was like, I don't know. I that's no. an opinionated one. Yeah, it was yeah. one big maneuver, but gosh, no. that turn. It wasn't like he just threw it out and disconnected and went all crazy. It was like he pulled. He was on his board the whole time and popped up quick, and it was like, oh my gosh! That was if it won an eight plus. Yeah, it was guaranteed. Range, yeah, I agree. Excellent surfing starts at eight, yeah. eight to ten. Yeah. And if it went even there, that's uh, as good as like a turn. I in would that like r- slap a couple people. <laughs> <laughs> like, were you watching what I was watching? You know what I will say though is the guys, everyone that was judging, didn't have replay, and yeah. we were on the couch to yes, a couch exactly. surfing show and. We had replay, so it was like we watched it a couple of times. You're like, that yeah. was crazy. That was that excellent. That was upside down yeah. crazy. It's anyway. Yeah. Well, he's out this there. This guy rips. Taro's out there. Yeah. You know, I think he's a little – he's probably a little frustrated at his last season. He wants to get on this Challenger yeah. series. His surfing would fit. He had a rough what's, little what's go. What's the deal? Like, what, what, you I, work with hey, him a lot, Hey, it's very – we were talking about this early with Pete Mel and, and Wellesie that – this I love the format of the tour of how you you compete regionally you qualify but it's really hard. Mm-hmm. You have hungry. We have twenty plus guys that are, and it, you know, in the women's as well, but that are so competitive, and you only get seven spots. Yeah, there's only seven spots, yeah. and you have a couple bad shockers. You go on a you know bad little run. Mm-hmm. You're swimming upstream. Yeah, you know, and and. I'm sure he's, you know, that Barbados wave suits him really well. He didn't have the result he would have liked. He could have made the jump kind of like a Crosby or something like that right. with a big result. He'll get, he'll yeah, get no, I, time, right? Maybe exactly. This is it. Maybe this is the one. And right? I think his, you know, the cool part about Taro is like he's dedicated. His surfing is there. He's dedicated. His I, surfing's gotten so much better, leaps and bounds better, and, you know, quality waves. Spends a lot of time in Hawaii. He chases, you know, chases swells. So. I like his style. Style yeah. suits suits the tour. He's like one of the, the most tour. style masters. Yeah. Of- well, he works with Gerlach, Wave yeah. Key. Well, speaking of that, style, we're going to send it down to the glass. We got Crosby Colapinto. Just went wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. 85683. What up, Cross? Welcome back. Congratulations on, you know, cracking the code for the winning the uh, qualifying series for North America and the big win in Barbados. Give us a little rundown on your last couple weeks. Yeah, boys. Good to hear you guys talking up there. Love it. Um, but, yeah, we're stoked to be doing comps again, and I'm uh, I'm enjoying being in the jersey, so that's what it's all about right now. Yeah, it's looking like it. I, I've been saying, like, your last couple months have been pretty locked in, and uh, it's good to see. I know, you know, a lot of you guys are traveling together, and there could be times where, you know, results waver. But, uh, you know, if your level and ability, you know, stays the course, good things going to happen. You know, oh. and I think that's what you guys have done. Oh, for sure. We got a nice crew right now. That's all. We're all pushing each other. And we, we're doing running heats a lot when we're home. And um, I think all the boys are kind of starting to figure it out a little bit more than last year. So it's, uh, it's fun because everyone's kind of like almost seems like they're kind of hitting their groove. and, and Yeah, well, the 2% yeah. crew, what, you guys have won five out of the last six events? Yeah, I think we won like yeah maybe five maybe of the seven yeah. QSs this this yeah. last year. So yeah, pretty well, solid two percent. <laughs> well, congrats. I mean, uh, we want to get you in the booth. So what we're thinking is maybe go get changed. We want to pick your brain a little bit more. Anyone you want to give a shout out to? Uh, just shout out to Jax for getting this comp going. They got a pretty epic setup going and. Um, Yep, family, friends, <laughs> you know the rules. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good job, bud. Yeah. Well, hey, enjoy the Layrite Deluxe Bucks after heat cash. And go get changed, and please. I'll cruise up. Cruise in. Okay. Okay. All right, yeah, good boy. job. See you soon. Shoot. So Crosby Colapinto there, he's on a roll. 
on he's a roll. on a roll, and it's got to it, feel nice. His brother's, you know, sitting in the top five, battling, you know, this season. Last season, he was right there, too. Just missed out on, you know, surfing into the final five. He's hungry, and you can only imagine that that just breathes confidence for Cross for sure. So that was Sam Reedy right there getting on the board. This one's been a little bit slower. Taro's still looking for a wave. Jordy has a small up and down, looks like, on his second ride. And I think we had White go left, but we yeah, followed Yeah, we might green. have had White go left. I think it was a, it's coming in looking like an up and down maybe. Okay. And then this score right here, which is probably going to be the second best ride of the heat so Saw far. Saw some fins. Yeah. Yeah. Saw some fins out the back, so they're throwing as high as they can. And here's White's wave. Flies down the line. He's an aerialist, so he's probably going to punt. Goes for the pot. Whoa. The, little uh, chicksy. What it was that? like a sh shove Do they it? call that a shove it, though? I don't know if that, that's like a – there's a different name for it, and I always butcher Pop them. shove it. No, but he, he <laughs> went the other way. Okay. Maybe, yeah, maybe it was a reverse a shove it, pop shove. I, I'm confused. It's like <laughs> a heel, almost like a heel flip or something. Technical. Oh, super tech. So Taro with priority, blue. Second priority is red. Sam Coffey hailing out of Santa Cruz, California. His brother Ben and his father, iconic shaper up there. So, yeah, it's, it, that's a, depth family if you ever are surfing at the lane the boys are there owning the peak <laughs> if you want to wave you got to go talk to them look at this nice little lines coming in here let's see if uh comes together for one of these guys jack surfboards pro presented by hydro flask stoked to have Hydro Flask involved this year. Come on down. Yeah, they do. Uh, yeah, thank you to them. They do a ton of, of these events and, you know, on the world tour. And these events, especially for our regionals. Here we go. Sam Coffey snaps it right there. Flying down the line. Found a double up and hits it again. So nice combination there for Sam. That'll do the trick. Get him on the board. I'm going to say... You know, it's going to rival probably Jordy's wave. There you, you know, go. His 5.5. Here it there is. It is. Nice little snap in the pocket. Goes up, up and over the woods. Hits it right there. So two quality maneuvers. Yeah, that was nice. There it is. 5.33. I was going to say it's going to be in the fives. So boom. And there's Wesley Santos down there with the big fro with his daughter. That was a preheat warm up. <laughs> I think her name's Mahina. So I hey, when wrong. you have your heat coming up and you look at who's in your in your heat, yeah. what do you think? Do you go, okay, well he's a he's a good airless, he's a good I got all goofy footers. Goofy. I know so, that. Okay, so so what do you think of that? Do you go, okay, well Well I gotta do this to kind of make I guess it look it's, different? Yeah, it's point of difference. Yeah. I mean, you know, front side is they're going to, you know, if they're going right, they're going to have that maybe a little more verticality. Right. Maybe I have to do a little more, like, rail work, turn, like, like wrapping the Like that front the board side back. snap cut back. Yeah. Because that, that you can't really do you on a back, backside. Backside, you can't. It looks flatter. Yeah. That's sure. the separation right there. Yeah. I think and then maybe the draw off the bottom into the pocket slash, exactly. right? Exactly. Because they're going to go more vert. Vertical. Maybe release the fins. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you, you definitely... I think we all go through that. Like you look at kind of who's in your heat. Right. Cole's a big, big guy, big surfer. Like big if turns. they're maybe they're aggressive. If they're bigger you know? or smaller, or what's their strengths, weaknesses? Like are they paddle battlers? Exactly. You know? Yeah. So I mean, all that stuff plays in the cards. I'm not as super technical as I once was, where like it matters as much. But right. I think just making sure I pick you just pick the right waves that can allow you to perform. You can't really, you can grovel these ones. Like that was really well surfed. Right. Like Sam ripped the heck out of that. And he had fourth priority. Right. So he's just trying to better a one and he's going to do that, Except you know, by a couple points probably. So smart maneuver there for Sam. Because he's under priority, right? Yeah. Like there's said. no, no, nothing venture, nothing gain. He hey, kind of had to go. what's up with Taro? Taro is. 13 minutes, he's no waiting, waves. He's waiting it out. Yeah, he's waiting it out. 
I almost did that yesterday where I'm like, I'm just going to wait. And then I'm like, you know what? <laughs> yeah. The last heat was threes and fours. Why not just go battle it out? And I want to be in the heat. I don't want to take myself out of the heat. You don't heat. want pressure at the end. Yeah. Right? So it's it's interesting. He, he's going to need a score within the next couple minutes. But then what happens is you're in the back of the line. Right. And then those second and first are kind of on you. Mm-hmm. Like flies on you know what. Yeah. And you're kind of like, dude, I need a Maybe you might need a small score, but you just can't get it. You yeah, know? So. you got to start off riding anything that comes your way, I think, just to get the ball rolling, right? Yeah. I mean, within reason, of course, yeah. you know. Well, there's a little bump coming, maybe. Yeah, it's time to catch something. Well, he got another 5-3-3 three, three on that wave. So, takes the lead. And that was a very small was wave a small compared insider. to the, you know. He maybe surfed it better. He surfed that wave up mm -hmm. by far. Dropping in, it was like, oh, yeah, take a risk. You don't have priority or yep. you're in fourth priority. But then he surfed it to that. And now he's got pocket five three threes. So that means in in green, Sam has a 4.0, only needs a 2.58. And Taro actually he's doesn't even have game, a wave, needs really. a 6.57. Yeah, I mean. And there is... Look at down, uh, what, Machado. I well, think that's, like, if you look, around. Scotty, see Mirage. How that, you see how that thing's going from yeah. right to left? Yeah. That's wind swell. Right. Those things just disappear. Yeah. You want the swell kind of looking at you coming from left to right on the screen. Hey, how, a you, know, you know when you paddle out sometimes and it's real peaky, you go, yeah. I'm going to go over there, and then the way's over peaky's there. Peaky's frustrating. Then, yeah. Peaky's hard. Like, you're I either in prefer, rhythm or no rhythm. Yeah. No, 100%. Because <laughs> it's like, it seems fair for everyone, but it can be really lopsided. Yeah. Where typically, like, U.S. Open, I almost like it because it's, like, it's a straight hander. It's pretty much a closeout. But you're like, hey, I'm sitting off Tower 1. I'm going to go left. If the odd pier bowl right comes, I'll go right. But it simplifies the game. Where here you can be bobbing around. You're going from buoy to buoy, like, where should I be? And yeah, especially me, with priority, yeah, you're like, hey, you do your homework before and say, this one might have some legs on it right here. I don't know, but it seems like it has a decent angle. I think we're going to get a ride here. Yeah. He's going to have to find a little cup. Boy, the he's water's clear. I can't get over that. That is amazing. So we got. Definitely got to go. He waited a very long time for this wave. Five minutes on the clock. So Smashes nice first it. turn. Yep. Solid wrap. So he's going to stay with it. Jams it in the pocket. Board looks good. Looks spicy. Good flow and transition. So he's definitely back in the heat. He's going to have to just kind of work his way out of it not going to need much you know it's interesting he caught that so look at where he is yep he needs to stay away because there's four minutes to try to have something else come in over here yeah it's a funny one because jordy has priority and he's thinking i got a 1.0 on my backup i'm going to sit where i think the next best ride's going to come maybe not come and sit on him just yet he might be in a decent situation so he gets a it's come you know first score is looking like a five two so he's really helping his cause. There it is, 5-1. So now only needs a 1.48. They're pretty much mirrored each other. Jordy's thinking, I got priority. There's less good waves maybe where Taro is. This is interesting. This is, yeah, I this like is it. a challenge. This is what makes it fun map. when it's you know smaller it's a, conditions. It's a, but chess, it's a chess match. Decent conditions, you know? It's a chess match. Yeah. I think... I think you know, Jordy's resided to like, hey, I'm just going to wait here. I know the best waves have been coming here. And look at everyone's I'm trying, heading to I'm trying to Taro. better a one. Yep. You know what I mean? Where's yeah. Taro? He's, Taro's going to keep Taro to south the south or what? Board, but maybe Jordy's made a different decision. He's a little far out, Taro, maybe. Taro I don't looks know. like he's See going something? for a wave. Look. No. Okay. He's got to keep going almost to where that the pack is. Those there's little right Yeah, because there's through. a deep spot and then a little shallow zone. Yeah. So three minutes. I mean, it's not too much panic. He at just the has disco to stay yet. away from everybody, right? It looks I mean, like they were coming his way. Maybe not. I'll never forget. You know Seaside Reef, San Diego? Yep. You know how it breaks way, way out, out there? Way on the shelf, yeah. Dean Randazzo needed like a, a one during a pro event I was doing. Yeah. And he was he needed a one. Here goes Taro. So up and riding. He needs a one four eight. Yeah, he's he's on his way. He's got it. I don't know. 
I could think. be a two. Maybe. I don't know, right? Well, did that anyway, one die out, or do you stay with it? And I don't know what happened. It's yeah. hard to tell. But Randazzo needed a one, and he paddled from – the uh, off the reef in? Onto the rocks, onto the beach. There was absolutely no, no wave. wave to stand up on. Heartbreaking. And it was being called down. You know. He got it, 187. And he got another wave right here. So better. that looked like a better turn to me, th a little bit more through the lip. Dean, if you're watching, I don't know if you rem he pr you probably remember that. But Those that heartbreakers, unreal. the heartbreakers actually stay with you more than like yeah. the victories and the, the good ones. Yeah. You can't remember anything. Yeah. It's the, almost like a blur. I, I just couldn't believe it. It was just, it was like, um, kind of like the board riders when it's down to like 30 seconds and, it, and the guy's sitting like on the want, outside. Yeah, you're like. And he's got to run and all <laughs> yeah, that. It was like, you're just you were like, cheering it for a wave just to like. Just make it in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those events are fun. Well, it's still wide open. Blue needs a 3-5 or a 3-6-1. One. one minute, 30 seconds. And Jordy only needs a 2.1. Yeah, that's... Uh, he's in He's in the driver's seat. Priority. So he's sticking way... Uh, I feel like that is where the best waves have been right. coming. And so he needs a 2.10. He's Ooh. having a look right here. So up and riding on Very the backhand. Hits it. Slashes it again. So staying with it. So a little two maneuvers. How Deeds crazy a two point that? one. That's crazy. Uh oh. There's some screaming going on. Oh, nice little right. Looks like Taro Smash. hits it right there. Slashes it again and again. So nice, nice exchange. This is tight. This is six. I like this. This is this is such a good little heat. Forty-five seconds. It's the battle of those three. And now here scores. goes Green. In and out. So we're going to wait for, well, for White. Well, White's going to get, it definitely get a score, but Taro's going to better a score. So most likely going to need more with 30 seconds to go. So he gets the 227. Taro needed a 268, which he's. Did he's that score come in? Not yet. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there it is. It's going to be upper threes, it looks like. He's going to get it. 403. So White needs a 3 Here goes uh, 5. Your heat leader with 5 seconds to go. So it looks sounds like White got a wave 2 on the buzzer. Coffee gets a score. White gets a wave needing a 363. Three. We don't technically we know really what happened just yet. That was pretty darn exciting. Oh, uh, here we go. Oh, this nice is it. looking wave. In search of a 363. Three. Oops, snap. I don't know. Is he saying yeah. uh, it's tough? Well, we are going to head to commercial break. We'll come back with results of this one in a minute.
do your thing. We are back coming to you live from Surf City, the golden sands of Huntington Beach. Out in the water currently, as you can see on your screen, this is the round of 64. Heat 11, Josh Burke in red, Johnny Corzo in blue, Cannon Carr in white, Isaro Elizondo in green. And it is Good Friday today. Look at the pod. That is some serious action right there. They're on the hunt. That's way out the back past the pier. And drawing first blood, Burke up and out. He did open up um, with a 4.83, which we didn't see that happened at the break. Now Cannon, the grommet, nothing to lose here. Drives down the line, bangs it off the top, and climbs over that white water, and he's out. So that's Cannon's opener. Johnny Corzo, best way of the heat so far, 5.67. And Isaro Elizondo, the Panamanian, opened up with a 4.5 and a throwaway of a point two. Look at that for full bird pile. Where's the salty crew, guys? They just get the poles out. Um, all right, quick paddle. Coming up next, Michael Dunphy, Wesley Santos, Dylan Horde, Remy Jabori. So here we go. Burke, quick jam off the top, late foam climb, and uh, stuck at that. May have been the 4.83. And then this is Corzo's 5.67. Little projection snap, loads up and uh, bangs the finish. And the replay of a Sorrows wave. And ooh, nice little blowtail reverse. Crafty maneuvers there. Cannon Cars, this was his opener. Judges awarded this a 3.17. Conditions st still very clean. Um, light texture. This is live action right here. Isaro. So Scott Waring, our contest director, joining me in the booth. Scott, the Jax Pro, presented by Hydro Flask. I mean... We have upped the ante from last year's 1,000 to a 3,000. Uh, what was the thought process going in that? Were you part of the conversations with Jax? I was, but I, I, it's been a fi uh, for five years. It's been a QS 1,000 for the men and the women, and I kind of like that a lot. Um, they wanted to upgrade it, and so. You know, it adds, you know, 2,000 more. It hel actually helps the surfers a lot more um, to having it be a 3,000. Went from a $2,500 prize purse to an $8,000 prize purse. So we're uh, we're happy to upgrade it, and we do it with equal prize money for the women. So they get, they're they getting the 3,000 as well. And uh, I it, it's awesome. I, I think my, my whole thing's been about, you know, the future of the sport. So to have arenas like this to help our North American surfers get to that next level, that's what I'm all about. And right, so right. Uh, just the platform. Yeah, yeah, the platform. So the launch anyway. pad. Let's kick it down to Sam Coffey, the winner of heat number 10. Sam, nice work out there. Feels just like home, cold. <laughs> right? Come on, it's not that cold. Oh, it's pretty cold. I, I didn't even get a surf at home after being in Barbados, so... It's pretty cold after uh, board shorts. Okay, gotcha. 10.66 total. Talk to me. How was it out there? How'd you go? I did, actually didn't watch your heat. I just jumped in the box. Yeah, it was it was hard. I mean, the heat before, Crosby is getting eights and sixes, and I was thinking, oh, no worries, go out there and get a set, and it went kind of flat, and I guess two fives got the job done. Right on. Well, nice work. I see you have some new sponsorship support in IPD. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, I'm super stoked to join my brother on the IPD team and uh, work with them this year and hopefully make some cool stuff and uh, rep them, which is awesome. Okay, let's get down to the, the business. What has your dad made you for this event? What are you riding? Are, um, you, on got, a, are you on a ward shape? Yeah, I'm on my dad's. Um, it's a little five, nine and a half epoxy. Um, pretty pulled in tail, a little pintail. And yeah, just like two and two and 2.3, 18 three quarters, feeling good. Nice and light. Unreal, congratulations. 
Thank you. Um, anything you'd like to say? Well, first, lay right bucks in the pocket. Lay, lay right deluxe. Never hurt, right? Yeah, a little lunch money for the way back. Unreal. Anything you'd like to say to uh, your uh, family, friends, supporters out there on the Internet? Yeah, just hi to everyone back home. Uh, my brother, my mom, my dad, my girlfriend, uh, whoever's watching. Thanks for the support. And, yeah, go All Westside. Right. Hey, you've got the day off. Congratulations. Sam Coffey moving on into the round of 32 with Thank a heat you. win there at heat number 10. Currently doing the number is Sara Elizondo out in front uh, with a 4.5 and a 3.5, Scott. So not like massive scores like the heat before, you know? Not yet, but look at this. Or, or Crosby like Heat, a nice sorry, bump. but look at, look at the sets. Yes, sir. We got waves. We've got a surfer looking blue. Blew up. Nice little snap there. Oh, oh my goodness. Looks like he landed right on the fence. Hopefully. Oh, hopefully a Johnny Corzo out. Took a little rail to the rib. Cannon car up and riding. Nice little head of steam. Bang. Wow. Oh, little air. The, Spinner. That was like fins to the beach. Just showed the judges his the entire bottom of his board. So, okay, here we go. And now Burke. Last year's air show winner knows how to do the airs, knows how to surf. I think he did really well in Barbados. Not sure. Yeah, what. no, he finaled. He got second. Yeah, he got second. Qualified. Qualified. Nice. So he qualified, got second. He's here. Air, uh, air finalist last year taking the win. So he, I think he's been coming to all the Jacks events for all the years. So good to have Josh here. Stoked. Hey, when I was out there, there's a ton of dolphins out here. How got, was that? Yeah, and I was trying to get our drone guy to get out there and see it. They were going crazy. You can see them all out there. So hopefully we get them out there, and I love stuff like that. I mean, yeah. hundreds. Look like hundreds. Yeah, of no, them. that was a massive pod. They were, they were on the hunt. Yeah. So how are the scores, Chad? All right, as it stands, Priority Surfer in the lead, 4.5 and a 3.5. Sorrow just looking to replace that. 3-5, Johnny Corzo, surfer in blue, has third priority. Hold on. Hold the phone. Burke's last. He nailed that wave. 7-6-7. Seven, seven. Whoa. Has your Bayesian surfer up into the lead. She's on bread, as they say. It's probably an old statement, <laughs> but uh, it just means stick it, which he did. Cannon Carr, that air earned him a 6-2-3. Cannon Carr is now in second. So the heat leader highest single score of the heat seven six seven with a four eight three, Cannon Car six two three. He's trying to replace a three one seven. Priority Surfer in third now in green. Asaro chasing a four point nine one, and Surfer in blue from Mexico five six seven and a two point two. Johnny Corzo only requires a three seven four to jump up into second. We are just uh, ten and a half minutes remaining. And you know what? It is not disappointed today. Conditions, we, we kind of got rid of the wind swell. It's kind of, I mean, there's remnants. You can kind of see it sliding across your screen, but it's gone to this little south swell, which has done the banks uh, a lot better. Nice. I'm barking at the, uh, at the uh, crew here. I'm like, get it out to see the dolphins, man. Well, they showed it. <laughs> Oh, they, they showed it on your break. Yeah, it was nuts. Oh, well, I didn't get to see it, oh, so I'm going to watch it again. All right. <laughs> okay, having a dig. Corzo. On his backside, gets a snap in. Wow, well, was one a quick turn. One. one turn. So, but uh, 2.2 is his low score. Yeah, if, uh, you know, if you're in striking distance or within, you know, a reasonable distance of huntington beach get your butt down here why wouldn't you man it is the beach is pumping i was out talking with casey curtis at the salty crew uh tent and i mean vendor village as we'll call it is cranking abs there it is there scott they, there hey thank you very much i really wanted to see this how's the, <laughs> the rogue seal just in the mix the birds feeding off whatever they're getting rid of i guess that's yeah, pretty no, cool. It's, it's, there's some, uh, it's nice to see, you know what I mean? That's some migration or uh, some hunting happening. I'm no marine biologist, but uh, I guarantee they're doing something. I just haven't. Oh, look, Seal Beach local. <laughs> Beat it. Go home. <laughs>
Come in south, see what's going on. 8.45 remaining. Wow, okay, look at this lump coming in off the buoy. Priority surfer is green. Currently in fourth, chasing a 4.91. See if the, these bumps can um, morph into something. Looks like over by wow. the south, blue having a look. All I'm saying is, wow, I can't believe we got some surf coming in. That's great. You know, the, the forecast bumped up. Oh, it did? Yeah, so, I mean, it didn't look great before the event started, didn't look great after day one, and then suddenly it's gone to this nice two to three, which is amazing. We'll take it. Hey, Ron, Bobby, and Jamal have good luck. This Boom. event is uh, always scores. Yeah, absolutely. You know, mad props. Woo, Burke slashing. Chucks the fins out. He's feeling it. And wraps it back. Yeah, he's firing on all cylinders. So we got the first and second place of the Barbados, recent Barbados event. They're here because you know what? If you have a bad Challenger series next year, they want to be in the running for the following season. So if they pick up 3,000 points on this year's start, hey, good place to be. No pressure. Yeah. I mean, Jacob, another second-generation surfer, Father Allen, former pro. You know, absolute hammer of a human and surfer. And brother Jacob also rips. He's been carving out surfboards. Like, the whole family is on it, living the life out in Barbados. What's the name of the new restaurant on the end of the pier? Whose pier? No this one knows. One? Yeah, it's not Ruby's anymore. Oh, I don't know. So don't know. I can't tell you the last time I walked out on the Huntington Pier, Scott. It's been <laughs> quite a while. I did just the other day for the first time in a long time. Every time I go out there, it doesn't seem very crowded. And I'm like, if I had my board, I'd love to be out there. And then every time I go to surf the pier, it's crowded. So it's like, it's weird. I must, I don't know what that is. But beautiful. Randy Gilkerson, heads up to him. Look at the beach. And his crew. We worked really, really hard to build that thing. And, and it really came together nicely. The vendor village. Uh, beautiful setup. Jack Surfboards Pro, presented by Hydro Flask, 3,000 QS men's and women's, Surf City, Huntington Beach, beautiful weather, great surfing, boom, nice maneuvers, we're scoring. Yeah, hey, Burks, that last, drops the seven and extends the lead. Cannon Carr needs an 844 for the lead, so. Ooh, blue. Spin to win. So Blue Pal for a wave didn't yeah. get it. So he's going to drop to – I would think he would drop back to fourth in the in the priority. But, uh, yeah, just happy with all the vendors, all the support, Jackery, Auto Excellence, Layright Deluxe. Well, Scott, you made mention of it earlier. Every single tent there's an activation happening Hurley's got a collab Jack's hat. Monera Wetsuits has a collab Jack's T-shirt. Um, Salty mean, Crew, you do a little fishing down there and win something. Yeah, they've got some koozies and some keychains going on. I mean, there's all kinds of rad stuff. Here's Car. Nice. Oh, I spoke too soon. That was a decent little wave. I don't know. Came unglued. We got Blue looking at this one. He's up. Gaining some speed off the bottom, a little speed float right there, looking for another hit. So, Blue, Corzo, he's going to drop his low score on that one from Mexico. Well, he's chasing a 374. I mean, I'm going to say he's probably done that. Yeah. Um, you know, I like, again, those good projection turns and getting speed out of it. So, judges. See where they're gonna throw this. See how got much red it looking. turns the tables. Red. He's looking to get back. He wants now. He's since he's in the lead. He's gonna probably want to get an air. He's trying to remember. Was did uh, Josh take the win over Cam Richards? Was it Cam in the air show final? I'm trying uh, to remember. I can't remember. Last year. No, they had a fantastic heat. I think it was in 2019. Mm. It was like this, the the best, actually like one of the best heats of the event. That's what what you're thinking. Okay, maybe that's yeah. what it was. I, yeah, they were like it was going tit bonkers, for Bonkers, yeah. Just hammer and, and tongs. And I think Josh got it, but it was like the best heat of the of the event, you know. 
Yeah, no, that was, uh, they were just volleying punts back and forth. Yeah. 350 remaining. Johnny Corzo, the last 5 1 3. So now up into second. Pressure on Cannon Carr. He is the priority surfer, chasing a 4.57. And Asaro down in fourth, looking for a 5.9. Uh, Corey, they are coming up in th just under three and a half minutes. That is heat number 12. Um, Scott, we're going to round out the day. We're going to finish at 240. We have the ladies coming up. Um, 120 to 240. We have four heats in the round of uh, 32 for the Does women. Does this say that for real? We finished at 240 today? That's what it says. Holy moly. Well, I think you guys cut down the 25-minute heats. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, because this round traditionally yeah, has 25-minute yeah. heats. I'll take it. Yeah, why not? <laughs> And apparently it's National Beer Day. Who knew? Hey, wow, that sounds pretty good. Yeah, it's Friday. It's good Friday. So Blue up and riding. Gets a nice smash there. Quick one, and now Burke. So he's got two really good scores. He's just looking for a, I think he's looking for a ramp now. Yeah, I'm curious to see if they run bells. I mean, the forecast looked... I yeah, think. what is a forecast? Let's take a look if, and see if it's updated, but it looked like... Uh, this young lady trying to win a hydro flask. Kind of big and stormy the last time I looked. Or big and onshore, maybe not stormy. Let's see, bells, forecast. Today, okay, 5 to 7. Then it goes, oh, it's changed. It's gone wow. 8 to 12, 6 to 10. So, I mean, I, I think the likeliness, likelihood, <sighs> yeah. whichever one you pick of it running is uh it's pretty good it's gonna be a good friday night i remember one year bells was like 15 foot or i mean many years ago but uh it was gigantic bells like gi like 15 20 feet or something like that simon anderson won it oh uh, that was like the iconic uh event. bells ever right yeah yeah the three fin thrasta one and a half minutes burke out in front Pair of sevens, take that all day long. Corzo, looking pretty good. Pair of fives, car, priority surfer in white, the Grom from San Clemente, part of that 2% crew chasing a 4.57. I mean, this kid can uh, bark one of those out in his sleep. And then second priority, Saro Elizondo, um, down in fourth, chasing the 5.9. So, I mean, priority, if you're out there, you don't know, it is they have the uh, unimpeded right-of-way on any wave that comes. Yep, Hydro Flask right there. Get down, win yourself a bottle. Big fan of these guys. The the longevity of, of their drink wear, we'll call it. Um, I mean, I've had these bottles in my kitchen for years, you know. They're awesome. And it's just uh, better for, to refill than the landfill exactly and they're up they came on board as presenting sponsor of this year's event we're stoked to have them this is the sixth annual jack surfboards pro presented by hydro flask well jacks has been serving the surf surf community since 1957 they've got everything you need boards weddies all kinds of accessories so i mean they've Jax is like, uh, it's a Huntington Beach staple. All right. This heat unofficially with the wind. Josh Burke, Johnny Corzo moving on. Unfortunate circumstance for Cannon Carr and Asara Elizondo. Nice, nice. Don't go anywhere. Scott Waring and myself, we will be right back after this.
right. Look at this. Round of 64, Heat 12. Dunny, Michael Dumphy, Wesley Santos, Dylan Horde, Remy Jabori. These guys are going to do battle. See who can move into the round of 32 tomorrow. And, uh, man, that FUWAX commercial is kind of nuts. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's really good. The guys are going bananas. Yeah, this looks like a good heat right here. How's They're that throw on heat. Wesley? He's got a nice throw. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Well, we're going to have to get Dylan to bring our screen back. All right. Got green up first, and riding. Yep, drawn first blood. A little Jabori. bank. And, and then Dumpy. Dunny. All right, let's see. Horde, 0.53, Jabori, 0.37, joining me in the webcast box. Former event champion from 2019, uh, champion in Barbados, and also North American uh, ratings winner, Mr. Crosby Colapinto, yeah, well, and Jack's team rider. Well, Jack's team rider. How are you doing today? <laughs> um, I'm doing good. I just made my heat, so I'm... I'm fired up, and now I'm in the booth. Yeah. Getting the talk going. Calling it with me. Yeah, let's go. How's things? I mean, you've been on the road, right? did the DR, did Barbados. I mean, um, obviously going to be going to Australia. Yeah. Um, it's been fun um, just traveling with all the friends and having fun and just enjoying my time, like, on the road and checking out new places, meeting new people. 2% crew. 2% crew. 2% <laughs> is kind of gnarly right now. Oh, my gosh. It's uh, You guys are like the talent pool's deep. Yeah, it's cool because it's kind of brother who kind of started this 2% thing, and it feels like it almost got, like, every age group from, like, yeah, yeah. 14 to Chloe right. and Griffin. And it kind of brought us all together like a family. So it really feels like everyone's, like, really bonding. Here we go. We got Wesley Bang. He's got a nice little fro going. Yeah, it can, kept it dry, too. <laughs> I know. It's solid. Oh, I think this is a little interference right here. Is it? I think so. Yeah, I lost yeah. my screen. We're going to go try to get our tech up top to okay. come fire it back up. Yeah. So we're just running off of what you've got on your screen. Michael Dunny. Dunphy. This guy is gnarly in this stuff. Woof. <laughs> oh, nice wrap there. Board's looking magic. I don't know if it's maybe a black sheep or one of those carbon tech boards. but He's on Mayhems these days, yeah? Yeah, he's looking good on Mayhems. So what, uh, I, I missed your interview. What are you riding right now? Um, I have a 5.11 and a half light speed uh, sub driver 2.0 and um, – I don't know. It goes really good. I'm not huge on epoxies, but I wanted to get like a a light speed that's kind of like a sh well, short board type kind of, and uh, and this board feels really good. It's kind of exactly what I wanted to get, and it, it came out great. And Matt's shaping really good boards. Right yeah, now. unreal. Okay, so winner of the last heat, Mr. Josh Burke. Josh, talk to us. Where are you? What's up, Chad? How are you? Yeah, there you are. Hey, I got uh, Crosby in the booth with me. Yeah, Bert. Oh, Crosby. Hey, great surfing. You look like you're <laughs> <laughs> hey, get this guy some rum. Yeah, you, <laughs> you look like you're firing on all cylinders out there, uh, looking that, comfortable. That's it. Yeah, um, the waves are definitely pretty difficult. Uh, they're fun when they come through, but yeah, I was happy that those two waves came to me when I had priority. And um, yeah, sight. Yeah, I mean, a pair of sevens, those are great scores for a day like today. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll take it. For sure. So talk to me. What is the magic board underfoot um, for I'm, the event? I'm writing a, a Channel Islands Happy Everyday, Epoxy Blank. Uh, it feels amazing. And uh, then Futures, the new Futures Black Sticks, I think is the R8 Legacy one. And uh, yeah, it's feeling amazing. I mean, I've, that, that heat was the first time I served since the Barbados contest. So 
yeah, yeah. sight they made it. <laughs> yeah, right on. Well, you're looking good, looking solid. A few uh, Layright Deluxe Heat Pool winner bucks in the back pocket never hurts. Yeah, just right here. Nice. <laughs> and um, hey, just before we sign off, you're done for the day. Anything you want to uh, put into the world out there for your friends and supporters? Family? Uh, uh, yeah, I just came off a pretty surreal week um, in front of all my family and friends. And um, I honestly didn't really want to come here because uh, the end of the season was Super Bowl and four days after was the the start of the new year but it is what it is and I'm here now and thank you to all my sponsors and uh, thank you to all my family and friends and always keep your chin up I like it oh, yeah. cheese on bread yeah cheese on bread <laughs> you know right on thank you Josh Burke moving on into the round of 32 your heat winner thank you Josh and uh, well, I'll tell you what just like you, you got the day off so what's uh, what's on for the rest of the day um, <clears throat> just uh, cruising Probably go get some food with that $50 I made and um, <laughs> buy some lunch for my dad, too. So he nice. came down. Oh, sick. Or came up. So, yeah. Yeah. So, so you're going to link up with Griff when you go over? Or is he going to be somewhere else? Um, I'm not He's going to be at Margaret's, maybe, huh? Yeah. I think, well, Margaret's ends, like, right before Snapper. Okay. So maybe if he wants to come do Snapper and have fun with the 2% crew, then get the support going. Yeah. I don't know, but it's up to him. But maybe see him over there. Unreal. So aspirations competitively. I mean, the goal is to qualify. I imagine. Yeah. Join Big Bro on the on the big stage. Yeah, that's the goal. That's the goal. That's the plan. So um, yeah, I don't know. It feels like kind of starting to learn learn a lot more about heats, and you know, I've had <clears throat> a lot of like. A, loss, a lot of losses that I've learned a lot from, and I feel like I'm starting to kind of find my, my DNA for competing. I mean, what, uh, um, what do you think is the biggest takeaway as far as, I mean, you've won this event before, you know, you're, you've, you're on the grind, on the queue. What do you think is, is it finding your routine? having the magic boards we know the boards are magic you know what do you what do you think is kind of the let's say the recipe that that works for crosby what's what's um, the playbook look like i think it's honestly like i've been working a lot on my mental game lately because i felt like that was kind of something that was holding me back a little bit so i've been working hard on that and it, it's uh starting to pay off which is really cool to see that um working out and just kind of Doing one heat at a time, you know, and trying to, like... Just heat. take it one at a time? Yeah, because I feel like a lot of times I would, in heats, I would, like, get a score, and then I would be, like, thinking ahead so much, like, oh, I'm going to make it, and then most of the time I will like, lose those heats. But here's Dunny. Nice little first turn. Oh. Throwing some water. And a nice little wrap, a little open up. Yeah, load it up good pet, on that one. Pet the kitty. Pet the kitty, Dunny. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hey, comp the competitive surf game's gnarly. It's never over till it's over. Oh, yeah. Yeah, especially when you're dealing with the ocean, too. Like, you never know what you're going to get. Yeah, very unpredictable. Yeah, which I is mean, so gr cool. Hey, great win in Barbados. I mean, uh, I thought Burke was going to have the Jeremy Flores moment of the win, and um, you snatched it. <laughs> I know, it was gnarly. They had a um, – he had, like, every everyone down in, like, the area was, like, all Barbados, Bayesians, and they were just screaming so loud. And every time he would get a wave, they would just scream no matter what. So, like, he would get a you wave. You weren't sure if it was, like, a 10 or a 2? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, like, when the final started, he got his 8, and I was kind of watching from the back, and I was like, oh, it's pretty good. I, I couldn't really tell, but they're screaming, like, it's a 10. And then it came in as an 8, and I was like, okay, it's on. <laughs> you know? Yeah, what a great event. I watched a lot of it. I didn't catch the final. Yeah, you know, I've never been to Barbados. Been to Puerto Rico, but no uh, no Barbados for me. Yeah. And, I mean, it seems like a pretty magical little paradise. Oh, the place is insane. I mean, the waves are a world-class wave. They could 
they could have a CT there and, and you could go there and stack clips like proper. Um, so yeah, it's really nice. Yep. Crosby Cola Pinto. We're, li we're live. <laughs> so how important is a, a good result here in HB this um, week? Yeah, it's pretty important. I'm excited just to be doing contests and, and just trying to just keep the same rhythm going and just keep learning and kind of just get used to being in the jersey for snapper. So. I like it. I'm, I'm stoked. Snapper's uh, on the Challenger Series. I know. It's what a great venue. Fit. Oh, I can't wait. Last year was pretty good. I lost early, but it was like, it was just cool, like, warming up there because it was a CT stop, and now it's a Challenger Series. Well, it's, to be able to surf it with four guys. Yeah. I mean, it's you know what it's like. Yeah. It's, it's gnarly. Yeah. But, yeah, I'm excited. It's going to be fun. All right, let's focus on the task at hand. Michael Dumphy out in front, 6.67 and a 4. Dylan Horde in second, a 3.93 and a 0 0.53. Obviously wants to shed that low score. Priority surfer Wesley Santos at 3.83. Needs a second score and a score line. That'll change things up. And Remy Jabori down there in fourth, chasing a 2.97. And, uh, you know, conditions, it's a lot better than I thought it was going to be after yesterday. I was like, ooh. So I'm sure you were stoked. You're like, oh, it's on today. Well, it's on every day for you. But, you yeah. know, I, was, I pulled up the cams early, and it was kind of crumbly in south wind and coming off that negative tide. But you could see the south in it. And I'm like, oh, man, if it cleans up, it's, it's going to be a lot better. Yeah. This is, I mean, this is great right here. I mean, we surf way worse waves because, and and just having like little waves like this like little clean little waves and there's pl kind of plenty of waves in all these heats so it's nice and yeah little well it, we shed the wind swell yeah you know where waves stand up and just kind of burger and don't have a lot of power like these little waves are kind of peeling off the bank oh yeah it's sick i mean it's when the sand's good it doesn't really matter right so they say yeah <laughs> so um, it seems yeah i mean i love huntington because I swear there's always fun waves here. Like at home, back in San Clemente right now, from T Street to Cottons, it's like a hole. Do you think it's from just all the, that, like the big swells in January or kind of the wind swell? Like what guttered it out? Because it's kind of the same thing um, from north side of the pier all the way up through Bolsa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. There's been rumors that there's like a man-made reef out the back, like way out there, probably a couple miles out. That's been maybe collecting like, sand. Um, blocking like, flow, maybe? Maybe. Interesting. Something like that. But I think San Clemente is trying to figure out a way to um, get more sand going. And I think uh, I heard rumors of maybe building a jetty in five years. So A jetty? Where do you think they'd build it? Maybe by uh, Cottons. Interesting. Because I don't know if you've seen, but... No, uh, Don Meek said at Cottons it's like a trench. It's yeah, it's sad. Like the train tracks are like almost falling in. That's crazy. It's pretty crazy to see. Yeah, it's been it, some heavy erosion happening. Yeah. Oh, here we okay, go. Okay, Wesley. Wesley, foam climb no. Oh, a little catch. I never see him do that. I know. It's you surf like with a guy, he never falls. I know. <laughs> I think he just got his throw wet for the he first did. time. <laughs> yeah, that was uncharacteristic. Yeah, see, it's, you know, it's weird. I mean, everybody that knows me and follows my social, I'm just on this big sand kick because Seal Beach is collecting sand. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're like on the opposite end where we just keep growing. It's nuts. I guess it's good, though, huh? Uh, in Are a sense, but it's kind of destroyed our average days of surf. Oh, okay. So, like, the the north side of the pier, the, the surface of the sand – call it the floor and then the length of the beach are just the biggest it's ever been well so it, and it's kind of the same thing like it's so steep that it doesn't even really let it break unless it's a big swell episode or or some type of wind swell santos ah up and out so it's weird and i guess there's parts of huntington that are growing mm -hmm. which is kind of not you know on point or on par with what else is happening a lot of places are eroding ocean sides having trouble I heard uh, Micah Byrne was in here. He said Laguna's kind of on a major sand deficit, so it's it's kind of an interesting one. Yeah, yeah. It's and I mean, I I would say La Nina might be the the problem of just all that like weird, no 
none of the winter swells to bring the sand back and mm -hmm. then you get all the south in the summer and the, it just kind of keeps chewing it away mm -hmm. and it's not being able to be brought back with the big winter swells yeah you know and the current going the other way yeah i don't know that's my guess i'm not sure but it's we've been three years in this la nina thing and then this year it kind of broke yeah 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 i don't know it's it's a crazy thing Sam. yeah weather patterns <laughs> yeah it's trippy much greater than us there we got simpo walking down this guy looks locked in all right 340 remaining simpo he is um is he in the next one I, yes he is yeah. Dunny out front, 6.67 six, and a 4. Santos trying to just rinse that .77 away. I mean, that leaves him vulnerable. Yeah, you know? yeah. It looks like there's a little bump coming right now. And Horde, your priority surfer. Oh, that looks like a good right. Little split of the peak. Oh, nice finish. Oh, this is going to do it for Horde. He's going to throw away that .53. Santos. Santos. There we go. Pumping. Smell. Wrap. Got the Huntington hop. Oh, he surfs out here all the time. Yeah, he gets it. Uh. Oh, he's grinding this thing. We love it. We love to see it. Oh. Yeah, Wesley. So just trying to replace the <laughs> yeah, point seven seven. I mean, better that three eight three. Yeah. No doubt. There's one of your. Uh, Hometown homies. Yeah, one of the two percenters right there. <laughs> so Cole took out the DR, right? Yeah, Cole won DR. So that was that was pretty epic to be there for that. I think that was his first QS win. So here here goes Dunny. This guy is good in this stuff right here. Dunny. Dang. Oh, nice wrap. Well, oh, that's a nice little. Nice little swell. Yeah, I was giving there. him a hard time when we had that swell run in January. I'm like, dude, where are you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing? Surfing knee high Smyrna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these guys, those guys are uh, on it with uh, Smyrna. They love it there. It's a cool town, but oh, great I, back, town. I back Smyrna. It's sick. Yeah, no, great town. Most consistent spot on the East Coast. Yeah, yeah. This, it just got like a good like town vibe, you know? Yeah, reminds me of San Clemente a little bit. Mm -hmm. You got a little bit of just a little hotbed crew that's just out there doing it. Yeah, exactly. All right, down to a minute and a half. Ooh. Horde nailed the score, 517, put Santos into third, but he requires a 527. Wesley's last, not going to do it, a 363. And then Jabori chasing a 760, and well, we're under 90 seconds. You know, Stoke conditions are mellow. I mean, you, were you here for these crazy winds? Uh, no, I was still in you Barbados. You were still in Barbados. Yeah. Okay, so you just missed it. I mean, it was like the wind was going bananas for a couple days. Yeah, that's I what think I the heard. boys had to set the vent up in the wind. Oh, gnarly. So, yeah, it was like crazy wind. I thought the next day we were going to have like eight-foot wind swell, and it was like two foot. Yeah, trippy. Super weird. All right, down to under a minute. Michael Dunphy, the veteran. Do we know what he got on his last wave? Is that score? No, it hasn't or? come through yet, I don't think. I mean, he's got two in his score line, so mm -hmm. he still has, a, I think, the third coming through. Okay. All right, well, I think this, uh, unless there's something coming, I mean, I see a bump. Five seven three for Dunny. Dunny extending. <laughs> oh, we got a little paddle battle right Better here. Better the four. All right. Well, I think this one's in the history books, Crosby. Yep. Unofficially with the win, Michael Dumphy and Dylan Horde in second. Moving on, Wesley Santos oh. and Remy Jabori in the three and four spot. Don't go anywhere. We will be back. I've got Crosby Cola Pinto in the booth right after this. Everybody wants to do work that they believe in and to live a lifestyle that's engaging, thrilling, and worthwhile. At Otis, we're no different. 
We make premium eyewear to help people get outside and experience the beauty of our world. But there has to be more to it than just sunglasses. A purpose behind it that keeps us inspired through the hard work and challenging times before cracking those coveted wings. For our team, that purpose was obvious. Do better for the planet that we also call our playground. We've already committed to using less plastic packaging, eco-acetate biodegradable frames, and endlessly recyclable mineral glass lenses. Certifying our brand as a B Corp was the next big step. Really big. They've become the gold measure to ensure businesses use their power as a force for good in the world, and that their practices are helping to build a more sustainable future both environmentally and socially. Only a fraction of companies that start the process actually make a passing grade to get certified. After digging deep and committing ourselves to continually do better, we're stoked to announce that here at Otis, we have earned the coveted B Corp stamp. It is a mark of pride that we're doing and will continue to do work that makes a positive impact in the world. But this is just the start. There's more to do, more to make, more adventures to go on and wonder to uncover. Let's keep moving together and reframe the future. Okay, we are back, Crosby Cola Pinto. North American 2022 20, 23 uh, champion. <laughs> ratings yeah. champion. Yeah, it's all it's all mixed and up. the winner of Barbados. Yeah. Right. There you so go. And a uh, former Monty. event champion. Standout Gromit. I can't even tell you how many events this kid's <laughs> won in the, in his Grom days. Oh. So part of the two percent crew moved out of his uh sixty four heat. We'll see you surf tomorrow in the round of thirty two. Yeah. So yeah, I mean uh Thanks. we've got uh, Nolan Raposa in red, Kyan Yang in blue, Jack Zietz in white, Keanu Igarashi, younger brother of Kanoa Igarashi, in the water. Wait, I am on. Yeah. <laughs> I am. My, I'm so high on coffee. I'm ready for tomorrow today. Yeah. Hash Brown, Cole Hauschman, Hausch Kai Brown. Kushner, Grayson Grant, Brett Simpson, our co-commentator, out in the water right now. I'm gonna just have to uh, reboot the brain. I was staring at the wrong part of the board. <laughs> I'm on day three. Couple coffees. I, I, I've, yeah. Oh, Simpo. I'm on day three. Simpo. This guy's gnarly out here. He's on autopilot. Yeah. He's that good. <laughs> He's so good. So, yeah, Cole Hauschman took out the win in the Dominican Republic. Mm -hmm. I mean, what was the star rating on that event? Uh, it was a 3,000. It was a 3,000. Yeah. yeah. But that was epic. Cole was surfing so good. I feel like that was like a monkey off the back for him. Yeah. Yeah, I think first QS win, I, I know he right. probably wanted. For wanted sure. I mean, he's definitely been working hard. <laughs> yeah. No, the guys, I mean, just look at him. You can tell. Oh, uh, he's a unit. Yeah, he's. He's a specimen. He's a proper specimen. And so are you. You guys are thoroughbreds. I mean, I remember <laughs> when you were spindly little groms. Now you're like just full on, full on grown men almost. Yeah, I don't know. San Clemente, it's like something put some weird stuff in the water. It's in the water. stuff in the water. <laughs> Okay, Simpo, 2.17. Well, got the feet in the wax, but that one definitely won't count. Yeah. A few lumps out the Ooh, back. Here Cole. we go, having a dig. Crosby, White? call it. Is it uh, uh, Grayson. Grayson Grant? Definitely. Did. Oh. All right, let's kick it down to Dunny. Michael Dunphy, winner of heat number 12. Dunny. What's up, Wellesley? Hey, you're, I got Crosby in the booth with me. What's up, Dunny? Oh, wow, the boys. What an all-star unit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, get in here, dude. I don't know about that. <laughs> hey, great surfing. Really? Yeah, why not? I mean, you won. You didn't win with poor surfing. Yeah, felt a little sticky, but um, luckily Wesley gave me the six, and that was kind of all she wrote. Yeah, so I, I mean, I... You know, obviously I follow you on social. I see you just grinding it out daily. Grinding what? Grinding it out just at home. Oh, really? I haven't been posting much at all the last couple of months. But, uh, yeah, I'm always surfing at home. You know, the waves are uh, pretty similar to this. So it helps when uh, the waves are kind of grindy because it's similar to home. Yeah. I yeah. mean, I, I was making mention to us giving you a hard time because traditionally you always fly over for our swell episodes like we had in January. I was like, dude, what are you doing? Yeah, I had some uh, stuff going on at home, so I couldn't make it. 
Got it. Hey, the board looked good though. What are you riding? Um, I'm riding a 5.8 subdriver, uh, a little carbon thing from Mayhem. It's a, uh, um, they call it a black dart and it works, uh, it's lively, you know, for this small stuff. I always try to have like a little bit, uh, something epoxy to help me kind of look a little faster. Right. So what, uh, what's on, what's, what are you doing after this contest? What's on the schedule? Uh, I don't know what's on the schedule. I'm, uh, just kind of, um, you know, it's been a nonstop run of events, so I'm not sure um, what's next for me, but I'm here and uh, still to get a couple little waves and hopefully can um, make some more heats. Well, if you feel like it, come join me in the booth. Yeah. We had a good time, I, yeah, the other, we had a good time the other year. <laughs> yeah, we did. You and Brett have been holding it down pretty good, though, so I'm just going to leave it to you guys. You guys are crushing it. All right. Well, hey, some deluxe lay right dollars in the pocket. Anything you want to uh, say to family and friends before we sign off? Oh, uh, yeah. Anyone watching at home supporting me and uh, everyone else in the contest, thank you. And hopefully we get some more waves this weekend. And, uh, yeah, have fun. Right on. Congratulations. Yeah, Michael Danny. Dunphy. Yeah, taking out Heat 12 in the round of 64, moving into 32 tomorrow. He's got the day off and live action Hash Brown. Hash Cole Brown. Cole Hash. Hashman. Bush Brown. 6.0. Not a bad score. 6.0. We call him uh, Cole Rodman. <laughs> <laughs> With the hair lately, huh? Yeah. yeah. I love it. I, he got an earring now, too, so he's. No, he's, you guys uh, keep it fun it. down there. Yeah. It's, it's rad to watch. Yeah. No, yeah. We're having fun. Cole's. Cole, that six was. Really gnarly. He threw a lot of water, um, but he has really good, really good timing on on his backhand and his forehand. The guy throws like so much water when he does any little turn, you know. Oh, yeah, he's a big boy. Yeah, big boy, great timing. A lot of sand out there. I mean, the the drone view, you, it's crystal clear. It, it does a weird thing with the camera from the drone. It makes it look kind of dark, mm -hmm. but it's not dark. Yeah. All right, here we go, Grant. Grayson Grant, bang. Ooh, gets a little stuck, but yeah, well, kind of caught a little bit. Yeah, Grayson uh, hails from the you know San Diego Encinitas zone, part of yeah. the Encinitas board riders. He's telling us he had a gnarly foot injury and was out of the water for a while. Oh had yeah, to, yeah, had to have surgery. Gnarly. Yeah, that's. I was like, ooh, brutal. Yeah, I know. I I've, I've seen him do a lot of the QSs. He has a good style. I like it. Yeah, it looks sharp. 12.20 remaining. Cole out in front on the merits of the single score. Grant in second. And then, I mean, nobody's really broken the score line open uh, in second, third, or fourth. Simpo's just got the two, which is the second highest score in this heat. So a bit of a slow one. Yeah. Tied on the draw now. So it's going to fall out until, um, let's see. It's going to fall out, I think, until about four something. Mm -hmm. And it goes to we're just dialing in surf line right now crosby surf lines on it yeah they changed their colors though yeah kind of trippy i think they might have changed it back they, they did huh yeah i saw that what is it saying fair to good yeah i mean Port the forecast for sunday looks better it said one to two uh yesterday so yeah. uh the high was a 1044 a 4.0 and it falls out to 422 a 1.1 so not as low as yesterday okay mm, uh, so it's you know that's good. The more water, the better. Yeah, out here for sure. For sure. How was it yesterday on low tide? Uh, got tough, but there were some sneaky ones. The girls put on a great performance. Yeah. You know, I mean, and it's one of those kind of feast or famine type things. Mm -hmm. One, two really good waves amongst a lot of kind of junky waves. For sure. You know, and the wind kind of tore it up a little bit, but the the girls brought it. It was great. It was yeah. Good surfing. I mean, we had a sheet in here earlier in the. The, the list was huge of all the girls that didn't get in. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So, I mean, they started in the round of 40. Yeah. Uh, so, th we're going to see the ladies kick off at 120. It's going to be the round of 32, so only four heats. But Saturday, they're going to start us off from 8 a.m. to 11. Grant. And oh, that's men's. a nice turn. Here he goes. Bang. Third one. Yeah, he's looking good. He's looking like his foot's all better. So are you driving home every day, doing yeah. the drive? Yeah, I got a uh, Sam Coffee staying at the house, so we're just cruising. Nice. It's all, it's honestly, oh, Cole. I don't Is know. Sam like the other SC adopted brother? Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> funny. It's funny because San Clemente and Santa Cruz almost have like a have like a bond. I don't know if it's like the SCs, you know, but it's like we kind of. 
they like almost have the same lingo as like San Clemente. You know, I like, like a it. Weird little talk. <laughs> well, I li well, both you guys. I mean, I mean, talk about variety. You guys have some good variety. You've got your, you know, your controlled breaks with mm -hmm. with you know lowers, uppers, cottons, and and San Onofre and all that stuff. You know, with just waves that are just gonna kind of let's call it a reef break, I guess. Um, reef reefy point breaks and they've got the same thing mm -hmm. you know we're up here you know we're just pinned in beach break town yeah you know and then you guys got punchy beach breaks all the way to the north mm -hmm. so they've got a ton of variety too i mean yeah. talk about wedges rebounds slabs everything yeah yeah they got a lot of waves. then you want to go bananas and cut your teeth you can ride some big waves at middle peak or <laughs> yeah. go to mavericks why not <laughs> yes i know they got sick waves up there all right, Grant, banging it. So still just people chasing a good score here, 850 remaining. And Hauschman adds to the score line of 4.23. See if Mauricio can dial us in on that six. Take a look at it. Yeah, I think Cole got a 4.23 on that last one. But it really looks like it's slowing down for the, these last couple heats. Yeah, the tide's now turning around, so it's... Is this Simpo? All right, Simpo. our co-commentator. Whoa, the foam climb. Zip. Oh, no. Simpo. Uh, that wave ran out of gas. It's not like Simpo. So out there in Webland, if you guys are just remotely close, 15, 20, 30 miles, come on down. Spring break, spring broke. Cool. Oh, here it is. Wow. Bang. Yeah, Cole Cole impresses me in these small waves for how big he is, like super agile. Yeah. Very. He's just really like light on his feet for being Well, how much, much do you weigh? I'm like one eighty. How much do you think Cole weighs? Like two hundred, two oh five or something. Oh wow. Yeah. Well I mean, Sean's a big guy too. Yeah, yeah. His both his parents are pretty tall, so and his he's just like his he's just a unit. big frame. <laughs> he's a unit. Big frame. I stand next to him. His legs are like swallowing my whole body. So, come down. Rip curls down here. What are they doing at their booth? I don't know. I haven't checked them out. You haven't them popped out, in but, yet. Um, I think they got some posters. Nice. Maybe some games. Very nice. Yeah. So all the brands are down here. Volcom, Vans, O'Neill, Sunbum, Costa Eyewear, Monera, Excel, Pizel, FCS, Hurley, Revia, Salty Crew. Otis, Future Fins, Super 73's got bikes on display, Billabong. I mean, they're here. They're supporting the core. Come down, win some prizes. Uh, let's see, O'Neill is, you could win O'Neill Weddy. Um, let's see what else is, what's Excel got going? They've got, uh, I'm not sure what they're giving away. Hurley's got a collab Jacks hat. Monero Wetsuits has a collab, Jack's T, mm -hmm. all kinds of trinkets. All right, Simpo having a look. Six and a half minutes. Let's see what, he's, what he got. Oh, no go. Ah. All right, so you can see it changing a little bit mm -hmm. with the dropping tide. Almost feels like you can see a little bit more of the windswell chipping in. For sure. I know, like, <clears throat> just left of the area where uh, everyone's free surfing, there was a little bank. I saw a lot of people surfing over there, and it looked like there was a lot of waves. So maybe he's uh, breaking off over there. Machado's peak. Yeah. What do you think about the board rider stuff? Oh, I think it's awesome. I think it's cool. It brings every town together and, you know, makes it like a real real tight community. Do you ever get to do any or are you always traveling? Um, if I'm home and they have one, I'll do one. And I, lo I love doing them, you know. You get together with all the San Clemente guys. Here goes Simpo. He, no, yeah, it looks it's looking a little bit tough out there, but... It's a nice day, that's for sure. A uh, beautiful day. Yeah. Yeah, board riders, they're the funnest events around. Yeah, they're sick. We have one coming up uh, the 16th at Malibu if there's a wave to ride. Yeah. The, I heard the sand's insane up there. Cool, that could be crazy. Yeah, we had really at good sand bank last year. Yeah. What, at the point? At Malibu, the point. Whoa. First point. Well, that could be epic. If there's waves. Yeah. Right now the forecast doesn't look good, but, it, you know, springtime it bounces around all over the place. Yeah. But, yeah, there was a, a little bit of south. I was watching the camera. I'm like, oh, wow, it is on. Last year it was tons of sand. So, I mean, even little 
two footers were just running all the way to the to the beach. It mm. was unbelievable. Yeah, and there's like an odd waist or a waist to chest high one. If you got one of those, like you're going freaking seven or eight. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that was that was really good. It's just crowded. <laughs> Slightly. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's one of the true real point breaks, you know that, and and Rincon, of course. Mm -hmm. And uh, sadly, we lost Dana Point to a harbor. Yeah. That was a really good point break. Okay, Hauschman out front with a six and a four, two, three. Simpo, pair of pocket twos. Just looking to find anything. Yeah, I can hear Simo barking at the non competitors. Yeah. <laughs> Just on four minutes. So how much um, like board experimentation are you able to do with your time at home? Just trying to work out your equipment for uh, what you bring on the road. Um, yeah, I, I don't really try to like over complicate it right now. Like I feel like my boards are pretty good. So I, I go in and work with Matt and Matt's, we're always changing a little something every time we order boards, but um, just kind of try and keep it simple. And oh, Whoa, here's, simple. Oh, that's a good way of, Oh, kind of. I wonder, was that his first turn, second turn? Uh, I don't. I don't know. I think it might have only been the first, yeah. but we kind of felt like we caught it a little late. Mm -hmm. A little late. I only ask that because I know Mayhem and Matt Biolis, like the Lost Surfboards, has so many models. Mm -hmm. You know, and I mean they're finely tuned blades. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously they make a lot of alternative stuff for the average human like myself. But you know, there's so many good surfboards in the mix. It's gotta ask you know oh yeah 100 percent. yeah i usually keep it keep it simple keep it simple and you know like got the that was a sick turn it just didn't really let him have anything else well uh 417 Ooh. for that so it did help the cause extends the lead seven. grant needs a three four six kai kushner priority surfer in fourth requires a 6.54 down at two minutes, 40 seconds. Coming down to the wire. Yeah. How many boards do you think you get a year? What are you, what are you going through? Oh, I don't know. It's a When you get one, a good one, you hang on? Yeah, for sure. I, you know, just like the good old magic boards, you got to throw them on the ice. Or is the Barbados sled in, in the water today? Uh, no, that was like a little bit of a step up, almost like a 6-0. Okay. Um, it's kind of, I'll save it for snapper, but it was, it was funny how I ended up on that board. Cause I had my magic board there and then I got like a, a big old ding on the bottom and a free surf. Someone's nose went into my board. Um, and then, it, and then I rode the six zero, and that ended up being the board that I went on. So it's, it's, I don't know. It's, it all worked out. Right. But, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe like 50, 50. No, I, I honestly, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe like. Uh, 25 I, i'm not too sure yeah well that's good that you're not keeping track yeah <laughs> but i'm super grateful for everything that matt bolus does and, ev and the whole team over there they're all like really awesome and and really good good to the writers. oh i but he uh i had a magic sub scorcher back in the day mm -hmm. got too fat for it though <laughs> sadly but um, yeah, a really great surfboard. That was the only loss I've ever had. Wait, no, I take that back. I had a, uh, I think a s sub driver two mm -hmm. or a driver two or something. One of those, I think Strider helped me order a board. And, um, those are the only two loss I have ever had. I got to get another one in the old quiver. Yeah. All right, Simpo, here he goes. Ooh, no go. Um, but yeah, I feel like Matt's shaping right now is is like really good like i feel like everyone who's writing their boards their boards are just looking really good and and pretty much every board that i get from him i know it's going to work good so that just like having that it's pretty epic and and even like griffin and Kolohe's boards are like looking really good under their feet oh i was at waco with him maybe a year or two ago and i just was like hey i'm not to be weird you're surfing way better <laughs> like, yeah and he was just like thanks yeah. And and uh, I forget I, I don't remember the the conversation word for word, but he was just like you know I've just been surfing more and and just kind of like hey just enjoying it and and it showed he, yeah I was shooting photos on that trip and uh, 
Matt had a couple bangers. Yeah. All right, Simpo wrapping it up here. Simpo. So. Looks like he's going to come through this heat unofficially. Cole Hauschman with the win. Simpo in second. Grant in third. Kushner in fourth. Looks like that one's going to print. Don't go anywhere. I've got Crosby Cola Pinto in the booth with me. We'll be back after this. Do your thing. Welcome back to Huntington Beach, California. We're here at the Jack Surfboards Pro presented by Hydroflask. We got green up and riding. This is heat 14. I believe this is local boy Igarashi, big bro Kano on the big CT tour, getting a wave under his belt. We got Jack Seats, Nolan Raposa, Kayane Yang, and Igarashi, blue. Oh, oh pulling off a nice little it. air. Wants to get in the air final. We're going to pick the top six throughout the event to get into that heat, which is the Hydro Flask. Presented by Foo Wax Air Final, fifteen hundred bucks up for grabs. Nolan Raposa in red. A oh, couple wow. solid turns. I'm Fine. here with uh, Crosby Cola Pinto, 2019 Jack Surfboards Pro Champ. That year was cranking. Yeah, it was. It was. It was a little bit better than this. Wow. So Boys are white. flaring right now. Yeah, we got some scores coming in for sure. Scores are coming in. You had a good heat today. Yeah, I had fun. Interview. How about you talk to the interview? You watched that last okay. heat. Let's go down to Cole Hauschman. Cole Hauschman. You, you know that yeah. guy well, right? Up, Jack's Crosby? team rider. Cole Hauschman, how are you? Crosby, Cole Pinto, how you doing? <laughs> um, how was it out there, buddy? It was. Uh, <laughs> it was amazing. I caught two waves, and yeah, <laughs> it was kind of a bummer. It was a slow heat, but. Uh, yeah, stoked to grind through. The boys are the boys are making the heats. Yeah. So, uh, what did you get up to last night? How are you feeling today? Um. Yeah, we kind of had a late night last night, but the boys had fun, and uh, yeah, Ooh. feeling good. You know, good to get a heat out of the way today. Yeah. And, uh, the hey, this is this is Scott Waring, and I just want to say, like, I think the top seven, you know, that you guys qualified together, you know. Yep. It's looking pretty strong, man. I, I think there's a, a good chance I'm going to hopefully see a couple of you guys on the world tour. It's kind of cool, like, back in the day, like, they're, you know, the U.S. guys didn't really travel together, you know? And it seems like you guys got a got a good little pack that like to hang out and push each other and elevate the surfing and all that stuff. Are you guys just psyched, like, to travel together, like, on the next level and then push each other to get to that next level? Yeah, I mean, we have a really good feeling about this year and all the boys. It's uh, We have something we've never really had before with all the St. Money guys, the 2% group. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of more like a brotherhood right now. And uh, we're all pushing each other. And, I mean, we won, like, the last four or five comps in a row. So it's kind of cool to see everyone doing well. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I think we're all going to surprise ourselves this year and kind of make a push for it. So 
Um, right on. Well, we're we're here stoked to have you. You guys both ride for Jacks. They got a couple great kids with you two involved, and uh, good luck on the on the big leagues. And we'll see you tomorrow. Sweet. Thanks, boys. We'll see you later. Yeah, cool. Right yeah, Cosmo. <laughs> <laughs> So we got some scores in here. Oh, yeah, what, what we got going? Nolan, four one three, backs it up with a six one seven. Uh, Jack Zietz got a five four on his wave, and Cayenne a five four on that air. So, or maybe was that a four in the air? I'm not I'm too not sure. sure actually. Yeah. But uh, definitely, you know, uh, we got Nolan in in first. Kayang in second, needing a 4.91. Zietz needing a 4.33 and a 5.73 for Igarashi. So pretty tight heat, I'd say. Um, it's been decent. You know, waves are a little bit better than yesterday, which is really nice. Weather's fantastic. Surfers are putting on a great show. And uh, did your brother know? Tell me what your brother... Like, what was the vibe between your bro and you won Barbados? I mean, come on, you know, you had to just – was he watching? Yeah, I think he was getting up early and uh, watching watching all my heats and watching all the boys' heats, but he was uh, he was psyching. It, it's yeah. funny. He, he loves, like, cheering on the boys on the QS. He, just, he loves that stuff. So um, it was cool. He was honestly so stoked. To, to hear how stoked he was got me pretty happy. Like, he, he was probably almost – more stoked than me. Like, I was psyched. Now, did you know, like, like, going into it, like, if I could win this thing, I'd go from being outside to number one or just qualifying? Oh, here Here's Blue's first Sweet. wave. So, nice little error by Yang. Oh, that was a 4-3. Yeah, 4-3-3. Three, three. Three. Okay. And then we got Igarashi. Yeah, I knew. He had a tight heat yesterday. I don't know if you saw that. Yeah, I didn't. But, but uh, he got nice. through. So, a couple nice. nice hits by Ryder and Green. And then that's that first recap. But, that yeah, so, fun. you know, the excitement of it. I mean, did you kind of know, like, going from whatever uh, position you were in, you are going to hit and win the QS North America? or? Um, I I didn't. I kind of just went into the contest knowing I had to get um, – here's Keanu's wave. Oh. Nice. I don't know if we that's saw like, that wave. That but. must be a 5-6. Yeah, got, so Igarashi may – get into that air final we don't know the judges are keeping tally of the top six mm -hmm. six ways but anyway you got to be just stoked man going yeah. from like getting a huge result five thousand points like 12 grand or how much was the uh it was a 10 grand ten thousand dollars yeah so that was that was pretty cool yeah um, honestly like the the whole lead up up to the contest and and just being able to like overcome kind of the pressure of knowing that i had to make some heats to qualify was yeah. like i think that was like the biggest part for me was like being able to handle the pressure and not not really think ahead and right. go in and like do the task that was ahead so i don't know i feel like that was like the best part about it all was just to like overcome yeah like the pressure that. of it all right yeah, yeah but now i mean confidence level you got to be like feeling like i can do this for sure i knew you you know, you had the vision of doing it, but now you got to be like, I'm there. I'm oh, ready. Yeah, 100%. I mean, last year I was kind of struggling to make heats and kind of just, like, didn't really, like, know my surfing and contests right. that well. And I just feel like this year I've kind of been able to kind of figure out what's going on upstairs in my head and just kind of go into heats with confidence and kind of just simplify everything and, and just – be on the best ways really yeah yeah that's awesome and then to have this event situated where it is you come home you hang out for a couple of days you drive up the coast you get to ride in your sponsor's event mm -hmm. there's another three thousand on the line for next year's so you could get like a buffer zone just in case mm -hmm. but there's no pressure you've already qualified for the challenger and you could pick up an extra eight grand so it's a good place to be right oh 100 <laughs> percent. i'm i'm just I'm loving doing contests right now, so just being able to get the jersey on like right after Barbados is just, I just, it's it's nice. Yeah. I love it. Awesome. Well, we're stoked to have you here. You know, yeah, you thanks. guys, you know, I think here. out of the top rated, uh, you know, North American tour, everybody's here but like one guy, you know, like from first to whatever. Yeah. 
Yeah. I think everyone's here, so. Yeah. You know, back to the heat. We are, there's a hydro flask making custom lids. If you have your hydro flask container, you just take it over there and they'll create one for you. Might yeah, it's it pretty there. cool. So they're our presenting sponsor this year of the Six Animal Jack Surfboards Pro. And we're stoked to have them. Free hydro flask? Yeah. What? Yeah. That's a score. So there's, we're making it happen down here. Nolan Repose is still in the lead with a 413, that 617. Yang in second, I believe. Uh, well, Ikarashi, I think, did move up to third. So we got nine minutes and 15 seconds to go. Yeah. And I'm going to step out. I got to go do a do my another part of my job here. So in comes Brett Simpson, who got second in his heat. Congratulations, Brett. And um, yeah, later. Yeah, simple. Well, it definitely wasn't a, a Crosby heat out there. <laughs> Man, it is, well, it's slowing down a little bit, that yeah. lower tide. That, you know, that little area, it's, it's definitely kind of disappearing some. Yeah. But um, there was a few waves in hindsight that definitely probably should have went on. Yeah, you guys' heat looked like it slowed down a lot. It's, it's kind of the, been the name of the game out here. Name of the game, huh? You know. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, yeah. Cross, it's good to have you on here. It looks yeah. like Raposa out in the lead. What uh, when are you guys heading over to Oz? Um, probably oh, the end of the month. It's f it's the first week, first week of May. Uh, yeah, cool. like the sixth. It, yeah, I think it starts. So. Dude, Snapper rocks, Crosby yeah. Colapinto. Oh. Pick up that mantle and just start <laughs> shaking it. Go fan dangleberry. Uh, you got out any there. tips? You you know. Hey, what's I up. mean, it, it changes a lot. That yeah. wave is like, typically, if it's good behind the rock, that means the rest of the wave sometimes is like a little slopey yeah so you almost want it just off and wow. even last year the first day looked really good yeah and then it it got a little big and windy, windy and yeah. kind of runny yeah. but um pick those little grower waves for sure it's like even if sometimes you, you can get the barrel and the connector but those little growers that allow they grow down the line you're all you're looking is like if does this thing have legs down the mm -hmm. line mm -hmm. you know and th those are the waves that get the big scores yeah I think Callum did a good job last year. Didn't he win? Yeah, did he, he win won. last year. He yeah. Won, yeah, he did a really good job at like picking these waves that kind of just gave you. You know, it's in and out of turns. You don't want the waves where you do a big turn, it goes slow. You just like lose what happened yeah. on the wave. Yeah. But um, you'll do just fine. Yeah. Just go. You know, go a week, week or so early, maybe even more. Mm -hmm. For sure. But you don't want to get overly surfed out. Yeah. You want to yeah, be yeah. hungry going yeah. into that event, mm -hmm. which is cool because you guys are doing this. You'll have like three weeks what two three weeks off and yeah. then you'll be heading straight over yeah have some time to like run some heats exactly Maybe get another we might have to do series another going. series yeah ah. get the <laughs> get the couch surfing tour out there but yeah 640 here reposing the lead kyan yang second keanu local boy brother of kanoa needs a 4.1 and jack zeets needs a 433 so anyone's ball game right here yeah you got to like the position that, you know, Kion and Raposa first and second, and they have priority and second priority. So they're kind of dictating what happens right here. This mm -hmm. wave from here looks decent. Kion's got priority. He's got to go. He's looking a little tight there. Whoa, he was kind of kicking that guy's Ooh. tail. A nice turn. I don't know cool. if it's 4-3-3. Three, three. Yeah. We'll have to wait and see. Well, 4-1-7. Yeah. <laughs> One nice click. Yeah, I mean, maybe three, five, it looks like Jack know. might have went over to where I chased away mm -hmm. and try to get lucky. He needs a 4-3-4. Four, four. Yesterday, Kraus, there was like this, you know, the north windswell was kind of focusing on this this south end of the beach to your to the TV's left. Yeah. And then, you know, we've been kind of straight out. That was cool. Kind of got the tail up yeah. and over. That's always yeah. critical. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to better the score. I don't know if that's it. 273, I'm not yeah, sure. I don't know. <laughs> but, um, yeah, Griff looked good yesterday. Yeah. Or he's, day before. Yeah. Locked in. He's I'm hoping good. they get bowl today. I know. I it's know. weird, like, being in that event for a few years, you're like, oh, I hope they run it at Winky. And as when you surf, to me, it was like you surf a heat out there, the bowl is actually better wave, better yeah. wave to surf, the, uh, surf a heat, yeah. I think. Yeah. Bigger turns, more canvas. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Winky's fun to free surf because you can catch more waves and there's like all this little, action. Yeah, but chips. sometimes hard to put together. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
It looked like it was it fired at the ball. And that when evening, girls, yeah, that evening was around. on fire. I bet there's mental clips going around. Yeah, I don't. Have you been looking at the forecast? Either? It's gonna get good size. The surf line's saying like eight to twelve foot, but side off side shore, which I hope it's not up the face. I yeah. hope it's like down the line, mm -hmm, which sure. is clean. Yeah, you know, second, yeah. third wave. Here we gang. go, Kion in second. Boom. This guy's oh. kicking tail. Yeah, he's all about the tail. <laughs> It's it, you got to make something happen out there. It's starting to yeah. get a little dumpier. Mm -hmm. Clear water, a little cocoa. No wrap. No wrap. He saw a lobster. <laughs> <laughs> dinner. Uh, He's trying to get those lay right bucks. He doesn't even need the lobster. Yeah, a little lobster dinner. Head over to Dukes right after. Head to the surf and turf. Yeah. Well, he's paddling. There must be a tight little priority situation right here with four minutes to go, which could be the heat. What did they do? You got green first, oh. white second. They gave it to blue. Anytime, you know, it's close, it typically goes to the the previous wave surfer. Yeah. So, well, it, yeah. So those no change in, no change in uh, situation right there with three minutes, 40 seconds to go. Well, we're gonna say thank you, Crosby. Good luck, rest of the year. Yes. And uh, we're going to be welcoming the big man who we just served together, Cole Hauschman, Jack's team rider. Come have a seat, big dog. I'm clicking you on. So you're newly minted, just hammered us out there. No way, dude. That, that, that was, was a tough heat. heat. That was a that super was tough. slow heat. I, I passed up waves that I, looking back, probably should have went on. Here we go, Keanu, important wave. Clicks cool. it right there. Little chip snap right there, and then gets the finish. That so was three a turn sick combo. Oh, he's stirring it wow, up. Oh, stuff. Soupy. That. that board looks really good, actually. Everyone's on the little Black Beauty. Jack Zietz, this is a big score, too. He's got a tight little backhand. Boom. Little Aki style. Or not Aki, Luke Egan. Hey, who's that some of your wave. favorites, Cole? Like growing up, like obviously, you know, as a high performance surfer, you kind of tend to emulate and. You watch a lot of people who you you know want to kind of surf like or yep. take little bits and pieces. I who's, don't know. Yeah, who's some of your? I kind of just take bits and pieces, I guess. Here we go, Connie, right here. Boom. I mean, anytime, he's surfing a lot better. Anytime you can get up in the lip on that first yeah, turn. Yeah, that was a sick way. He was ripping. What did he need? He needed a four one. So it's kind of a no brainer there. It's just yeah. depending on where it goes. Um, this kid surfs good too. Yeah, Jack. Sick backhand. Yeah, Jack's from uh, Santa Barbara. Santa Barbara or Santa Cruz? Or, yeah, yeah Santa Barbara. Carpinteria, yeah. something like that. So scores two minutes to go. This one's tightened up a lot. They're yeah. waiting on the wave of green is going to be, and Jack, or wait. I'm pretty sure, here it comes. He's going to get the score. It's looking like high five, low six range, Cole. Five so nine. how long have you ridden for Jacks? Um, Since I was probably like, 10 i'd say that's epic it's been a long time 12 years now? yeah tw 22 20? wow that's and, awesome uh, dude yeah 12 years now or something like yeah, that well, but they've it, been a great sponsor a lot of uh, a lot of support from them so I, they used to they're the only people who ran ads to me in the magazines when that's so sick. mags were uh, i back will in the day. they've done such a good job obviously with these events and with their core roster and in that being said like giving you know young up-and-comers in this area the opportunity you know, to showcase yeah. their skills, which is which is epic. They're good about like incorporating the Groms and you know taking a, just supporting everyone. So it's uh yeah, they're a great company. Wow, yeah. that was sick. Oh my. Oh, was this oh, kid? No, no, he went Pocahontas right there. That was it right there. Fifty seconds too. That he needed a four nine. He was on his way. That would have been almost best way of the heat, maybe. Maybe yeah. I mean, Keanu gets the five nine, jumps to the lead, Raposa in second. Forty seconds to go. needs four nine one. Jack and Kaya need the same score, 4-9-1. It's a stack little heat right here. It's heat on, heat off. A lot of the heats have yeah. been like that. Jack down the beach, he might have he found a little corner. Snaps it in wow. the pocket. And again, can he get a finish? Wow. That was sick. Hand down, man down. That, and oh. Kaya did a rotator. We'll see. So oh, the boys might have flip-flopped this thing. We'll see. 20 seconds. Raposa on the rope-a-dope. So ropes on the ropes. 15 seconds, oh, 10 seconds to go. Crazy. Let's see, we, know that we might have another wave here. right here. It looks like we got a split peak soup. Oh, he's up, but he's it. behind the wedge sauce. 
Wow, that was a crazy finish. I wish we had some waves like that in our heat. <laughs> I was sitting. I was for like waiting for those minutes. south sets, but there wasn't money. He, I think he caught this wave where I went way down. Yeah, that was a sick turn. Sidewinder. So yesterday, Cole, it was kind of like I've been saying. It's we were most of the heats were surfed over there, yeah. a little more to the north, and then today with a little more south in the water, it's been kind of straight out. So two turn combo, a little smaller wave there for Kion, but we're gonna let this one shake out. We got a bunch of scores coming through. Maybe we'll wait this one out. This is an important heat. Let's wait. We got scores coming through. We got a wave for white, and we have a important wave for blue as well. So, yeah, nail biter wow. as they say. The waves kind of for how small they are have a lot of push. It's good. Today. It's good it shape. Fun, yeah. The bar's fun. The, the wave consistency, it, it kind of, it's off and on, but yeah. the sandbar and the Here, waves are quality. Right here. here we go. Ooh, it's looking good. Oh, this is, yeah. That's it's a, looking good. So there it is. 577 Jack Zietz jumps oh, into wow. second. So Kion needs a 577 so as well. Third. Wow. Nolan dropped to third. Wow, so this is a crazy. He went simple mode over there and found the way, way south. I mean, he... Yeah, I don't know. What was did he surf over there the whole time or I, I don't know. know. I kinda didn't pay attention to the first half of the heat. Yeah, but. sometimes when you're in here, like this three pack's kinda straight out. The second peak is over to the left here. There there might be running over there, it looks like. Or they see something. That's well, it. That's yeah. That's it. We're gonna take a quick commercial break. We'll be back in a minute. Well, welcome back. Jack's Pro QS3000 presented by Hydro Flask. I'm Brett Simpson. We got the big man right next to me, Cole Hauschman. Yeah, guys. Thanks for having us. Thanks or, for having me on. And we're here. Yeah, thank we're you. We're here. Jack's Pro, you just whooped my butt out no, there. but I wouldn't call it that. Now, but. <laughs> we're live. now we're live. We got a really good heat right here. We got Owen Moss oh. in red. Cade Matson starting off with a bang. Six, there eight, it is. Three. Six point eight three. Corey Embiidi in white and Luke Weiler. The boys we got a couple San Clemente guys. A couple in this two percent crew. A couple two percent. Right. A couple other rippers. All right, here Cade. we go. This could be it. Little zip right here. So Cade's been informed, staying low. You guys similar Dude. height? Yeah, I got like an inch on him and maybe like thirty pounds. But okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he's a big kid. He's what like, are you two oh five? Yeah, I might be like 210. Wow. Or I got a big I'm, dog. I might need to trim down for the next few days, but <laughs> Yeah, maybe you know, I think that's that's important for you to like It's hard because you're, you know, obviously you just made the qualifiers, you're into the Challenger series yeah. where the waves do get better. Yeah. You're going to be surfing, you know, hopefully juicier waves. Yeah. And but it's you have quick feet, man, and that in that it, you you don't seem to struggle much in small waves. Yeah, it's a lot of just, I grew up playing a lot of different sports and soccer, and I think I've just always been like a on your toes. light on my feet, on yeah. my toes, and that's kind of like transition into surfing. And also, I'm like very big on cross training, which uh, yep. 
definitely helps out a lot. And then also equipment under your feet, you know, that's a big one too. So well, hundred percent. And Wellesley yeah. and I have been talking about like out, out in these waves, entry into the wave. If you're above yeah. the water, like your board moves really well. Right. You pop up quick, like that's so important. I remember you always telling us like to breathe out really quick yeah. when you're popping up. You know, it's like yeah. stuff like that makes all the difference. Yeah, and and you're, you're we're dealing with two to three foot little waves right here. Here's Corey on the backhand. He's got a pretty lethal backhand. Boom! So wow. nice combo. I like it's two like big turns. You know, nothing like you don't need to do much more. Totally no in between. Little paddle battle here. Looks like Weiler and uh, Moss gonna rub some arms. Gonna go there. Hey, wow. that was sick. Stomperton Beach. It's a stacked heat. Well, everyone's executing so far so good. Everyone's got a score besides Owen Moss. He's going to hold priority, though. Sometimes yeah. you weigh that option. Like in our heat, it was kind of like everyone seemed pretty hungry, and yeah. I just went on a small wave. I was like, you know what? Maybe they'll out-battle themselves. Right. You know, and they so kind of did that, honestly. You, yeah, I actually kind of blew it. I could have been in a little better position when the set did come, but so. in hindsight, it's just like, you have to make those decisions, yeah. right? I always usually like getting the first wave of the heat. And, uh, yeah, no, keep going. Yeah, I mean, getting, like, the first wave of the heat is usually good. And then, but then sometimes, like, it kind of comes back to bite you because then the guy who waited will get a better wave. But Wow, so everyone is executing. Owen gets a bigger wave. Nice maneuver there. We're going to throw it down with last heat winner, Keanu Igarashi. you got Simpo and Cole Hauschman here. Congratulations, buddy. Yeah, What's Keanu? up, gentlemen? Yeah, Good dude. job. Good job. That was a stacked heat. That was a super exciting back-and-forth exchange. Found yourself with close-to-pocket sixes. And uh, look at you on the glass right here, making some heats. How's it feel? Love it. It's Feels good behind this right here. <laughs> yeah, that's that's right. Yeah. So uh, what's under the feet, everyone? You know, what are you riding today? Uh, I just picked up this uh, Dark Arts Sharp Eye uh, Storms uh, Five Eight. Love this thing. Perfect for you know my backyard. Are you in a short arm long or short leg long arm? You got free them dogs, you know. Wow, <laughs> I love it, dude. It is spring. Yeah. But uh, congratulations. Enjoy the Ra Layright Deluxe box. Hey, any shout outs to the homies? Of course, my my mom, my dad, my girlfriend McKenna, um, my brother over in uh, Australia is cheering me on every heat. Um, I like the big shout out for my uh, my trainer, Paul, at Surf Ready Fitness. So everybody just here supporting me. Love you guys, thank yeah. you. Well, great job, Good keep job, the Kara. work up. You're into the round of 32, rest up, and uh, we'll see you possibly tomorrow. Thank you guys. All right, buddy. Wow, Cade Matson. I mean, he got a nut. He got an eight one seven. He's just guys going out of body right now. Outer body experience. Everyone's got scores, Cole. Wow, this is a stacked heat. Everyone's sure. got a score. This is hair dry. It's an extra point five to pull an air with your hair, dude. That's impressive. Probably keeps the hair out of the face while it's dry. Honestly. It looks all formed out. He's got a little fro going. All right, here's Cade. Big Man. first turn buckets. Oh Sit two turns. That's all you need. All you wow, need. that was. And he's a probably, I don't even think he's riding epoxy. He's just on the shortboard. It's pretty crazy. And and I think we always battle with this. Like, we were just talking, but Simo is a firm believer in, like, just your normal board, a lot of drive. You know, it. it's still you got to carry down the line, but you th yeah. you have a mixed mix review because everyone, you see a lot of guys on these, you know, um, what do they call them? The like dark arts. Dark arts, or, arts yeah. epoxies. Right. Yeah, it's a, everyone kind of has their own little thing that works for them. You know, I grew up riding epoxies when it was small, and uh, so I just grew to like them. But other guys, you know, had a few bad experiences, or they just never really liked them. And it's yeah, so what's like, your normal shortboard? My normal shortboard is like six one and a half, around thirty two and a half liters, yep. al almost thirty three. Yeah. And then uh, how how wide? I think nineteen and a half. Yeah. And that's kind of um, similar to yeah what I ride. It's not super wide, but. Uh, and it's like two and a half thick. And, I mean, and you're six two, six three. Yeah, I'm six three. Yeah, two hundred five yeah, to ten and pounds. And that old theory of of you know, as you get taller, like when you're younger, it's cool to be like, hey, you ride a couple inches bigger. Right. But now you get six three. It's like you can't go six five. Exactly. It I won't kinda, fit in the yeah. face. I found that like with six two is kind of borderline. If it's just like average waves, I yeah. can't go like six one and a half is like that magic number. It's like. 
if the waves are getting pumping lowers or something. Yeah, then you'll whip out like a little bit bigger board. But at the end of the day, it's like, you're right. When you get to a certain height, you can't just like, when I was younger, I used to ride an inch bigger. Yeah. Like that was my shortboard, but I'm not, I can't ride a 6'4", you know? <laughs> like. No, for so sure. You could. You could. You could, for but sure. But it's. That's when it, it even starts looking long and then it, it's, it uh, allows, it'll catch you. Yeah, but, exactly. And you if know. you go vert and come down, you just have more room to catch the yeah. nose, catch edges. Where the six ones like still looks good on the feet and it feels like, you know, you're not gonna catch, you can kinda whip it around but And as long as it doesn't you know, I'm not I'm not I'm a big proponent. I don't like when boards look too short. Yeah, I'm and I'm sure you yeah. feel the same way. Yeah. Well Cade's normal short board's like around a six oh and a half and yeah. he's like almost six three as well. Yeah. So And it comes uh, down to styles. As yeah. long as you you know, if you have a wider stance you have to like kinda manipulate that but it's all where you stand on your board if it's going to go or not anyway. Yeah, <laughs> you definitely. Know? So, Cade Matson with 15 points, 817-683. Owen Moss starts with a 5.10. Corey Armbidi, 5.83. Luke Weiler, 5.33. So, it's going to be this, a battle of backups. This is. I mean, it looks like first is kind of signed, sealed, delivered. Yeah, Cade's and then 15 it's, points. It's, it's going to come down to – oh, so these are goggles. These goggles – they mess around with your up and down, and you have to try to hit it. Dude, you have to I put might your, have to go try this. You have to put your head really <laughs> on like like a swivel. Really? And kind of just remember where the yeah. where it is. You don't almost want to throw it. You just want to. Wow, it's almost like crazy. darts. Yeah. That's sick. I'm going to go down there. It's after pretty this. fun. <laughs> I had the Groms down here yesterday. There were Dude, it's a perfect place to come hang out. Swag. Getting yeah. so much gear. Look at that shot. We're a, we're a pelican right now. That's really cool. Sick. Remember the sandbar like a couple, like a month or two ago, was out past the pier. Yeah. It was crazy. And it well, was like head high. If it gets, yeah, I was telling Wellesley, if it gets three to four foot, the other day we had a 10 foot wind swell and it was breaking like way out it's beyond crazy. it. So this, yeah. there's so much sand. It's pretty rad. It's like our only little sandbar. Here's some lumps. Like that, you, that typically going from right to left is kind of yeah. wind swell. You want the waves that are kind of coming from the left to right, but this set might be big enough. Here we go. Corey, first prowl right here. Give us a call right here. Up and over. That was a tricky section. Dang. So Did well. The wave just kind of went a little soft and finished it right here. Better but wave, though. I think they'll like that. Yeah. Like the first click and those two turns were combined together nicely. Yeah. His backhand's really polished. Yeah. Like, uh, growing up, he was like, he's a bit older than me, but when I first started in the QS, he was like, the guy to beat, you know, yeah. like, uh, you're like, oh, I got Corey in my heat. This is gnarly. And it's like, he's still ripping. So it's sick to see. It's like pocket sixes for sure. You ain't, you ain't going to beat him without having some Yeah, scores. I had a heat in Santa Cruz with him and him and Griffin. Yeah. And he dropped like 14 points and I was coming behind the eight ball and I, I got him in the end, but it was like okay. right off you the gate. Like you're like, yeah. like he's dropping eight still. Yeah. And it's, it's sick. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, look, hometown Ventura, Corey's been doing this for a while. Right hand points, his backhand, as we just said, is pretty tack sharp. He's got this board he's riding is glass on fins. No way. Yeah, he had it. I've yesterday. never, uh, I've had glass ons, I guess, when I was like my first short board, maybe, but. It's probably nowadays a shaper glasser nightmare. Not necessarily yeah. a shaper, but a glasser nightmare. Well, did you ever travel with glass yeah. on fins? How does that work? My first few years, we had these big foam fin boxes. You could say now you bring six boards. Yeah. You would bring like three. Crazy. And you have to go top, bottom, and just lay them on top. You'd lose them. They'd bust off, dude. Wow, it's that's insane. Pretty sketch. But uh, there it is, 6.4. Wow. So yeah. jumps into second. That leaves Weiler needing a 6.90, and Owen Moss needs a 7.13. It's crazy. These heats go by quick. They're 20 know? minutes is yeah, a lot 20, of time. Yeah, it's not a lot of time. You look back at the clock, you're like, okay, it's 10 minutes you know, left. Yeah, our heat was like... I'm sitting there and like caught a little wave. I look back and there's like 12 minutes. on. Like, what? Yeah. Well, I was like, I, I went on a four and I was like kind of like stoked. That I went yeah, on it. I was it smart. The the yeah. I, I was like thinking so like, should I go on it? But I just didn't think it was the wave. And there was a couple waves in hindsight and that heat probably were better than the wave I picked, but. But not really. Honestly, it was, it was yeah. So it's hard. It's hard. That's, I don't know. It's hard in those positions. Hindsight's 20-20. Yeah, you know, always. You're like. That's what my dad always told me. He was like, hindsight's 20-20. You know, yeah. you either, you wait for the next one, but maybe there's not a next one. Yeah, or you yeah. go on the first one, and then it happens to be a second one. So it's like, you can't beat yourself up too much. Yeah. And you see it a lot. Like, yeah. someone lets a guy go late, didn't think it's going to be the score, gets the score. Yeah. Or goes, holds them off, does the right thing, waves behind it. Yeah. You know, it's just. 
can only control so much is your 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 decision making, wave selection, and then how you perform. Yeah. Other than that, it's like man, it's a lot to do with the ocean. You yeah. Know? It's a pretty crazy sport we got going. <laughs> it's tough, and you got to stay mentally sound. It's you know, like yourself, you go through, you know, you might go through a little patch, a rough patch of yeah. a, a few events where it doesn't all come together and then boom, it clicks. Yeah. No, and you're crazy. over in Dominican and you're just in form. Yeah. You know, and then it just carries over. Well, it's weird. Like the last year on the Challengers, I kind of was struggling a bit. You know, I wasn't, I was losing first heat a lot and it was like, kind of like, you're like, what's it feel like to make a heat? Yeah. But you then start like, to question yourself. Yeah, it's crazy. And then like, here we go. So, oh, an important wave here. Nice carve. Draws it again. So getting rail surfing right here. So well surfed. Puts it on rail. Yeah. Well surfed wave. He's looking for a, you know, a 7.13, which is a pretty Ooh. solid score right now. What's Weiler going to do? Going to go to the air again. Pops a nice reverse right there. Get up there. And gets a click. So Right out. Get out in front nice. of that bad boy. It's wow, going to be interesting was... to see where they go with that. Yeah. yeah. So maybe not the most critical of a section. Yeah. You know, a little a crumble. Flat, yeah. yeah. So let's see. Nice carve opens up the hips. He did a good job to put his board on a rail for how small the wave was. Yeah, he surfed the yeah. small wave like it was like a big wave. Yeah, he put it on rail. It was sick. And then this one found the corner, clicks it off that little crumble. But like we said, little. Yeah. But that was really done. You see the footwork? Yeah. Had to To get back, back up there is really hard. Yeah. You know, he did a good job to finish it, too. So So that's icing on the cake right there for Weiler. So these guys putting the judges to work. Let's see. They dropped on 5-5. Five, five. Yeah, they went 5-5. Five, five. So helps his cause. Now he needs a 6-7-3. And still waiting for Weilers to come in, needing the 6.9. But, uh, yeah, as we were saying, the Vendor Village, we got, you know, the presenting sponsor, Hydro Flask. We got Salty Crew, Rivia, Hurley, FCS, Pizel, Excel, Monero Wetsuits, Costa, Sunbum, O'Neill, Vans, Ava Brand, GoPro, Nixon, Super 73, Billabong. If you're spending your spring break at home, get your butts down here. It's you a got, beautiful that's day. All the good guys right there. There's so. yeah, and there's more. Yeah. I think that I truly do think there's some more, you know, but it's pretty cool to see the event set up getting bigger and bigger every it's year. It's fun, right? Yeah. I think it's like grassrootsy but also just very inclusive of all the brands and Jax does an amazing job. So yeah. thank you to Ronnie, Bobby, Jamal. Yeah, thank you guys. It's uh you guys are sick setup. They're crushing it. They're doing a great job. And I know even you know, it's been a rough winter. Oh, a yeah. lot of rain. I'm sure business isn't, hasn't been fully booming. So, yeah. oh. wow, that was cool. Fast. Got some twang off that thing. He got some spin for sure. So, why are there 4.83? Yeah, didn't they like didn't it. like it. Sometimes it's just like the wave, you know? Like, yeah. You can't, like, that section just didn't really come at him. It almost seemed like it would have been better to just do, like, a big speed blast. Yeah. Finger. You know, t it's sometimes in these waves, it is. No, for sure. Sometimes a big turn can better than a like, like a, a cheese little whiz kind of yeah. air yeah. even though so not that that was like cheese yeah. whiz but it was more like they they're trying it wasn't off an end section yeah just the section was soft for him yeah it didn't let him like kind of push back it's a little easier yeah to do and at this level they're looking for that like who can kind of get up and get down yeah. So that last score of Owen even goes a little better, 5-7-3. Yeah. No, so he's so helping his cause. Slowly but surely, 3-30 remaining. He needs a 6-5 now, and Weiler still needs a 6-9-0. Oh. Fourth prio. He's going to need a – he might have to go south. He might have to go to freaking Machado Peak. I don't know. There's not much over there. Those waves are super dribbly. Yeah. It's still the, It's still the best waves right here. I just was like, our heat was – it was threes and twos, and you had a six and a four. I'm like, okay, so maybe battle for a second. I didn't want to, like, battle too hard. I'm like, yeah. I'm just going to go down here. And well, all my waves I went on, I was like, oh, maybe I'll just go. And then it just – luckily, it, it kind of went flat, so the waves worked out. But uh, Your first your first wave was nice where you, like, tight and pockety. And even then, it was just like I was just trying not to fall because it was like <laughs> first wave of the heat. You're like, don't know how many opportunities you get. Yeah. Uh, yeah. For it's crazy. Sure. No matter 1,000 or 10,000, it's like first heats are nervous. You know? I think if you don't get the jitters, it's over. Yeah. Like your – not your career, but it's <laughs> like you you definitely lost the love. Yeah. The the passion. Not I, the, pa the yeah. passion. I think it's sick. You know, I think – I used to like 
be like, oh, I got to take the pressure off, you know, like, don't be nervous. No, but, you need it. Embrace it. Yeah, it's like the last couple of months I've been like, the pressure is good. Like, performing under pressure is almost better. Dude, it's, and it's what it's, it's all about. It's more fun. And if it was easy, everyone being nervous would do it. is like, you're supposed to be nervous, you know? It's like, so I think I was trying to push that away. And the last couple of months I've kind of learned to like embrace it. And, yeah. you know, I love performing under pressure or in front of people. So it's kind of like a, a win win situation. Yeah, I, I'm sure. Where do you get a lot of your motivation? Do you look? Do you watch a lot of other sports? Do you, you know, where? What is? Um, I guess maybe what's your other favorite sport besides surfing? I kind of dabble in everything. You yeah. know, I I love playing golf. Yeah. Um, That's a mental battle. Yeah, it's a good mental battle. You know, Kelly talks about it a lot. So play golf with all the boys and. Uh, Similar in a way because it might be like a heat where you have one good wave and then you have a in golf you have a couple bad shots that yeah okay I got to regroup yeah in a heat too like you might have a couple bad waves or decisions and guess what you got to regroup definitely yeah it's a lot of the same you know a lot of sports you can kind of translate the mental side of things a lot but uh, yeah I fish golf you know play soccer throw the football around it's like you know, life's too short to not try everything or have yeah, fun, you know. I I've agree. been uh, doing a lot of jiu-jitsu, jiu-jitsu and uh, boxing lately with uh, Adam at Fight Strong. So, I mean, it's, uh, yeah, it's kind of cool. And I watch a lot of surfing, you know, yeah. whether it's, like, the QS comps or the CT. and uh, In between. Yeah, it's just, like, um, staying psyched on surfing and watching all the edits of the boys and whatnot. But, yeah, I think it's good to do that and then also take your mind off stuff and yeah. do what you think's fun 100 percent. so 40 seconds remaining and we're still Cade Matson in the lead Corey Arambidi in second fourth play or in third is Owen Moss looking for the 6.5 and Weiler looking for the 6.9 30 seconds to go yeah not much on there's a little south wave coming down in right there? there it looks like weiler, weiler maybe over there something. sometimes there's the odd like against the grain windswell left yeah i saw those earlier but little kate, risky. yeah kate only caught two waves to see a lot of guys only caught two or three He's waves you dialed know? in the first exchange kind of was a little flurry and then it kind of went soft don't after step that. on a stingray kid all right, well, we're counting this one down. Congratulations, Kate Matz and Corey Arambidi advancing on to the round of 32. We're going to take a short break, and we'll be back with the final heat of round of 64. Welcome to the Pacific Northwest. This wild, rugged, sandy landscape is littered with miles of empty beaches, heavy water, and just breathtaking natural beauty. I think it's gotta be one of the most amazing stretches of coastline that I've had the pleasure of exploring. I just woke up to this magical land. There's no time for these interviews right now. Yeah! <laughs> Beautiful Huntington Beach, California, the Jax Pro Qualifier Series 3000 presented by Hydro Flash. Here we go, round of 64, final heat, Jet Schilling in red, Tao Rodriguez in blue, David O'Keefe in white, and Peter Stewart in green. What do you know about Jet Schilling? Um, I know a lot about Jet Schilling. The guy is one of my best friends, and here he is. The boys are getting started early in their heats. I love it. Just... Bang. In his sleep. That was sick. What's he riding? A little sharp eye. Oh, there it is. 6.0. 6.0. Yeah, Jet's a, Jet's a fireball. He's a little ripper. Was he a free agent? Uh, it didn't look like he had a sticker look on like his board. He had any stickers. I'm not wow. saying anything, but there's no <laughs> sticker on his board. So. Rumorville? We'll see. Look at that little area. It like It's like a little trench right there. Shallow a, to deep. That's kind of scary. Unless it's a bait ball. 
Might be a bait ball. <laughs> All right, so Jet gets a 6.0. Everyone else is uh, going to wait for the next set. Start's really important out here. You know, first, so much. Getting it's, that first wave, you know. Yeah, and capitalizing. If you get even like a four, five, six, it, you know, you go to six plus, you're kind of. Yeah, it's solid. Like smooth sailing. Here we go. A little sniff. Kind of sniff around fourth pile. You know. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. Like, if if you distance yourself, make someone, you never know, you make someone go on a wave. Yeah, you, you kind of the pressure do whatever on. you want. Someone's looking from deep. They might chip in. Looks like O'Keefe and Ader. Blast Man. it right there. So speed blast for O'Keefe. Wow, and that another. was a sick wave. Let's the see that front drone angle. Some spray right Sometimes there. the front angle is like the waves looking yeah, bigger. It's hard to tell with the drone, but the uh, big look like two big turns right big there. Pivot pops, huh? Newport I heard Beach. He's only been surfing for a couple years. Yeah, he huh? hasn't been surfing that long. He surfs eight hours a day, though. I'll tell you what, though. Yeah, every event uh, we've been to, he's surfed more than anyone else. So look at that size of that wave. Boom. Oh, so a little click drift. up and over. Water still falling. And another. another. That's a solid score. Got a fire hose on oh, that thing. Oh, it's dropping already. It's wow. Close to, it's going to be close to Jets. But yeah, he surfs on the QS more than anyone I think I've seen this last couple of months. So it's, uh, he's, he's in a the water cool a kid, yeah. yeah. A nice kid. Man. Yeah. He's a, he's a hard worker. Doesn't, you know, he's just puts his head down learning. Here's a little south set coming in. So that came in at 583 for him. That was okay. a solid start. Yeah. Kind of rivals Jet. Yeah. Great start. So look at this bank. We have the That's trippiest crazy, little yeah. bank. Davey's sniffing Dude, something a little out. double up. He might go run run down the line right here, a little west wind swell. So clicks Bang. a speed float. Whoa. And another reverse. So sick. That was little sick. combo. It, those waves kind of go out to sea, but if you catch up to them, they kind of come back at you, it Definitely seems like. a little more like front hand friendly. Yeah. Like kind of. Yeah, like backside would be tough. but He did a little speed float and then the spinner. That was sick. But even if he puts a little four, four, five on the board, He's in double digits. See, now it's like you can kind of cruise and, like, let everyone else get their waves and there wait for is. something better. 4.5. Good start. I mean, five, five minutes in the heat. You yeah. know, 10.3. I would have died for that. There's Linnea Mons. All the and girls are Bailey coming up Turner. next. Bailey so. Turner. Is that Zion Walla? Ava Wagster? Are they girls? The next yeah. gen. I think they got four. So we got yeah, four heats. We're going to do four heats. We're actually finishing early today, Cole. 2.40 finish, probably a little thereafter, which is uh, that's nice. Yeah, let us rest up for tomorrow. I'm going to go watch the kids this afternoon, Friday Night Lights. Friday Night Lights. I've been coaching, dude. It's a nice. Oh, no it's way. Tough. That's sick. It's tough. It's cool being a dad. Huh? It's so good. Yeah. It's so much fun. Yeah, the kids start getting into the little sports. and it's So it's, sick. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. So 14 minutes, 50 seconds. Tau. And Peter Stewart looking for a wave. Yeah, uh, there's Jet and Tao kind of sitting. You got Peter over to the right. That would be your north. A little bit closer to the pier. Does it start breaking way out there on the low tide? It does. Yeah, it'll like chip and back off. You, you almost don't, you don't want those waves really. You want yeah. the ones that just miss, right. have a little more energy. And Definitely. typically, like we were saying earlier, the ones that are coming from left to right with more south angle, yeah, the ones coming from right to left, that's that wind swell, and they all of a sudden you see it, it shows face out there, and then it yeah just disappears. So Beach Marshal Randy Gilkerson dialing everybody in helps you know create all these events, put these scaffoldings up. You got Rock and Fig in the back there. Yeah. We miss you, Fig. Rest in peace. 13 minutes, 50 seconds. Come on, let's get a little Cade Matson interview here. I know. I'm sure Where he's he getting at? clicked up. He's probably getting clicked up on the board. <laughs> he's going to be on the glass. Let's get a couple waves coming through, too. I know. So back to a couple of your favorite surfers growing up. Oh, yeah. Keep, up. That one keeps uh, – It's haunting you. Or I'm haunting I don't, you. So I don't know. There's a I don't know. Kalani Rob. It could be Machado. It could be yeah, who's I, the Medinas. I kind of watched a lot of everyone, you know. Um, you're 22, so yeah. you're kind of in that era of uh, who Medina. Yeah, I've, I'm a big Medina fan. Yeah. Like uh, ever since I was a kid, I was a big Medina fan. And then, uh, you know, 
old school like uh, Bobby Martinez was sick, and go. then Kelly was like my idol growing up. So I mean, all like the old school tour, you know. Like would you Andy. watch? Would you watch it in reverse? Like would I'd you flip it. Yeah, I'd flip it and put it in reverse, or put my computer in the mirror so I could watch them in reverse. But all uh, right, we're gonna send it, it down. Hold the Kate phone. Madsen. We're gonna send it down to another big SC bad boy. Two percent up and riding actually hold the phone real quick kate matson we got jet shilling up and riding chipping across the inside Bang, jams it right sick. there first so left i've seen in a while it's kind of a two percent takeover the kate boys. matson you there yeah boys are on fire yeah Kato. buddy <laughs> hey two wham bam thank you ma'am done yeah that I was mean, a nice heat that's all you need two waves Right? Try to, yeah, try to be smart. Hammer. <laughs> Don't overthink it and underperform. Exactly. <laughs> Just go out there and find the good ones. It's easy. It's, it's easy. easy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've never lost a heat behind the freaking lens over here. Yeah. But yep. um, congratulations. What? Hey, give us a little. We were. I got Cole Hauschman in here. I got a Hauschman. question for him. Yeah. Cole's got a question for you. So um, Crosby asked me the same thing, but I was just kind of wondering, what's like your uh, – you know, the night before the comp, kind of what's like your, you getting rest before bed or what's your, what was your plans? Like, what did you do last night, you know? Yeah, you know, early night we, uh, we watched a little, the Crane Brain movie, it was sick and, uh, yeah, cruised with the boys and then went to sleep, woke up, surfed the heat. Early night, easy. my boy. Early night, you know. I saw, <laughs> I had a, I saw had some early night festivities too. going on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Boys, it's take this thing boys serious. got a couple wins. Yeah, it was a fun time <laughs> with all the good. boys. Well, it worked out. You went hammer yeah. mode. <laughs> couple 15 point heat totals no biggie yeah mellow. but uh let, you got your equipment around what were you riding um yeah i got a 60 sub driver round tail they actually didn't show up till this morning because the airlines lost them so i'm definitely stoked i got my boards it was the barbados bandits yeah yeah i was i was pretty <laughs> rattled for a little bit well <laughs> good job any shout outs yeah shout out two percent <laughs> all right good job brother yeah, kid, good job. keep it up appreciate it well, big bad Cade Matson hammering his way through to the round of 32. It looked like a festive night last night. The boys had some fun. Yeah. Early night, though, you know. Yeah. You got to focus well, for the comp. <laughs> I don't want no Grubhub at 3 a.m. with the pizza. <laughs> no, well, good times. So. 10 minutes, 30 seconds to go. Tao and Peter are like, where the heck are the waves? Yeah, crazy. It looks like they're moving over. It's a shifty McVeigh over here. Might be here. like the heat where it kind of shifts. You got to move. You know? Yeah. Adapt. I thought our heat was that, and that's kind of why it, I was like, oh, I'm yeah. just going to do it. Might as well just You go know when for you're it. like you in commit. between? Yeah. yeah. You can't be in between. Yeah, you can't you're sit like, in the middle. You can sit in this little rib tight. It's yeah. a deep hole, shallow over here. Like I was like, I'll just let Simpa test it out. Yeah. And if he gets a six <laughs> or something, water. I'm, I'm straight over there. But I was hoping like those guys didn't get scores, and then you sat on them for What, me. did Jack go 817? <laughs> Wow, that? that was his left hand. Oh, hand. no, this might be uh, the last seat. I'm this a little is, confused. This is the last seat. I think the score is on there. Is um, it? It is. Yeah, You're that, correct. So we got a little tangle up. With Jet's last left was a 5.1. Sick. So 5.1 for Jet. We got the Hydro Flask booth. You click in there, I think you can find – oh, hey – it's not like a, uh, it's not a plastic cup. It's a metal, metal. so it's just pinging around. Wow. wow, Jedi, just feeling the flow I right here. It. So that there board go, looks, Jet. that Sick. board looks super nice. Yeah, I think that might be his little magic. It's always board. the board, not the surfer. <laughs> just Jets, Jets, as fast as they get. Yeah, yeah, he rips. He's pinballing around right there. I, I gotta watch him to get faster. <laughs> yeah, well, you can't, you know, you take a little stuff from and. it. Good flow. Dude, They're going to like sick. that. Yeah. yeah, that board's just scooting across. It does look kind of clear up top, so I'm a little – I'm wondering there. But um, we we'll might have to get some answers after this if he wins this heat. Inside scoop. <laughs> Is he making a statement heading into the Challenger Series season? But, uh, yeah, it looks like the fellas are going to make their way over. be interesting. The ladies up next, if they're – you got to be paying attention right now. If you're not paying attention, oh, you might yeah. make the wrong decision. Next thing you know, you're in the trench. Yeah, it's in that weird tide switch right now where, you, you know, it could shift peaks. Um, but, yeah, you'll see you got to keep an eye on it. And like you said, commit. Commit, it's, yeah. It's uh, no, can't really second guess. You how know? many heats have you had where you're, like, you're in between and you don't make a decision and you're just and like. And it never works out. <laughs> it never works out. You're like, yeah. ah, ah, ah. Yeah. Should have went one way and I went the other. It's tricky. 
because sometimes you're that heat where you're like, I was going to sit here, but then guys are there. and I, I'm like, going to go over there. But then you don't come in. It's just like. In between. Yeah. Oh, it's heartbreaking. It's so tough, many for heats sure. like that. Yeah. Happens all the time. Well, Jed gets a 6-2-3 on the backhand. So he's well out in front. He's got the 12.23 total right now. That's a, that's a pretty style. It's a solid total, yeah. Uh, Tao and Peter still searching, and Davey has the backup, so he's in double that's digits. Crazy. Looks like Jet's up on another one. It's kind of I a little where these other guys over are there. At. Wow. Yeah, so he's just staying rhythm surfer right now. Because he's getting these waves under Pryo, and the other guys haven't, you know, got much. He's I wonder if they're kind of battling it out. Maybe. He's far over to the south yeah. now, because by the way the camera's kind of angling. He's pushing the limits of Tower 3, kind of out of the zone. Well, surfing in the zone, but then maybe yeah. going on its way out. That bank opens up. Got so much speed off that floater. Boom, Sick. nice turn there. And then this one goes a little bit soft, but hey, I'm sure he just wants to surf. It's not going to help his cause, but he's getting a 5.13. Yeah, just riding waves. So it looks there like Tao. Yeah, at some point you just got to commit to get two waves, you know, just yeah, ride something. I, you waited 13 and a half yeah. minutes. So we'll get a replay on that, see what Tao got done at the beginning. Sometimes it's almost better just sticking your gun, waiting it out, you know, rather than like waiting I agree, waiting like, going like, Kate, on. like exactly what he said. I'm, yeah. I'm just going to get two waves. So Tao looks like this wave is a little wind swell, a little more busy work. Yeah. You know, knee high, but he's staying with it. He's groveling this thing and... Hey, took it all the way. He did everything he could yeah. to muster. We'll see what that score comes in. But, hey, it'll help his cause. He might need a six now. Yeah. You know? I think he just kind of wanted to ride something and get a score on the board. So. Yeah, because he waits any longer. He's in combo. Yeah, combo. you got to, like, start, get going at some point. So So he gets a 3.7. Now it's down to one wave. So. Yeah, now he needs a 6.63. And uh, Peter Stewart, it uh, looks like he might have popped up and jumped out 0.5. It's a bummer for. I mean, there's still five minutes left. You've seen the last like couple of heats. It's flurries. You know, it's like it's uh, heat on, heat off. A lot. Yeah. I mean, Jet kind of started this one off in a flurry. Yeah. But that's the thing. You could be when it's somewhat peaky like this. It almost can be harder. Where yeah, it's the waves are better, but you could be really out of rhythm. Right. But you don't want to think that. Something, yeah. I mean, that's like one of the. It's a little shallow bank out there. We have these little kind of. Mushroom banks. We had a huge wind swell, and it's kind of shallow, deep, shallow. Jet might – oh, that left, low road. Let's see. Green might have a little right. So nice turn there for Peter. So up it was a good out. first turn. The wave yeah. just kind of died out on him. And look at Tao. He has an oncoming ramp. What's Go he going to do? Oh, that was Throws sick. it to the sky. I don't know if that's a completion. That's up butter. to the judges. <laughs> if I was him, I'd be like, yeah, that was amazing. For sure. <laughs> You're selling it as much yeah. as you can. But uh, Let's that was see. sick to get that wave. You know, you know, the little bit of the bummer was like, gosh, you got some torque out of it. You got some yeah. tail high. He's there. He's petting the kitty, but then the oh, nose just yeah. digs. Sometimes it's almost better to not pet the kitty because then they think, it like, they know like, you don't, you're not in it. Try you know? to turn but. out. Jet might be out of it. Which way is he going to go? Look at this wave. Bang. Mm. That bank's kind of turning on over there. Wow. wow. We might go nine points. That was solid. He's looking on. So nice way for the Jedi. Watch out, Challenger Series. Jet's coming for you. Yeah, he looks fired up. Yeah, he looks he's like he good. has a little bit more energy in his legs. He's getting stronger. He's getting bigger. Yeah, he's getting bigger. This but was a sick wave. So big snap there. Throwing spray. And another. Is that going excellent I for think sure? We're, it's a body bag. Definitely excellent. Right? I mean, comparative to, like, look at the last heat. I mean, we the judges kind of judge heat to there heat, is, but there yeah. it is. Yeah. 8.33. You had one Body nine. Bag. One nine. You had two eight fives and a couple eights. Yeah. There was the Layright booth. Layright Deluxe. They're doing handing out. Uh, you got your fitty spot, right? <laughs> Don't go spend that all too quick. I'm going to go take that thing to Ipono Cafe right <laughs> oh, now with the there boys. there you go. How good's Ipono? It's so good. Culinary gangster. I'm going to go there, I think, every day. This It's so good. Yeah. It's my favorite. The f I love the spicy bowl, spicy plate. I haven't tried it at all. I go there, and I love it so much that 
I don't even want to try anything else. Yeah, I, I don't want to like be time. let down, but I know I won't. But I'm just like, I love that. It's yeah, it's so good. All right, here's the here's the ride. If you're just tuning in, excellent score. Jet Chilling, eight point three three combination wow. platter. That was sick. Uh, and we had a judge go to a nine, which I thought, yeah, you know, I comparative mean, like maybe Cade's wave, he got an eight one. It is heat just, to heat, yeah. different heat. You know, you really I was gotta, going nine too. Yeah, maybe just because the finish was a bit like uh, it was a little like there lack, wasn't anything luster. coming back at him. But yeah, they love when the wave comes together. They Boom. love the finish. Yeah, yeah. if you kind of have a soft finish, it's a little tricky. But it almost feel it makes them feel like they get left kind of. Here's Peter Stewart. Nice Dang. snap there in the pocket. So he might double up. I'm not. I don't know much about Peter, but he's got a good little style on the back end. Yeah, he's sick. I uh, met him in the Dominican Republic, okay. and he's, he's a cool kid. Awesome. I haven't seen him surf much, but and here Tao he goes. spins one, so complete there. You there. Go, right out of that one. And if you look, his previous 1.5, yeah. so no complete. This one is complete. It's maybe gonna put a little, him back in the heat. Maybe a little smaller wave, but still, he's got some pop on yeah. his legs. And he's looking for a seven, or no. He's looking for a – he got to 417 on that, now needs a 6.16. Peter Stewart needs a 7.30. So we're we're counting this one down, 1 minute 40 seconds. But uh, no short of, shortage of action. I feel like there's almost more waves now. Maybe they're not as good, but Jet found a gem. Yeah, What's this left going to do? Oh, he baits in Davey. Uh oh, this so is the first could this be a win? Right so Davey pocket jam, and another. I mean, he ripped it. Better trying to better four or five. Yeah, it's gonna be it's Kinda gonna be a tricky. The wave was small, but he, I mean, he did as much as he could on that wave. Held uh, blue off, needs a six point one six. This has definitely been the most consistent heat for waves in the last half right here. Yeah. So one minute remaining. Last of Davey, 4.20. Doesn't it? Doesn't uh, it? Doesn't change the situation, but he definitely he did hold blue off this yeah, wave. Yeah, that was actually a smart move because Tao could have went to the air right he there. Might and have you never know. that thing, huh? So, and that's one other thing. Maybe he would have, you know, said, "Oh, this wave wasn't good," and then Tao went and got the score, and he would have oh, been. Oh, you had been heartbreak. City. Yeah. So I mean, you kind of just gotta go. It was like a minute and a half, two yeah. minutes left. I think anything under two minutes, you gotta just gotta go. Roll the dice. Yeah. Yeah, it's so far so good. He does see something. Tao's in third oh. priority. It looks like O'Keefe, he has priority over O'Keefe. I don't know if this wave's going to chip up. 15 seconds. Yeah, this what guy in is the on world? a heater. Where are these waves he's at? at? Lower trestles. Wow. So he's got another snowman. He's fired up. Oh, he went for it. I like it. I like it. So we're counting this one down. Call three, oh, is two, he up? and one. He's up. I'll see. Oh, we're staying with Davey, but we're gonna hold, we're gonna ride this thing through. Davey's going left on the backhand. Tao went right. Looked like he might get something off. So this is gonna be an exchange right here. Let's see. see was if, he up in time? I yeah. I mean, maybe. I'm giving it to him. High drama. This guy's down here in a suit. He's giving it a high five. That might be yep. Davey's dad. So blue needed a six one six. I think it, they're gonna count. I him. think it does oh, count. Oh, Jedi seven seven. J Man, Jedi, Jet Shilling, 717 on his last, or 777. That's a jackpot. Jackpot. You Let's go to lose. the casino tonight. You can't lose with that number. <laughs> um, we're going to wait. We got a score coming in for Blue. I don't know if we got a replay, but it looked like he might have been on to a decent right hander. If it was anything in the realm of what Jet got over there, who knows? They're thinking about it. Oh, uh, there it is. Score is coming. It's not going to be enough. There it is, 483. We're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be back with the action after this.
Welcome back to sunny Huntington Beach. The Jacks Pro presented by Hydro Flask. We just saw Jet Schilling take out the last heat of the day, and we are kicking off the round of 32, heat number one in the water, Sawyer Lindblad, Linnea Mons, Rubiana Brownell, and Samantha Sibley. So a cracker to kick off heat, uh, the round of 32, this heat number one. Um, well, Brett is just about to wrap it up and jump in. So Jet put on a good show, 16.10 total. Clinic. Um, not the highest wave, but maybe the highest heat total. Combined. He had an 8.33 and a 7.77. So highest combined total of the round and of the event. Gnarly. He was on every – he found every good wave. He was so in rhythm. Yeah, the one wave I saw, he just hammered it. Yeah. Hammered it home. Well, now we are. Round of 32. Is yeah, you know, it's weird, Brett. It almost looked like things kind of went into a little northwest wind chippy zone. Yeah, that tide's bottomed out. And it's crazy because even the south sets now that were breaking good further kind of over toward further the pier, north, yeah, are a little gone because it's too shallow and it loses its steam. Right. So it's hitting a little V out the back and kind of it's, it's drawing it back exactly. out in on the bank. Exactly. But um, they're still, it looks like everyone's shifted over. It seems like they're riding more waves last heat. Maybe not as 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 uh, punchy and good, but there were still, obviously, we saw big scores. Yeah, so today's an early day. We only go to 240, so these four heats. But tomorrow, kicking off with the women's, wrapping up with the men's at 4 o'clock. So 8 a.m. start with women's and then finishing off with men's at 4. Opening up her campaign, Sawyer Lindblad taking out the North American ratings. Uh, absolute weapon of a surfer. And here we go, White. Brownell on the backhand. Couple backhand slashes and looking for the finish right there. Can she ride out of it cleanly? She does not. So the, good to see the ladies getting uh, a few waves in their score line. All right. So, ladies get in action. We got uh, Mr. Jet Schilling on the glass. He just put on an absolute clinic. It was – hey, Jet, you there? Oh, yeah, yeah I'm here. Yes, buddy. Yeah, hey, buddy. That was like a little T-Street grind-a-thon right uh -huh. there, huh? Oh, yeah, definitely. Was little T-Street right wedges. Felt right at home right there. Hey, you look good. What was that board? What, do you uh, got? what are you on? That's a epoxy sharp eye HC2. Yeah. It's always the board. It's never the surfer. <laughs> I'm just kidding, <laughs> That's bro. That's true. The boards are so damn good. So. Well, you had the highest heat total of the event so far. Put together a great combination. 833, 7.77. Earned yourself a heat win and some Layright Deluxe box. Oh, what? Psyche. Thanks, boys. All right. Well, anyone you want to give a shout out to? Um, Just shout out to everyone. Really grateful to be here and have uh, fun little ways for the comp. So uh, thank you to everyone. It's really grateful. Yeah, well, we're, we're grateful to have you here. Congratulations as well, qualifying for the Challenger Series. You're going to be doing us proud, flying the flag over there in Australia in about three weeks' time. So Yes, sir. Let's good, go, USA. Good job, and uh, enjoy the rest of your day. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow. We're going to have a little bit later today, men, or tomorrow, Appreciate that. men start at 11. So All right, perfect. We'll, we'll Thank see you. you around. I'll see you guys around. Thank you. Have a good one. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, Jet Schilling taking out the wind in heat number 16, moving on into the round of 32, and we are straight into women's action. Brett, this is women's round of 32. Schilling ain't chilling right there in that wow. heat. He wasn't He's chilling. That backhand heat. slam. All right. He, he was on a heater. This is soy sauce. Sawyer Lindblad. Second gen the, surfer. The current... Uh, Challenger Series winner or qualifying series, series winner. North, North American America. qualifying series. Exactly. And that was Rubiana Brownell. Oh, Sam Sibley, Jack's team rider. So everyone's in this exchange right here, Wellesley, except Linnea Mons hasn't gotten going just yet. You know, just on the break, just being out uh, amongst it a minute ago, uh, it's the it is a gorgeous day. I mean when that south wind dies and it heats up it just softens the wind 
and uh, we were we were gifted a, a lovely day. And, it's um, so nice. Come on down. We've got all kinds of stuff. I mean, you've only got uh, mm, three more heats to do it, and I think everybody will pack it up for the day. But, you know, we've got a lot of fantastic brands down on the sand, running activations, giving away free stuff. And, uh, and most importantly, Hydro Flask has got a little uh, ball toss, ball cup toss to win free bottles. And I mean the lifespan of a Hydro Flask bottle is it's years. Oh, it'll last as long as you don't lose it. Refill, not landfill. Right? It yes. It'll last as long until you 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 leave it somewhere. You got to be, yeah, it's important that you take care of them. We got ours right here. These things are amazing. I got this little thinner one. What? It, how many liters is this? But It'll I, tell you right here on the bottom. It's a... Is that like a 16er? 24. But it's the, you could, you know, it's the sucky one. You got a little clip you can... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Couple bangers. So nice wave there for Rubiana Brownell from Costa Rica. Yeah, I like one of my kids. So we use the smaller ones for their uh, backpacks for their lunches. Yeah. And they have like the older lid had this weird little tiny rubber grommet that somehow went down the drain or something and yeah. just randomly like lob their social a thing like, hey, how, how can I get this piece? You know, so I don't have to purchase a whole new bottle. And they came back and sent me a whole new lid. I was like, wow. Hydro mental. Flask, mad props. Thank you. That's how you take, These that's, guys that's rule. How you take care of your people. Yeah. So I that's was epic. super stoked. I was that's like, epic. that was great. Well, it's, uh, I guess that's important. You know, they have very quality product and they're proud of it. And you want to take care of the people. Wow. Couple good turns here. So Rubiana just hammer and nails. We were waiting for that score. First of Green was a 4.40, 4. and Sawyer has pocket fours, a 4.33, 4. 4.1. And if, as you can see, it's such a great view right here. You got these little chips. Is that thing going to break? Yeah, <laughs> barely. <laughs> Second reef. That's so, the mid bar. That would be good on a foil. You would just be <laughs> All the next thing you know, you're in Newport. Yeah, right. Catch a wind swell and you're gone. Yeah, so guy, guys in my house, they ride like from out the back all the way to like the restaurant. And you know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. Up the river mouth. It's yeah. just crazy. So rad. There it is. 5.67 for Rubiana. Good score. I think we're, look how crazy it is where she's sitting where the deep spot is. And you could see from left to right that little shallow run. Like right across, this is like deep, shallow. It's crazy. Yeah, a I lot mean, of. I mean, we've uh, never really had. It's it's definitely different than our typical winter kind of sandbar. Yeah, but that's for sure. It's fun. It's got us some uh, waves in the ocean. If you drive up and down this beach right now, it's fairly hard to surf. And look at this, we got Linnea Mons up and riding on the backhand. I think she's from San. Uh, is it? St. Augustine, Florida, in that area, Jacksonville Beach. Not sure. Let's take a look. What a beautiful zone, though. Yeah. She trains with Asher Nolan. She's been putting in the work. That was her first ride, so we'll wait for those scores. It was incomplete, so don't expect anything. There it is, 1.47. Ten minutes remaining. Where did the time go, Brett? This heat's halfway done. We're actually can't almost it. done in like an hour and a half. Three heats. It's crazy. Wow. I'm just stitching it up right now. I can't uh, get my technology to work. Well, I'm still on an iPhone 4. <laughs> Talk about a stitch up. Does that thing even take updates anymore? <laughs> Dude thing just shuts off if you try to ask it to do too much it just freezes You're right Locked. it just says her page says northeast florida well isn't that northeast i'm pretty sure st augustine if asher you're watching jacksonville beach give us a little rundown yeah Lenea text Mons. simpo let us know what about oh, look at some of her clips any geotags uh, Any photos? What's let's take a look at that one. Sunrise Surf, surf shop. shop. So she's a Sunrise Surf Shop rider. Sam up and down. Wasn't too happy with that one. I mean, that looks, what is that, Jack's That's Pier maybe? Jack's Pier, I think. A 
beautiful Florida morning, sun in your eyes. Yeah, it's just a lot of Sunrise Surf Shop tags, so maybe just out front skis. And there's Monera Booth. Go down there, feel some of that rubber. Look at those. Some nice booties and gloves you could have used in a hood. You needed it this year. Yeah, I mean, uh, so Pete kind of rode off the cold water when he was in here, but he's from Santa Cruz, so he's probably dealing with a degree or well, two even colder. Well, they are saying they have been predicting an El Nino flow of warm water out yeah. there, so I but don't know. He was I'll saying, like, oh, it's not that bad. It's like 55. Which is nothing. He's like, oh, guys are saying it's 52. He's like, nah, it's like 55. Yeah. But what do you think? No, it's not 52. <laughs> 52, you just, your feet go gone. Look at that little slash there for Linnea. It's, it's 55, 56. Okay. I was in a 3-2, and I was, I mean, I'm in a heat. Your adrenaline's up, but I wasn't cold. Yeah, you know what's crazy is like 60 degrees. I'll trunk it now. <laughs> it's, uh, it's like 3-2, no problem. Yeah. Guaranteed. You know? That's like almost like lower 60s. I might go short arm. Quick little surf. So beautiful day here at Surf City Huntington Beach. And uh, there you go. Look at the sun bum activation. Little cornholio. So coach happening. wrote in. Asher oh, let's hear it. Atlantic Beach. Part of Jack's Beach. Is Jack's Pier is our spot, though. Got it. So boom. Thanks, Slasher. Well, and Jacksonville is also super consistent. Oh, dude. They've had a killer little bar. I don't know if it was this year, last year, but it's always got a nice little sandbar. And I think it's, like you said, super consistent. Yeah. I mean, what, the Thompson brothers are from Thompson there? Thompson brothers, yeah. Asher, Gabe Asher, Thing. Asher, Gabe, yeah, Gabe's a hammer. You know, so I'm, is Asher. Many gnarly. more. These guys are gnarly. Many more. Couple uh, bumps. Well, last wave of Linnea, 3.1. So the situation is Rubiana in the lead, Sawyer in second. Sibley needs a 4.06, and Linnea Mons needs a 5.36. So nice little battle here. Hopefully we get these ladies with 6.50 to go. Hopefully we get them a couple other chances here. Yeah, look how shallow it is on that little piece, of, like to the right of your screen. I mean, that's like almost, that's like ankle, ankle deep. Yeah. So much sand. All right, six and a half minutes. This heat is just flying by, and you've got Rubiana out in front with the 5.67 and the 3.67. Uh, the surfers feeling it right now are down in the three and four spot, chasing a 4.06 for Sibley and a 5.36 for Linnea. So they need decent scores, Brett. Yeah. Well, you're in the round of 32. You, you kind of paddle out there expecting, like, hey, most of these athletes are putting up good numbers. Here comes some swell. This looks like a little crazy little combination. You can, yeah, you can just see the combo in it. Whoa, how's that little left? Sawyer says no. It must not – might be closing out. But, um, yeah, what were we saying earlier? Maybe 10 points, 11 points. You're, you're looking in, in good. But then these heats can get away, and it's a battle for second where – you might need a four. If you look at Sibley, she needs a 406. Mo Linnea needs a 5.36. So you just have to really adapt to, like, what the heat – you're hope you're hoping you're in the position where you're in the lead and you get some hammer scores, but that doesn't always happen that easily. Well, somebody could have been on this one. Big roll of the dice, though, to go out there and sit and wait. Probably a lot of stomping. Yeah, that's the thing. They're not really wedging up like we were talking about. Like It's almost the waves that just miss there and hold their energy through. So there's Carver crew. Oh, they hooked us up I've on been, some socks yesterday. I've been riding my board a lot lately. Boom, that was nice. So Sam finds a wave. This could this could do the trick. And uh, she got two decent turns there. Well, Z. Yeah, that was nice. I mean, chasing... Uh, four zero six. I mean, did she get it, Brett? That's that the one the I got. The U.S. Surfing one, the checkered that's one. So fun, the mayhem. I have like sick. a longer mini oh, one that's, Lenny, that's older. Lenny. I have an older one that's kind of like a shorter, mid -length. longer, longer. Like it's like a mid length. It's not like one of the super long ones. Yeah, but it's kind of like in the middle. Dude, and it's proper how formed out you can get. It's that it's that heel toe ankle mobility to like. Get I've up got and an go. alley too. That's a downhill slope oh, with like styling. killer driveways. Oh. Like a little coping, huh? Yeah. Little oh, forehand slams. So Sawyer Lindblad, this looks like a fun little wave. Clicks it. So a little two-turn combo. And then on the backhand, this is Rubiana Brownell. So 
lost her speed. Kind of those rights on the backhand. Front side, you can kind of climb and, and weave a little bit. Backside, it's a little, I feel like it's a little harder to gain speed. You're looking for those west lefts. Yeah. Well, or a Jet Schilling wave. A little more like, yeah. Oh. <laughs> the Jet Schilling, Riley, that was the or Reiki, Nishida. Uh, who else got the one was this the, morning? Uh, Crosby. Cr uh, Crosby and got Cade, one of them. Cade got a Cade couple. Cade got one. Well, they kind of Oh, Tyler Gunter, that's Gunter it. Gunter got a he unicorn. got one that just came at him and just bang, bang, bang. Yeah, so scores coming through. Oh, my goodness. She got a – Sam got a 403. She needed a 406. Heartbreak City. Oh, just ever so close. How does that even happen? It happens. <laughs> well, let's see. <laughs> I mean, what did the judges lot. give her on that one? It Who, went uh, anywhere from a 4.7 to a 3.7. Ooh, that point deficit. But she might be on to something right here, Wellesy. Three judges rebate. went Get a mad. point lower. Get mad. Slashing right there and then gets a little stuck. So that it, I don't think is going to do it. Yeah, two went high, three went low. Average, 4.03. You know what's crazy is Sawyer. What is crazy, Brett? Well, there's times you can have oh, Rubiana. She's in rhythm. So a nice wrap, carve, building that board speed, snaps it again. So that's, she's trying to better a 3.67. Sawyer takes a lead with a 6.5 on her last left. What I was going to say is, I forgot what I was going to say. Okay, that's all right. I'll think about it. In a I second. do that all the time. Two minutes. Just over two minutes. Lindblad up in the lead. Brownell in second if she wants to snatch the lead. Requires a 5 1 7. Sibley with second priority, chasing a near five point ride, a 4 9 5 to be exact. And your priority surfer down in the four spot. Linnea Mons chasing a 6-2-4 to get into an advancing position with a minute 50. She's got to go. Here we go on the backhand. Finding a little rhythm. Snaps it right there. Gets oh. a little stuck. So a little disappointing there for Linnea. I'm sure she's a little frustrated. With a minute 30 to go. So 90 seconds situation is Sawyer in the lead. Rubiana in second. Priority with Green. She needs a 4.95. That's Sam Sibley. Linnea Moans looking for the 6.25. So there's the flagship store, Jack Surfboards. Got a little sidewalk sale going on. It is a beautiful Friday, Easter Friday. Think they got some good sales going on. Time to get out there. We're counting this one down. 30 seconds to go. Oh, come on. Let's see it. Maybe Will some last-minute last, last minute heroics. Well, Green did get a wave. She's looking for a 5.56. We're waiting for a score. It's not looking like it, and we're counting this one down. Looking like Sawyer Lindblad going to win the heat. Rubiana Brownell in second, advancing on into the round of 16. And we will be right back after this commercial break. Stitched different, because comfort is an art form.
Welcome back to the Jax Pro 3000 presented by Hydro Flask. We are into the round of 32. This is heat number two. I am Chad Wells. Next to me, my co-host, Mr. Brett Simpson, also moonlighting as a competitor oh. this week. Spinal bifida, low back, just <laughs> chair back. So in the water, as you can see on your screen, Sarah Frere, Autumn Hayes, Havana Cabrero, Shelby Detmers will be doing battle here. here in heat number two. We have two more heats, and that is a wrap for the day. Here we go. We're going to shut it down at 240. All right. Looks like Autumn Hayes, she looked right, went left, kind of worked out for her. Nice turn there. And then that one kind of disappears. Here goes Sarah Ferrer up and riding. So first wave, little slash right there. S little slash again. And then gets a little love tap on the inside. So I'm not sure if that's her first one. Could be. She's got a 3.5. That This is Havana goes down right there. So a 1.0. And then Shelby looking at this left-hander. Nice car back into the whitewash. Letting this thing develop. Hits it again. And gets the finish. So. That's an easy spot to poke the nose right there. Yeah, I mean, it looked like everybody got a piece in that opening exchange. Look at Tim Mano working his butt off trying to mess up the old priority. Liz. Those are our judges, Patroni, our head judge, our spotter, McCabe, priority the judge. There it is, Shelby Detmers, 3.73. So she has the highest score of the heat right now. And Shelby hails from just uh, down the road, yep. kind of Newport yep. Beach zone. Yeah, surfing out here all the time, I see her. Her this, and her dad, Brett. Yep. I think, uh, you know, looking back on that first exchange, Sarah's wave looked pretty good. She might have been a little bit ahead of herself. And the first two turns were a little bit short. Really would have liked to open that up. A little more twist and wrap. Yeah, because then you bring it back. And that wave develops, right? And then you get up in the, you know, up in that power pocket. Puts you just in the spot to kind of get back up into it. She was always kind of a little bit ahead of it and a little more flicky, right? So that's the difference from you know a six five to a three five. Okay, a couple bumps. This afternoon is not disappointed. All day is not disappointed, really, Brett. We. Uh, have seen this little miniature Southern Hemi kind of creep in, and it's been on tap all day. Cabrero, couple snaps, and a finish. So that was, you know, biggest first turn. Detmers, little jam right there for Shelby. Well, I can hear Simo up top. It's Simo said layback down. snap for the local girls. So yeah. we'll wait and see how this exchange pans out. We know for a fact Havana got a nice wave. Hailing out of Puerto Rico, daughter of legend Carlos Cabrero. Yep, second generation surfer. I'm not sure if he's here. He's here. Okay, I saw cool. Carlos. Awesome. Welcome to Huntington Beach, the Cabrero clan. Good luck. She's on her way. She's got a score coming through. We got a score coming second for blue and a second for, oh, we got a second for all. Cabrero's looking solid. Couple sixes, couple five fives. That's good. 14 minutes, 40 seconds. Just what the doctor ordered. Okay. Okay. Well, Brett. We've got Sky Brown on the sand who's going to interview Sawyer Lindblad. How good's that? Wow. Are you guys there? Are yeah. you little are you girls there? Sorry. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> yes. I'm so good. So glad to be here. I with Sawyer. Um you did amazing last year. Um it was very small out there. What were you like? What was going on through your mind? Or? Um I just wanted to get a good wave because there aren't many out there and yeah I was really happy that I got that last one. Oh yeah, I got a 65 with just a few minutes left. That's I mean it's really hard to get a 65 out there so you really ripped it. Um <laughs> what board are you riding? I'm riding a lost surfboards um sub driver uh squash. 
So sick. Yeah, we surf together all the time. We've known so, each so. other forever. Yeah, forever. <laughs> so stuck to be here. Um, congrats. I'll see you next time. <laughs> well, there you have it. Sawyer Lindblad interviewed by Sky Brown. She's taken home the Automotive Excellent Box. Yes. Which, you know, it's a nice little till. So it's great to have Sky Brown here. She is a silver medalist at the Olympics. I think she's 14, 15 years old and obviously an amazing skateboarder, amazing surfer as well. Um, added some star power to the Jacks Pro. Hey, I love it. Sky Brown clips, Waco on the skateboard. Oh my gosh. Just mental. Yeah, she's she's a weapon. She puts her mind to it. It'd be interesting, you know, down the line. Because skating takes a big toll on you. Well, it'll be concrete and water. Uh, it's uh, horseshoes and hand grenades. It'll be interesting, like, how long. I mean, she can be so dominant for the next 10, 15 years in skating. It just, be, you know her pick of the litter of what she wants to do. I know she really loves to surf. So if she pursues the contest or, you know, more just of the, the free surfing area list or she's putting in the work though. I see them surfing with, you know, John Daniels down in, in Oceanside. And that is, uh, that's Carlos with the beanie. Oh, on. that's Carlos. So he's biting his nails. I've lost all my nails, <laughs> but, uh, that's, yeah, that's what competition surfing will do to you. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at this little wedge. All right, at the 12-minute mark, looks like, uh, ooh, okay, taking a peek was Autumn Hayes. A couple scores dropping in. Yeah, it looks like Havana gets the best wave of the heat, 5.83. Sarah Ferrer gets the second best wave of the heat, 4.83. And Shelby's got pocket threes, a 3.73 and a 3.1. So situation is... Local girl, Sarah Ferrer in the lead. Havana Cabrero in second. Only needed a 2-5 to jump to the lead. Shelby Detmers in third, needing a 3.11. Autumn Hayes, your highest seed, in fourth. Currently looking for a 4.34. 11 minutes, 20 on the clock. Yeah, uh -oh. I mean, not a lot required to get out of th third and fourth right now. Those waves look like they're going to lift up, and they just go Charmin Tissue. Yeah, that's the tide talking. Oh, well. Tide's on the drop all the way till uh, 4. It's Brett, it's not as low as it has been, which is good. That's good. The other good thing is that I love we're, we're, we're going to end before it drains out completely. I love Tide. But um, let's see. Let's have Did a Did you look. hear that? Give I us, love the Tide. Give us a look. 422, it's a 1-1. One, one. Let's take a look at tomorrow's Tides. What are we going to have to contend with tomorrow for con conditions all right a couple waves i don't know if it was anything noteworthy tomorrow we have the low of a negative two at 525 and a high at 1128 it's only a three five so it's not going to be super high tomorrow and then it barely moves after that autumn a little one hitter see oh, if it that gives it a little something something see if it helps the score line hey if it's a quality maneuver you can get a good score So priority is with Sarah, the local girl, surfs out here every day, Huntington Beach High School. I think she's back-to-back -back national champion. Um, really flying the flag for us here in Huntington Beach. And you know what? She's a Jacks team rider. Oh, yeah. Let's go. So Jacks team rider, ripper. And I don't think we could say it enough, but thank you to the team at Jax, Ronnie, Ron, Bobby, Jamal, presented by Hydro Flask. We're down here. Day two. We only got a few more heats today. It'll be interesting if, you know, Vendor Village stays open a little bit longer. We got a good crowd down here. So I think it's a it's an amazing week. Soak up the sun rays we have. Look at the wind. The wind's staying down. You're not getting dusted. Oh, no, Brett, it's like a mini summer day down here. Yeah, it's beautiful. It is pumping. If you find a little nook, you're laying out, you're catching sun rays, you're going to get a sunburn. Yeah, I mean, the bike path is loaded up. The beach is loaded up. There's plenty of people down here. It's like, and let's be honest, the weather has been super dodgy. It has been a, it's been a rough 
last uh, what February March <laughs> was kind of a yeah, blur. Yeah, it's topsy turvy. <laughs> and now, hey, light winds, sun's out, guns out. Yeah. People are just like, get us out of the it, house. It is nice. It's nice to be seen. I think everyone is enjoying that. You know, getting out of the house, being seen. Um, just giving it a good old hard crack. Look at these guys down here, showing off the guns, getting some rays. Vitamin D is good. Maybe not too much of it where you're just scorched. Right. I think a, a Bell's call would be coming any minute, too. I'm hearing Brothers Kolohe was tuned in telling me no. No dice. Because everyone was asking his Bell's on. He said no, but, I mean, under what circumstances? Oh, is it no waves yet? I want to watch the team just tear yeah, in. Yeah, that's. I was hoping to have a good Friday night. Uh, staring at the tube, watching guys rip. But maybe he's maybe he's... It's only, I guess it's still right. early. They, they, they would could know, see though. the light. They would know, wouldn't they? Yeah. Off for the day. Uh. Wait, wait. how many hours ago was this post? That was a day ago. Okay. Yeah. That's the only thing up right now off Saturday, April 8th. That's that's, so that's today over there. Endless bombers. Shocker. Endless well, bombers, man. Uh, I, I just want to. So I just want to. I guess we're, we're watching surfing here. So, all right, tune in. And if you're not tuned in, tell your friends, because we got a wedge coming right to local girl with priority, Sarah Ferrer. What's she going to do? Snaps it right there. And a little bit better. So, yeah, she's looking a better 3.5. Yeah, looking good. I'd say she's done that. A little bit sparkier. Maybe she's, you know, feels a little more confident. Ooh, Ooh. so Havana, who currently has the high score, Gets a nice wave there. So Havana Cabrera. Well, you know what I liked about Sarah's wave? It was clean, and she held speed all the way through, yep. start to finish. Yep. There's no bobbles, just nailed it. So, I mean, it may not be an incredible jump above that 3-5, but I think it may incrementally increase, yeah. you know, in yep. the score line. Here it is. Decent wave. Nice bottom turn. Snaps it and then hits it right there. So – no, you know, the thing is the change of direction and board, everything's veering a little bit down the line, similar to Havana's, which, you know, it, it can, it, the scores will only stay at a certain level. There it is. Sarah gets a 5 3 3. We'll wait on Havana's score. Ah, well, they, hey, that was her best, so yeah. she'll, she'll take it. No, she's stoked. It was, you know, the first bottom turn was better yeah. than I initially thought. Again, though being hypercritical and I'm always critical with Sarah and I text her every day like open the wings you know open the wings right there you got a seven point ride and by saying open the wings just a little more directional change bring it to the beach more not so much reverse not so down the line but a little more yeah. a little more wrap yes turn got the it. head got it and um but yeah, she does. She's in the, but then Havana drops a four five, so takes the lead. Sarah's in second. Shelby Detmer's in third, needs a six four three, and Autumn needs a seven six seven. So or seven six six, which are solid scores. Well the ante has been up, that is for sure, as we hit about the five minute mark here in heat number two coming up. In the next heat, Ella McCaffrey, Talia Swindoll, Taylor, Stacy, Maddie Storr. So don't go anywhere. That is your heat number three here in the round of 32. And That's we are heat. at the Jacks Pro 3000 presented by Hydroflask. And uh, Jax and Hydroflask have also teamed up with Fuax, who are going to present the air show on finals day. So I'm not sure how they're running qualifying for air the air show. Air show or hair show? Could be Layright Deluxe the, Box. Uh, right, yeah, it could be the hair show. I don't know how they're qualifying people to to have a go. but uh, it's, it, it, it's the top six airs, and I'm assuming someone upstairs is keeping track. Oh, that's how they're qualifying yeah. people to compete? Yep. I should know this, but Berkey. I haven't even asked. Wow. This wave looks pretty good. So that will kick off on Sunday uh, at 1 with the women's. Oh, no. What was that? She went moons over my hammies. So that was a little bit um, unfortunate, to say the least, for Autumn because she put herself in a nice little peak. And who knows? I'm not really sure what that wave did, but 
it was almost like what I do when I have booties on. Like kind of get stuck? Catch a little bit, yeah. Or you think sometimes, you know when the, you think the wave's more punchy than it is and you're like, yeah, I don't know, you get a little stuck. So Cabrero snaps it. Oh, a little two for one deal. Sushi night at Captain <laughs> O'Landers. So nice snap there for Havana. Quick, quick adjustment to go right here. Jams it and then sets. Didn't even set the edge. Almost was, stayed there. I mean, almost a similar wave to her last, but with a finish. Yeah. But enough. Well, let's see. She's in the lead now. Trying to better a four or five. Yeah. Oh, so the score hasn't dropped. Nope. Okay, so she has been in the lead. She took the lead with her previous. Got it. Where have I been? <laughs> She's going to get a better score. Not her best, but it's going to better the 4.5 by far. And there it is, 5.43. Well, turning the screws ever so slightly. You see Ella McCaffrey trotting out, getting ready for uh, her heat. Shelby. So on the backhand, Shelby, that wave just really didn't have much uh, energy behind it. Do you ever get snapper good uh, when you're on the CT? <sighs> they had a couple a, dodgy. Was, that was one of the events I felt like we got let down the most. They, we, they, they've had a couple dodgy events. Yeah. I remember like one year it was like a weird left. Yeah. You know, it was all mushy. Out to sea. Yeah. A couple behind the rock waves. I had a couple memorable waves like barrel. I remember blowing a wave in a heat that was costly. Still haunts you today. Yeah, but then like. One he one year we moved to like Greenmount was fun, and then yeah, never made it far enough in some of the events where they went to Kira. It was kind of like quarter semis finals, mm. but um, yeah, I mean it's still an epic spot to be. Just Deba, holy crap! Almost just took the whole table over, Wellsy. He almost knocked our hydro flask bottles off. Gosh, they're solid. <laughs> this is true. They're One solid. One minute, 25 seconds. Cabrero out in the lead. Pair of fives looking solid. Freyer has priority. She wants the lead. She is chasing a near six-point ride, a 5.93 to be exact. Detmers down in fourth looking for a 6.43. Autumn Hayes, or sorry, Detmers in third with fourth priority. And wow, she might have found some. Hayes in fourth. Oh, so she's to the north, uh, south peak. Autumn's making her way in. She's got 50 seconds to go. It's definitely been a little bit of a rough one for Autumn, and I'm sure she's a little disappointed. Uh, you ever seen her surf the lane? Oh, she's so gnarly. gnarly. Yeah, I mean, I'm just thinking too. Like even out here, she didn't really find the wave in that one. You know, the the air, I guess, on the takeoff. And who knows? She does a couple of her frontside hacks. Yeah. Turns the whole points. heat around. All right, we're down under 30 seconds. Yeah, it's sometimes tough in these waves. You make one mistake, and it really could cost you big time. Mm, well, the, it's just lack of chances, right? Yep. Opportunity. So 10 seconds, looking like Havana Cabrero. Sarah Ferrer going to be moving on into the round of 16. And we will take a commercial break and be back in a sec.
right, here we are. VJAX Pro. Heat number three of the round of 32 presented by Hydro Flask. We're straight into it, Wellesie. Yeah. Uh, currently in the water, this is the second to the last heat of the day. Can you believe it? We are looking at Maddie Store, Talia Swindoll, Ella McCaffrey, Taylor, Stacy. I wonder where they get these photos from. Um, you remember Kay's photo? He's like a you know, TikTok. Like two years ago. <laughs> yeah. TikTok. What about Taj's? Oh, I Taj didn't see his. Lindblad's my favorite. It's like, like he was 12. 10 years old. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> uh, quick replay. This is uh, Surfer in Blue, Talia Swindoll. Here's a replay of Surfer in Green. This is Maddie Store. The girls getting busy. Uh, will they be keepers? Okay. 367 for Store. And 283 for Swindoll. You never know at the end of the heat that they could be keepers. Depending on what the ocean delivers here in the round of 32, we have one heat left, and we are done and dusted. Tomorrow morning, we will kick it off with the women. Saturday, April 8th, 8 a.m., women's round of 32, heats five through eight, so wrapping up the round. Going to chase that up with um, the round three, round of 16, one through four heats. Then at 11, we're kicking off men's heats one through eight, and then into the round. That's round of 32, and then round of 16, heats one through four. So 20-minute heats for the women's round of 32. Then we go all 25-minute heats for the rest of the day. Sunday, April 9th, 8 a.m. women's quarters, 940 men's quarters, 1120 women's semis. 12:10 men's semis hydro flask fuax air final one o'clock for the women's men's hydro flask foo air final 125 then brett wrapping it up by 250 150 women's finals 220 men's finals so it should be a decent tie quarters through finals day on sunday with an air show mixed in Got a couple bumps and some paddlers. See if we have any takers. Yeah, here we go. Looks like Talia Swindoll, a USA top junior athlete. So Talia's pretty tall. I don't know if you've ever stood next to her, but she's she's lanky. No. And uh, she's got it, you get her on a some open face. Ooh, great surfer. Where's she from? She's from Malibu. Malibu. Yeah, the boo. You know, it's funny, like, reflecting on, because we're almost coming up on Malibu for our board riders comp yep. in a couple weeks. Yep. Um, Remember last year, little little runners? Yeah, we, had some, we had some bump with the crazy sandbar. Yeah, it was nuts. Is watching the Malibu Northern L.A. board riders, when you even watch the kids, yeah. how Patient. they don't really commit to any first turn. Sure, they wait. They get their speed and right. Form, they yeah. very and they're all formed out and yeah. they they're patient. The they patience. Have, they read the wave and they have. I always use the word tempo. It's yeah. rhythm, whatever. Yeah. No, it but is. their timing is always so so good. Yeah, where we grow up here, Seal Beach, Huntington Beach, Newport, and you're like, oh my gosh, I only got four seconds to do two turns. <laughs> right. <laughs> I feel like a, a lot right? of our 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 surfers on Seal were like trying to like beach break it and it was like no just hold back you just relax a little you, yeah you got to think like what's going to happen in 100 yards yeah stand up do a couple high pumps go to the bottom yeah i saw the the thing that saved me and it is you know it got it didn't get smaller but it was fairly inconsistent at times and i saw sarlo paddle out and get a bunch of waves and i'm like dude he was down in the cove and i'm like i'm just gonna go sit next to him and all of a sudden this little wide swinger and the wave was like a perfect two-foot wave, like all, everything you could ask for out there. Look at these little it's, – it's a tricky little day. The girls are – so they're back straight out. They're straight out in front of the uh, event scaffolding. Yeah, it's, it's still just like this tiny baby mix of swells. You can see it right there. That's – these waves, I mean, that's – I think – it's kind of sweeping across is just northwest. this baby northwest. Yep. And then the waves that are pushing, moving kind of right to left or on your screen or out of the south. Southern Hemi. Southern Hemi. Let's have a look what we're dealing but with. But our forecast got better. It was uh, 
All right, we're gonna send it down to Sky Brown. She has the last heat winner, Havana Cabrero. Take it away, Sky. Yeah, I mean, I saw you ripping out there, getting a bunch of six snaps, and it's really tricky out there. So it was really fun watching you. Um, what's your preparation for tomorrow? Um, it's a, pretty much the same strategy. It'll all be kind of the same during the weekend. So I want to just keep doing the same thing. Yeah, I mean, you've been riffing it. Um, I'm really excited to watch you tomorrow. Thank you. Get it? <laughs> well, congratulations to Havana Cabrero. She earns the automotive excellence extra bucks. And now we're talking, baby. She is on her way to the round of 16. So, well, we got a little paddle paddle going here it looks like ella a standout surfer for encinitas board riders and that is taylor stacy on the back end kind of a low-key san clemente surfer but she is she's a talent taylor stacy yes okay yes now you know if you don't know well now you know yep so a couple scores in nothing major talia 4.0 2.83 taylor gets a 2.8 Maddie Store with a 367 and a 2.23. Ella with priority. She's going to look for that right hander, I'm assuming. So, a couple small ish scores, nothing above a five yet. Second to the last heat of the day. We're going to wrap it up with heat number four, round of 32, Leilani McGonigal. Um, man, I can't. I'm gonna have to refer Leilani? to the short. Leilani's coming up, hailing. Leilani? I think yeah, Pavone Pops is. grew up in Coast or in San Clemente, correct? Yeah, Sean, Big Bro. Okay, so here it is, Sonoa. Um, Sonoa Olin. Dempful Olin. Yep. And then Mia McLeish, McLeish. And then Mia Moore. Mia Moore. Mia McLeish is a power pocket out of San Clemente. She's Small in stature, does humongous laybacks. I would love that. Yeah. So here we go. We got the salty crew. Everyone's out there fishing, kind of jigging, seeing if they can win some prizes. Dude, I told you it was pumping out there. Look there's, at these crabs. There's it's actually gone. that's Ocean Brown right there, a little style master. The kid's gnarly on a skateboard. Can do some crazy airs. Is as that well. little brother? Yep. Ocean Brown. But look at look at the crew. You got. People, Hurley's got this new thing. So the thing was too easy. Everyone was winning. Was I telling you that? Yeah. Now you have these goggles you put on, and up is down, down is up. <laughs> People are puking over there. No. <laughs> yeah. Stop it. They've, uh, they've, so rigged the they've, <laughs> they've rigged the game. They've rigged the game. Well, they had to make it a little harder. Everyone was just nailing the right. bullseye too easy. No promo run. for you. <laughs> I'm like, do it for the Groms. Here we go. Maddie Storr hailing out of Santa Cruz. Oh, lobster season. Ouch. I might go surf and turf at Dukes after this. Ooh, it's National Beer Day. Is it? Yeah. Well. Get a pint in you. Here we go, 10 minutes. Here we go. This is what she was waiting for. Ella, little slash right there. Dry hair, don't care. It, ooh, a little whippersnapper right there. So you know what happens is you get an extra .5 if your hair's dry. Taylor Stacy, San Clemente product. Nice turn. And now blue. Wow, a little flurry there. So it's hard to keep up. Well, I might have made that up or <laughs> I'm not sure if it really is National Beer Day. <laughs> <laughs> it's Friday, dude. It's well, it's, there's like a Friday. national day for everything. It's like National Sand Day. It's National Scratch Your Head Day. Yeah. Here's the right now it's National Hurley Day. Swagging it up. You look at the Lost Boots. You got a ring toss around the, um, what are those called? Why am I brain farting? The type of bird. Uh, is that a pelican? It's Flamingo. Flamingo. Yeah, the boys at Lost doing it big. You got to have, you know, they probably got 60% of the riders down here on some Lost boards. Mayhem. He told me yesterday I was swallowing the microphone. I don't know if he was messing with me. You know how mad is. 
I don't know if he was messing with me or if I really was too close to it, but whatever. Here we go. Matty Store, Santa Cruz. Oh, gosh, you see a lot of people doing that now, Wellesie. It's starting to really get shallow there. Shallow. That's a low tide for you. Ooh, nice snap. Oh, my oh, goodness. Oh, that's a hammy. That's how Fanning did his hammy over in the mental wise. Big floater. <laughs> Yeah, that's not good. Darn. Oh, here it is, too. Nice first snap. Oh. Was that foot off the pad? Oh. I think it was. Back knee. I was actually in <laughs> in Barra one time with Geisel, Evan Geiselman and brother. Waves weren't crazy good, but I took off right behind, like, by the rock, airdropped. And when I airdropped, my front foot stayed on and back foot slipped off and I couldn't roll out of it and did my knee, my my uh, MCL grade two, but it felt like, you know when you roll out of bed, it feels like it's just gonna fall off. It's just like, oh, it's the worst feeling. Ooh. No surgery, but. I did that on Northside HB one early morning, knocked myself out, tore my hamstring in three spots and bone bruised the knee. <laughs> that is brutal. <laughs> like, Running down the line and, like, did this backhand floater over this little wedge section thinking, like, oh, I'm going to air off the lip and, like, bang it yeah. for the finish. And ha my mind was already up in the lip. And as I came down, my back foot slipped off. Did the splits, hit my chin on my knee, <laughs> felt my – I knocked myself out. I woke up in the water. My mouth felt like, you know, when you put your tongue in a 9-volt battery <laughs> and it's like a <laughs> – I woke up in the water all – tingle mouth tried to stand up <laughs> fell over Holy and it's probably like seven something in the morning like ching or one of the lifeguards is driving by and i'm like waving at him like hey hey because hey. Uh, i couldn't walk and they're probably just going what, what is, is wells going to eat some mushrooms this yeah. morning or something <laughs> did he micro dose <laughs> and so then they drove past me fully brushed me and then oh. i just like baby stepped all the way to the car oh. anyways oh. yeah Total nightmare. Enough of our horror stories. Let's get back to the ocean. 6.20 on the clock. Swindoll in the lead. So after all the wipeouts, Swindoll in the lead. Ooh. Taylor Stacy in second. Virtua. Keep going. Sorry, a, I interrupted. I'm a big Virtua I, I was uh, I'm a big Virtua enamored guy. with the product. I love those bags. Maddie Storr needs a 2.76. Ella McCaffrey searching for the 3.04. There's the Kate and crew. Nice swag right there. I like the steez. Is that a blanket? That thing looks money. Yeah, that was cool. XL. XL, little surf shirt. Grab yourself some trunks. I saw Emrod using those over in um, Hawaii. Emrod Rodriguez. And here we go, Talia. Whoa. Fanning. Oh, excellent. I was going to just say huh? excelente. Gosh, that was it. I was telling you her forehand lethal weapon. I love the speed. I I love how clean every maneuver was and just had some pizzazz to it. All right. So a little flurry. I mean, that's got to be the best wave of the heat so far. Yeah, that thing's uh, – here's drop him. First score, 7-7, seven, 7-5, seven, seven, 7.0. Seven so Swindoll drops the hammer. Now it's a battle of second. Ella gets a 4-5-7, goes to second. Here goes Maddie Storr from Santa Cruz from the lane. Whoa, that was a nice finner there. Gives a little chest out. Check me out. So nice turn. She was looking for the 4.31. So watch this, Wellesie. Wow, this heat bottom. just turned on for the Clicks girls. It. So, so nice turn there for Maddie. Little positive vibes. Four, four minutes remaining. Swindoll, that's a commanding lead right there. Seven points, 4.57. Ella McCaffrey, 4.57 and a 3.4 has her in second if she wants the lead she needs a 7.01 maddie store uh let's see did they drop that last 387 it perhaps might be. it might be yeah so 387 so look if you look at it 
You had She's anywhere from a 4-3 to a 3-4. Little mixed, mixed emotions. Yep, and Stacy down in the four spot in white with priority chasing a 4-3-5. There, there it you is. go, time winding down. Five minute yellow flag. There's the Jack surfboards. There we are. Look at us. Beautiful Huntington Beach, California. Dude, look at the car park is just loaded. The car, it's hard to find parking. It's kind of nice being able to get here early. But we got a little sandbar here. Look at that. The only beachfront property in Huntington right there, the apartments. I know, huh? Kind of weird. They almost got buried the other day with that 10 feet at 8 second wind swell. <laughs> I think the winds were like 60 miles an hour. There's Fig. Rest in peace, Fig. I miss surfing with that guy on the north side in the summer. He used to spray me all the time. And there's Taylor Stacy. She only needs a 4.36. I don't know what happened at the start, but you could only hope that she got a big turn. Right. It's coming right. in. Right it's gonna be screen. it's gonna be a little short. There it is, three nine seven. So now needs a four point oh one, and Maddie needs a four point one one. So, and there's the Olin sisters. Yep, that's Sonoa. She's coming up next. Sonoa and Matea checking each other out, supporting each other. They had a they had a final together. Canadians. They finaled up in Morro Bay together. Did they? And oh I yeah, I think remember that. Matea won couple Canadians, yep. right? Some yep. Canucks. Yeah. Right on, right on. All right, just under two minutes. It's crunch time. It is. Look at that little triangle whitewash. That's a sandbar when you got a little triangle. What? Yeah, it's a, it's epoxy weather. <laughs> Let's epoxy go. Epoxy weather, find some fins, get yourself some foo wax, and go for the sky. All Damn. right, Swindoll. Here we go. Up and riding. Click. Ooh. I like the look of that board, though. Yes. Thing thing looks lively. She tried to get super tight in the pocket right there. Just it caught that inside rail. Hey, check, check on Google or something. What is... I don't even know what's at the end of the pier. Is it a fish market or something? It's you know, not I Rubers don't know. anymore. I, it's not Rubies. Waring asked me. I'm like, I couldn't even tell you the oh last time I walked goodness. out Oh, my goodness. This is pier. a Southie. This thing's coming from right to left, and it's going to have some legs on it. Who's going to be in position? There's a couple of them, too. Next one's going to be a wedge-a-thon. Here we go. Up and riding. Ella slashes it in the pocket, clicks it again. So good night, Irene. These girls in third and fourth are going to need a bit more. Well, I was just going to say, protecting that position is everything. But Taylor but Stacy on the backhand. We're under a minute, Brett. Yeah, no, we're uh, we're 30 seconds to go. And Ella McCaffrey just went uh, Encinitas board riders. Oh, this look at this little roll in. All right, so up and riding. Wow, nice form carve there for Maddie. Can she get another? Yes, she does. Can she get a third? And she does. So click, click, boom. Bang. Wow. Click, okay. Click, click, boom. Requires a really good score. 7-7-0. Seven, seven, that first turn was money. That was maybe the best turn of the day. I'm sure Sightsee will yell at me, but we're going to wait for this score to drop through. I mean, that was really form, great rail work. That was proper form fest right here. here. Watch is. the twist. Woof. Let's see slashes it right there and then gets the finish critical little section just a touch late on that finish just a touch will that hinder the score well, it was there, a great I wave think that's nonetheless 6.1 yeah. so congratulations ella takes the lead talia in second commiserations to taylor and maddie we're going to take a short break and we'll be back with the final heat of the day
My name is Ezekiel Lau. I'm 29 years old and I'm from Honolulu, Hawaii. I represent Hawaii on the World Championship Tour. All of just intrigued me with their whole brand message, you know, ambassadors with the law. I travel around the world and represent Hawaii on the World Tour and, you know, that's my whole goal is to represent Hawaii the best way I can and being an ambassador of the law is the best way to do that. But um, also they just make sick shit. We are back, sunny Huntington Beach, Surf City. I am Chad Wells, next to me, Mr. Brett Simpson. And Brett, this is the last heat of the day. Short day. Yep, this is the Jax Pro 3000 presented by Hydro Flask. And uh, super happy Hydro Flask has jumped on to be our presenting sponsor. They're also jumping into the fray and the air show with uh, along with Fuwax to uh, give us a little Sparky, sparky boost on uh, finals day. Yeah. Well, we got a nice little heat here. Leilani McGonagall in red. Sonoa Olin in blue. Mia McLeish in white. And Mia Moore in uh, green. Here we go. This is none other than Leilani McGonagall qualifi uh, qualifier for the Challenger Series this year. I think she finished in fourth. Wow. In a hotly contested battle. Yep, second generation surfer, Father Sean. I mean, Sean's part of the McGonagall crew that grew up in San Clemente. Yep. Now living down in Pavones. Brother no, no Noemar. It's a lethal backhand. Oh. So here she goes. Cracks it off the top. I mean, that was just a one hitter, but feet in the wax nonetheless, two, six, seven. Think she goes left a lot? <laughs> On one of the best lefts in the world. I've never been down one there. One of the longest ones, yeah. that's for sure. I think the only, I think the only uh, way Buda longer Vida. might be what Raglan or something. Yeah, Chikama, Chikama, Ch Chikama in Ch Peru. Yep, Chikama. Yeah, you yep. gotta take a boat, like give the guy some money and do a little laps. Yeah, hot I mean, laps. Pavone is really long point break. I haven't surfed. I would love to surf that wave. Have you surfed it? No, yep, no. Me but Puerto Vida to the homies if they're tuning in. All right, looks like a couple rides going down, so this is a good start to this heat. Here's Mia, Mia McLeish. So, nice little turn there for Mia. She's going to get back out there. You got... How old is she, Brett? Uh, Mia's... Gosh, 15, 15 14? 16, yeah, if I had to guess. If anyone's out there watching, correct me if I'm right or wrong. So, uh, do we have Sky Brown on the beach? Okay. Wow, so nice little carve right there. Unable to get the finish turn. All right, so we're going to send it down to Sky Brown, who has last heat winner Ella McCaffrey. Take it away, Sky. Yeah, I mean, I saw you riffing it out there. I think you got one of like the highest scores of the heat, I mean, of the day. Um, so stoked to watch you. Yeah, what was your mindset out there? Well, I intended to get a quick start but that didn't happen <laughs> I didn't really get a wave until 10 minutes and then I got a small one and I needed a score at the end of the heat and was able to find like the only set that came through and put up a seven so I'm pretty stoked yeah you should be very really stoked I mean we surf together in Oceanside a lot and you live in Encinitas how do you like Huntington actually I really like Huntington the surf up here has been fun it's a little small but it could be a lot worse and it's been pretty grindy in California just like our training sessions so <laughs> We know how to handle. Yeah, I mean, excited to watch the next heat. Get it. <laughs> thank you. Well, thank you, Sky. Congratulations thank to you. Ella on her way to the round of 16. Um, nice heat win there. It actually wasn't really going her way most of the heat. And then all of a sudden, she found that wave with a few minutes to go and kind of hammered it. So, yeah. You never know when it's going to change. Yeah, Brett, looking at the list of girls who didn't get in, I mean, look at the alternates list. I mean, this is, what, 20, almost 30 people deep into this event. That is crazy. 
All right, 15-20 remaining. McGonagall, pair of twos. Sonoa, 3.5. McLeish, 2.33 and a .93. And Moore, a 2.77. So this heat just kind of finding its feet with McGonagall out in front. And here she goes. Well, she loves going left. That was a nice carve. And again, so a little more critical here for Leilani. And I think she's finding these lefts to the south. Rob Machado peak. Machats. Machatsky. So she had a couple twos, 267, 293. So Noah had a 35. This one's going to go a wee bit better. We'll let those trickle in. Mia Moore, 277. Mia McLeish, 2.33. Yeah. Well, uh, that one just offered up a little more opportunity. So this is the last heat of the day where you're going to close it out with heat four in the round of 32. And, uh, well, if you want to come down tomorrow, it should be another cracker of a day. We do have some uh, two to three feet scheduled in the forecast. We'll see if Mother Nature kicks it out. But weather-wise, let's see. I think the temps are going to be good this weekend. I mean, it looks like we're going to go ooh, a little cooler. It says 68 tomorrow. And then Sunday, 73. Well, 617. We got scores. I mean, if the sun's out, grab guns, your groveler. The guns are your, out. Grab your wetsuit and rip. Why not? Well, that's a little lay of the land right here. We're some groms making some sand castles, enjoying the beach with their father. That's the way to do it. We'll probably be doing that pretty soon. You, are you guys playing Friday Night Lights this year? Oh, I got Friday Night Lights. No, we took a season off. No uh, spring ball? Nah. Yeah. Might jump back into it. It's fun. Yeah, Good no, vibes. it's great. Yeah, the kids got back-to-back -back games tonight, which is cool, on the same field, so that's nice. But here we go, back to Mia Moore on the backhand. The resident of Laguna Beach. So a couple turns there for Mia. Was looking for a 0 0.74, so definitely going to get that. So quality wave there for Leilani McGonigal, 6.17. Yeah, I mean that thing opened up and gave her gave her some opportunity. Yeah, here we go. She capitalized. Twelve and a half minutes remaining. I tell you, just it feels like today these heats have just flown by, Brett. And well, I'm sure as a competitor, it's they go even faster. Twenty minutes isn't that long. Leilani. Slash there. She's finding the gift that keeps giving and finish that. You know, you, you can so, see how shallow oh, it is right there. She almost poked the nose, but that's going to be her backup. Yeah, pretty interesting. So this one, she stood up and was like, oh, I got to get up and over the woods. Somehow kept her board speed through that flat bit. And you can tell how polished her forehand is, surfing that pavones and lefts, I'm, I'm assuming, quite a bit. And then here's Mia. So wraps Whoa. it right there. San Clemente product. Hits it again. Can she hang on? Oh, that's that conversion. But that first turn was beautiful. Yeah, that was a solid wrap. 4.77 for pretty much one carve. I like that a lot. She's San Clemente? Yep. Yes, she is. Just the training grounds. Oh, there's so many good surfers. It's, uh, yeah, we were talking about it. You got all those, you know, fun little point breaks, cobblestones. You go around the corner. You got State Park. You got T Street. You got the pier, Mariposa, 204. A lot of beach breaks. Just great training for qualifying waves and mm. And I think that's what sometimes in the summer they struggle with is like, hey, you could easily go to lowers every day and surf a head yeah, high I perfect mean, Have wave. you ever shortboarded Sano? Is it fun? Oh, Probably, yeah. yeah. When it's like pumping. Pin Paul around. Oh, you got what's what's it's kind of trails? Jog trails? patch, I think. Yeah. I don't know. I've surfed it on a giant day. Just like I wonder what it's going to be like when we start getting south swell because have you seen 
all those river mouths are blown out, like so yeah. much sand, uppers. I and think uh, what I heard was Sano's lots kind of closed, mm. but they only let a certain amount of cars in. They had a, a weird collapse, and apparently the river mouth, like right there at church, yeah. is giant. And there we go, a little Sambas on midday. A little oh. pick me up. Oh, yeah, look get at that. Get some acai in you, get an energy drink. Here goes Mia. She's going to roll in, the yeah. dice again. And I told you the layback hammer. So she does that on like some six six foot walls too. That was sick. So four seven seven on her last. Leilani's was a three four three. We'll see where they go here. Pretty critical. Drops the wallet. Yeah, I mean, right arm back. Small in stature, as was the wave was small, but I mean, she nailed it. Yeah, that was cool. Good turn. There it is. Three five three. I mean, do that on a set wave. You're getting sixes. Leilani out in front. McLeish in second, trying to throw away 3-5-3 more, uh, requires 5-5-3 five, five, to advance. Priority surfer, Snowa Dumpful Olin, chasing a 4-8 to move from fourth with nine minutes remaining. And uh, yeah, this is day three for me. Board Riders battle and uh, Ella McCaffrey was part of that squad. Yeah, Ella and the brother Cole. Cole, Caleb Crozier, Ta uh, Taylor Steele's brother, uh, Cody Steele. Yeah, he was ripping. He found a he found a nice grower in a in a challenging setting. Yep, two fifty a piece, a thousand dollars for the team. I and told them like oh, when they were leaving, I'm like, Ella get six hundred. You guys split the rest. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Who was the whammy? Was it Caleb again? I think it was Cole. Cole. I think he whammied a pretty good little low road left. All right. McGonagall's last doesn't look like it'll factor in. Two eight two uh, two eight two oh seven. And Sonoa bangs it off the top. I don't think that's going to be the 4-8 that she needs. She'll get back out there. And now more. Mia Moore. Oh, Mia Moore. My love. This one's tight. So... Sanoa sitting in third, just got a 3.6, now needs a 4.71. And Mia Moore sitting in the four spot needs a 5.53. There it is. Okay. I was looking for uh, seven minutes, 10 seconds. The paperwork. So FCS drop by the booth if you guys come down Sunday. They're going to be giving away a Mason Ho soft top. And Revia, that is Julian Wilson's athleisure yep. brand, are going to be giving away a Julian Wilson board. GoPro has a little GWP type setup. If you go buy a camera at Jack's, you'll get free accessories up to about 120 bucks. Mm. I said free, everybody. So you buy GoPro, you're going to get 120 worth of free accessories. Nixon, if you spend a hundo or more at Jack's, you'll get a free backpack at every location. Wow. So that's some good stuff. O'Neill's going to be giving away a wetsuit. Vans, um, they're doing some custom tie-dye Jack's tees. So make sure you stop by there. Sunbum's got you covered. If you need sunscreen, they're going to have it all for you. Um, Costa, the eyewear brand. Um, they've got a hydration station. So if you're lucky enough to go pluck a win and get a bottle at Hydro Flask, you can fill it up at Costa's tent. Bingo. Yeah, thanks for coming. Stay hydrated. Hurley, the brand that you represent, Brett, they're, they've got a, 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 a collab, bullseye. a Jack's collab hat if you can uh, nail, the, nail bullseye. the bullseye. Everyone's Ooh. been nailing it. How it's, are those two backhanders? Sanoa just nailed the lip. Manera's got a, a collab tee. 
Um, let's see. What else is going on here? Super 73's got some bikes on display. Salty Crew's got a little casting, I think, uh, target practice casts. Where are the judges going to throw this one? She's looking for a 471, Brett. Surfer in blue. Yeah. I'm going to go, what, 5'8", 6'1", 6'2", possibly? Or even better. What do you think? Uh, I mean, a couple I, vertical hits. Let's see. We get a replay. We got a non-competitor in the area. Mauricio, can we tee it up again? Is that me bust? The backhander. The last of blue, Mauricio, if you're there. Here it is. is up this and the riding. Score? Clicks okay, it. clicked it. Throws it okay. up there late. Maybe not as vert as I thought. She needed a 471. It's right there. I don't think she's going to get it. 427. All right. There you go. So once it, look at Mia, wraps it right there, clicks it again. Can she hang on? That's her second time unable to ride out. Well, it's crazy just the conversion and it's basically like, no water. It's like Holly Eva, sunset, <laughs> just undercuts you, and all of a sudden you're just mahi flopping. Holly Eva. You don't want to bounce there, though. The just toilet bowl oh, just, just gets shredded. Yeah. Charbroiled. 350. So that wave, that 427, did help Sanoa's campaign. She now requires a 404 to move out of third into second. But it is your current heat leader with priority, Leilani McGonagall and Red on the hunt. On the hot seat. She's looking. Well, it looks like she might make her way over into the pack and kind of say, hello, I'm here. Oh, that's better. Oh, that's, oh, all the busy work. That hurts. I mean, look how shallow it is. It's, it's shallow. crazy shallow right green. there. Mia Moore. That was better for Mia. Oh, and that thing just kind of closes out on her. But nice first turn. So Mia's last 3.1. Sanoa was looking for a 4.04. She she rides out clean. It's like a kind yeah. of a no-brainer. Yeah, it's a keeper. Look at these little bumps. Let's see if they can morph into something. Leilani having a look. So Leilani made her way over just in time. Nice backhand snap and another. That thing had a kind of had a lot of ribs in it. Like under, it kind of kept breaking just under her. Yeah, the tide's on the pole till 4.45 about. And I mean, we're lucky we ended early today. <laughs> I know, huh? Two well, minutes. finals day tides could be good because look, we have two, we have tomorrow, the tide's gonna be high at like 11 Yeah, it's coming off a negative. It, it's five, uh, somewhere in the fives in the morning. And then it's going to be, you know, on Sunday, it's probably going to be high tide around noon, noon 30. Let's take a look. Isn't it an hour each day or something? No, no, it has no? not been an hour each no. day. There are other. Okay. Last of blue, 3.03, .03, 1 minute 30 seconds. Final heat of the day, heat 16. These girls are battling out for that. I guess it is an hour day. You're right. Uh, 12.20 is the high on Sunday. The automotive excellent bucks are on the line. And it's only a 3.1, so it's not crazy oh, so it's high. Yeah, which is okay, I guess, but finals are around 2-something. Yeah, so we're going to wrap up at 2.50 on, on Sunday. Should be some tide. I, I like tide. Well, it goes up and barely drops and stays at a 1.9 yeah. low at like 5.08, so there'll be some water in the pool. Simo's on the chirp. He's saying sets are approaching. One minute to go. Oh, there is. It's kind of stacking. Can she chip in? So your heat leader, Leilani. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. So that was like a, I think first place is locked up. That was like a victory lap. 35 seconds to go. Oh, here we go. Mia, your current second place. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> The outside rail grabber. There might be somebody under the water. 
Now, she was a little bit, if you look, the carve was really good. That's when you get a little bit ahead of yourself and you're like, I'm going to re-engage and get up there really quick because you know it's closing out. And that's kind of what right. happens sometimes. So wait, is more, more is from Laguna. Yep. McLeish is from San Clemente. San Clemente. I think I might have had it backwards. Well, that will do it. So looking like Leilani is going to take the heat win. We do have some scores coming through, but I don't think Sonoa got another chance. So it's looking like Leilani. There it is, 6.83 on her last 13-point heat total. She's going to win. Mia McLeish looking like a second place. Commiserations to Sonoa and Mia Moore. So we're going to take a short break. We'll be back with an interview with Leilani McGonigal after the commercial break. When Carver started in Venice back in 1996, we believed, against the odds, that we'd be able to contribute something meaningful to skateboarding. It didn't matter how big we got or not, we just believed that surf could once again join skate, like it was in the beginning. Often we seek the uncrowded wave, the undiscovered ditch, so that we can have a moment to ourselves in this crowded world. A new year brings new adventures. We'll see you on the road. Ready? Yeah. And we're back. We're just waiting to uh, tee up the interview with Leilani McGonigal, the winner of the final heat of the day. That was heat four round of 32 in the women's and it's been a great day of competition saw some amazing surfing uh wow the two percent crew standing out cole hausman Cade madsen jet Schilling, amongst uh many of the names that have advanced today uh to name a few but as you can see we're done and dusted beautiful day here in huntington get out and get amongst it My co-commentator, Brett Simpson, has stepped out. And uh, tomorrow we will see the women kick off the day at 8 a.m. That is going to be the round of uh, 32. Heats 5 through 8, 920. 
women's round of 16, heats one through four, then straight into men's at 11. And uh, that is going to be the round of 32, one th heats one through eight. And then 220, we are going to start men's round of 16, heats one through four. So that'll wrap up at four o'clock. It's going to be a late one tomorrow. And as you can see right there, the drone shot right on Breddy. Have a good evening. Have a lovely Friday night. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's Friday here in SoCal. And we will kick it down to the sand with um, Sky Brown and Leilani McGonigal, I think. Yep. Hey, um, I love watching you surf. I feel like you adapt to waves really well and really consistently. Um, what, how do you like the waves in Huntington? Um, I feel like the last couple days it's been a bit challenging, definitely different from what we just came from in Barbados, um, <laughs> and it's really cold, so I was stoked to get a few sets in our heat, and yeah, just happy to be here. Yeah, I mean, you surfed it really well. Um, what are you going to do tonight um, to prepare for tomorrow? I think I'm just going to hang out with my dad and my friend Sam, just chill and maybe eat some jalapeno chips. <laughs> I love jalapeno chips. Um, can't wait to watch your heat tomorrow. Thank you so much. Un saludo para todos en Costa Rica, por allá. That's so right. cool. <laughs> Thank you. Well, there you go, Leilani McGonigal moving on into the next round and also the recipient of some automotive excellent bucks, cold hard cash in the pocket. With that being said, Thank you for tuning in. We will see you bright and early, 8 a.m. with the women's kicking it off tomorrow. And enjoy a few highlights from today's competition. Uh, I'm signing out. See you guys tomorrow morning.